assembled all the information. So we role played all that. Yeah, we 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 did do, uh, do that. Do you while you're making food? Do you want me just to uh, in character give the brief? Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. you could discuss it with a uh, Yelmunk's character. So I'm like, hey, I'm blah 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 blah. Whatever your character does, all right, be back. All right, well then I guess Tessa, you start in the uh, thing. Yep, it's rolling. All right, well I guess uh, I'm gonna. Any character, I'll meet you guys all on a briefing bay. All right, if you all pull up the brief that's just been posted, out of character, that'd be Yilmug's forces at the very bottom of handouts. It's the mission for mission briefing. Uh, it is literally called uh, Yilmug's forces. forces. So technically, neither. There it is. Let me know when you all got it open. Very console esque. I uh, tried to make this nice and good for you. All right. Operating theater is going to be Segmentum Pacifica, specifically, for anyone who is not aware of this planet Enoth. Once you've uh, finished logging in, it's uh, verified your security clearance. Uh, mission brief for mission uh, Kilo 7 Tech Sierra 2257 Tech 3 Fox. Uh, kill teams Brown Bear and Alpha Indigo have encamped on a plateau five kilometers south of a target facility overlooking a valley. They've identified an active civilian presence on location for you to keep in mind. Uh, it is unknown if that population is corrupted by chaos, however, they are not going to be a primary focus. We've identified several instances of chaos forces engaging or hunting down these civilian forces. At the same time, some civilian groups have been completely unpestered, which leads to that confusion as whether or not they are chaos influenced. Uh, we have several Death Watch librarians that have been viewed moving on site via prisoner transport several weeks ago. Uh, initial reports said that they were without weapons or armor. That report has been updated to some of them are unable to move under their own power, which is where we come in. Uh, there are three Warhound Titans spotted patrolling in the perimeter to the northwest. Specifically, we'll be working in the southeastern continent of Yothus. Terrain is going to be gentle rolling hills, small mesas, and some shallow ravines. The area is hot. It's a desert. It was the location of an orbital glassing by Chaos Forces several weeks prior. Uh, there is no flora or fauna still present on site. Anything that's growing will be of chaos origin. Please keep that in mind. Temperature not to exceed about 6 degrees Celsius. So if you're bringing anything, bring something that's good for the cold. 80% uh, chance of light rainfall later in the evening. We plan on landing around 2215. The plan is on a 28-hour time cycle. So by the time we leave, it should be 0 2 you want to set your chronometers for that, go for it. That time frame of eight hours, there is a chaos fleet in system. It consists of almost a thousand vessels as of last auspects from Imperial Navy. Once we begin going live on the planet, we expect that it will take them that eight hours to get to the planet close enough to endanger our orbiting vessels. If it takes more than 7.5 hours, we will be leaving. Mission objectives succeeded, failed, doesn't matter. Objectives of this mission infiltrate the stronghold undetected, locate and rescue any Death Watch librarians we can find, and secure any valuable intel or artifacts. Current course of action is our kill team will be inserting via dropship from an orbiting vessel using the darkness and coming in from the coastal areas to land along that side, that mesa. Rendezvousing with kill teams Brown Bear and Alpha Indigo. They've already scouted out our drop zone and secured it, so we're not expecting anything there. Once there, those two teams are going to provide outboard security while we infill. They'll be helping keep any patrols out and creating distractions as needed. We're going to try and avoid any patrols that we can until we're inside the facility using stealth if we have to kill anything. Primary focus will be locating those librarians. Once we do, 
Brown Bear and Alpha Indigo will take their dropship and land inside the facility to allow us to exfil immediately. Uh, that is a negative. They will be providing us a gate to transport directly to the Thunderhawk. To Very then- well. Updating as we go. Any of you, any of you have any updated info or n- things you want to add in, please feel free. So we will be gating directly from the facility to the Thunderhawk, so even better. Enemy presence. Uh, scouts have confirmed that they are highly armed and trained. They've got everything from at least two, possibly three Chaos Infantry Brigades, 4,000 individuals, each one Chaos Armor Regiment. Three Warhound Titans with unknown loadouts. There is one confirmed plasma weapon amongst them. Inside the facility itself, scouts have confirmed the sighting of at least 20, possibly more berserkers. They believe to be of World Eater's origin. We've unconfirmed reports of daemons. Uh, that report comes back with at least 10, possibly more. And again, there is that Chaos Fleet in orbit. The enemy has c- cleared a kilometer wide square area within a shallow ravine underneath this plateau. The facility we're infiltrating is about 500 meters wide. That prefab structures dropped from orbit. It's about 25 buildings that we've counted. There are some smaller buildings we may not be able to see from our angle. There are turret emplacements facing outward and a 10 millimeter, 10 meter wide the scout called it a moat of blood. Do with that information as you will. I probably wouldn't go climbing around in it. There are no indirect weapon systems, so nothing to sabotage or deal with there. We're not worried about facing AAA. But on the Xville, we might have to worry about some light AA. Uh, on the northern side of the facility, there's a 230 meter wide landing pad. It is an active landing pad. We've had ships coming and going for the past several days. If something happens and we need to, we expect we can steal a transport from them. Rules of engagement for this, you are authorized to use any force you need against the enemy, uh, as well as any tactics. You are not recommended to engage in unnecessary combat, however, given that fleet eight hours away. Civilian casualties for the situation are acceptable. At this point, we're considering all of them to be chaos corrupted. That does not mean you need to kill them all, but it's not a concern. We recommend using radio silence. We don't know if they have any Vox jammers or identifiers, so we would recommend only short-range helmet-to-helmet voxing. Uh, Local assets on scene. We have one stealth Vanguard light cruiser. We have the cruiser we will be arriving on, the Dawn Wraith, under Captain Maximus and Vector. With us on that dropship, we'll also be bringing several Warhound Titans, two Inquisitorial Stormtrooper Battalions, and one Armored Battalion to use as we see fit, if we need to make a diversion. And then on scene, we have Kill Teams Brown Bear and Alpha Indigo with their Thunderhawk gunship. Any questions? Yes, I've noticed it says an 80% chance of meatballs. I didn't realize there's a tyrannid presence in the system. Yes, the Vox that we received from the scout was a little garbled. Um, The direct transcript is meatballs. We put that in there. We're not sure if that's a local colloquialism or if he means hail. But Ah, understood. Or stone. Yes, so left in there, it's... The local data is all very, very corrupt, so we've had to collate this as needed. Any other questions, comments, concerns, thoughts on the meaning of life in the Imperium? Oh, look I at my gun. I didn't see order. These. Go ahead, Go brother. No, after I look you. At... <laughs> I look at my gun and look at the assignment. I hope I can stealth my way out of it. <laughs> they do make stealth uh, uh, stealth sheets for those. I didn't order any meatballs on my Imperium sandwich, but we'll have to see where this goes. Okay. On an off note for the briefing, uh, having looked at some of the tactical data coming in, uh, 
a large scale assault is going to be out of the question. We do have, like, like as stated, we have five Warhound Titans and three battalions from the Inquisition, including an armor battalion. We're on the southern side of the continent. This used to be a hive world. We believe those civilians to be from what's left of nearby hives. I thought we had three titans uh, uh, in total. We've managed to secure two more, which will land two hours after us if needed for a total of, for a total of five. That ship is inbound under its own power if we need them. Keep in mind, anything we put on planet needs to be able to be set down, offloaded, and then either retrieved or left. Yep. Pretty sure one of you guys, it was Yelmug, and then someone else got some more Titans. So I gave you a little bit more. Brothers, so, right. once we are on the ground, I will be able to scout ahead using my reconnaissance skills, if need be. Um, yeah, the big thing would be, if we put any infantry forces on the ground, we're probably going to be leaving them behind. Same with those Titans. Anyway, the plan initially is that we're going to be dropping some forces north of the compound in order to create a distraction for us. In addition to a very quick uh, orbital bombardment of a hive city on the other side of the planet. Uh, in order to draw forces and attention away. That is correct. Um, knowing that we have an entire regiment of armored vehicles, it's highly recommended that we bring some kind of weaponry to deal with it. Such as missile launchers, maybe a plasma cannon, some crack, or uh, some melta bombs, or mines, missiles, be great if they had metal bullets, but I don't think the mechanic has made those yet. <laughs> well, we do have a new mechanic. Uh, a getting firestorm multi melter uh, would be pretty good. I'm gonna link it in uh, in the chat. Uh, would be pretty good f for dealing with uh, armored. Yeah, that looks fantastic. I would say some uh, melta grenades would be not melta grenades, plasma grenades. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, just oh, so, just I so you guys, ready. sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I was gonna say just so you guys are aware, uh, Neil Neil Tyson, after he becomes a dreadnought, he will have the multi melta as uh, his main mount. Hmm. Nice. So that'll be useful. Unfortunately, it's not going to be available for a while, though. Yeah. Cool. Well, is um, how much requisition do we have? Thirty apiece. Yep. Also, yeah, uh, Boko did state before that if it doesn't have like a renown requirement, we can just take it. Oh, without I'm bring Brett? thirty-seven vortex grenades then. Yeah, he said if it doesn't have a a, a, a require a, a renown requirement on it, we can and just have it. Anything more than that, we got to pay for for our requisition. Yeah, if it's ultra rare, or uh, yeah, it's, very rare, higher than very rare, some of that. Whatever the I, bullshit I, is. I would. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a renown table in the uh, in the book, and like uh, based on the amount of costs, it has a availability to it. So anything below what rare is uh, free to grab or what? Very, uh, very rare. So everything below very rare is is free to grab. Yep. I need thirty-seven vortex grenades for <laughs> reasons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these things. And the other stuff above very rare, you get a reduced requisition cost. Well, how much is reduced? Twenty-five percent. Okay. 25% off! Nice. Too bad it doesn't really say what is rare or very rare. It's really? All it says is uh, the renown needed. 
Yeah, so like basically the amount of renown. Yeah. 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 And the renown rank. The rank yeah. to the left of it is its uh, cost. Or is it uh, how fair it is? That's right. Oh, no, I see a requisition point rate. So anything above 30 points. Yes. We get 25% off of. Otherwise, if it's 30 points or below for requisition, we can just have. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So I would say some plasma grenades. Within um, reason, though. Nothing crazy. Like. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I, need a, I need a billion rounds. That is not happening. Also, anything that's not Martiro, we can requisition because we are. We have enough renown that we can pretty much requisition anything we want that isn't hero yeah. uh, renowned uh, bard. Oh, um, that reminds me. Uh, <laughs> while everyone has been going around, I need to give you all some fun stuff. Ooh. And by all some fun stuff, I mean, who wants to carry the big heavy backpack? We're already carrying a heavy gun. Oh, uh, I mean, if it was the uh, the Semictum link. Uh, <laughs> yes, it I'm was. I'm pretty sure I was the one that was going to be carrying it. Okay, cool. So you're getting the link. Everyone else is getting a uh, uh, Signum. Uh, alternatively, one of uh, one of my uh, trainees can have the link. Just carrying the link. So that you can have free arms or like free. No, no, oh, no. So you don't have to. You don't have to be manipulating it or anything. It's just I will have it, and then everyone else's links to mine. All right. Uh, yeah. If you're curious on it, look on page one seventy four of the core book uh, for mm -hmm. what all it does. But so but basically, we will always have a gang up bonus, even when we're shooting at ranged. Mm -hmm. So if two of us shoot at the same target, we get a uh, an additional plus ten for the gang up bonus. Two, if two of us engage a target. Yeah. So as soon as two people start engaging a target, everyone who engages at target gets the gang up bonus. You don't have to have the tree. Also, I believe it's what? Plus five for everything? I can go look again. That is, I think it's plus five for both uh, melee and ballistic skill against all targets. Um, what page did I say that was? 173 of the rule book. Thank you, sir. There we go. It is... Uh, Oh, Signum. Signum, oh. Signum, yeah. It'll be part of the Signum. If you have the link, you just benefit from the Signum. So, yeah, yeah, you need say, the link to do, to use the whole thing. But, it's uh, plus, plus five bonus to the ballistic the skill. And if your equipped character uses a full action, it gives a plus ten for the next round, but I'm bad at tech use. And we'll be doing other things other than using a full round action to be doing that. Uh, my possibility shield is easier and better. And the link just allows you to use it. it oh, but they also to need to be device. in squad mode. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, in squad mode, but it's a pl uh, plus five bonus to ballistic tests. And you get gang up bonus, no matter if you're using melee or ranged attacks. Mm-hmm. So it's on top of it. <clears throat> yep. Well, because normally yeah. you can only get the gang up bonus in melee, but this allows it in ranged and a plus five bonus to ranged. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Are we bringing rocket launchers? Two of them. Uh, I think. I think that's what we talked discussed last time. I think Dominego wants uh, that firestorm multi melter, or should want it anyway. That's what a sixty-five requisition cost. I'll chuck my uh, thirty requisition points. Sixty-five. So many five percent enough. That's forty nine or forty eight point seven five. That's forty nine. So yeah, we've got confirmed setting of chaos berserkers. Uh, there might be some champions. Let's be honest with the amount of chaos forces there. So oh, something uh, something with armor piercing would be useful. Right. And possibly um, demons on on site. You said melt a launcher? Well, um, just Firestorm multi melta. What was the name of your card off your your uh, uh Vulcan back up back up here, those two other characters where you're training? Uh the names of my characters? Oh my backup yeah. character don't have a good backup character yet. No. No 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 no. The guys you're training. 
Uh, get, uh, they are. Uh, oh, I renamed them Lucian Virex and Tiberian Crawl. I'm gonna just put the trainee in front of them so it's easier to yes. find them. It's, yes. The multi melter is 35, not 45, which is nice. Uh, there you go. Change them. I'll take the multi melter. Uh, the Firestar multi melter? Or it's you put it you put it in the chat because it's, it's in the rights of battle. It's not in the core rule book. It's in yeah, the five D ten plus five E fifteen pen fifteen pen yeah blast two meters. recharge volatile oh, no. oh. It, it, it you literally Let's screenshotted see. it at six of five or, well whatever time it is for you right now at five minutes. Ah, there it is. I can take it. I can carry two guns, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you said we're allowed to grab very rare and below for basically three. requisition cost of thirty. I I use. Oh very right, rare. you look at yeah. a different book. So yes, anything that's very rare or below. So what if something's extremely rare? Can I roll for that or? No, you can get it. It's just the reduced reduced cost. Like it's just a little more difficult to get to you guys. Which other books are you looking at? I'm curious. He's looking at the dark heresy. Dark heresy book. books. That's his. Because he can't equip space marine weapons, as he is not a space marine. It'll buff. And your stuff, Moth, is going to come directly from the Watchtower. That they, the, they have a bunch of weapons and all that on hand. We and I was I was going to grab a shield. I mean, blood rain. A force field of Rosaria. Oh, jeez. Takes two actions to reload this thing. Okay. And, um. Weren't you going to, uh, Norris, weren't you going to, um, requisition a new dropship from the, uh, Watch Command? Yep. All right. So, on that note, I have been perusing the Kangers that we have here. Because. Well, we used to have magpies. I mean, blood ravens uh, stationed here, and they liked to steal everything. We have two drop ships that are no longer used at all, and with permission, we can steal one of them and use it for our own goals. What? When we steal, he would just allow you to use it for your operations. Deal, borrow, same thing. All right. Just in case something Work. happens, I've located a working stormbird and a working storm eagle in the hangars. And the watch commander has said that so long as we're very gentle with them, we may use one of them. Yes, but you have to roll for it real quick. Yes, but, but <laughs> I have a lot of pluses to that one. Uh, we got some more additional pluses, please. I, I did the math on everything. Uh, what do you want me rolling with? A D100. I think the base uh, I said is anything below 30, and then whatever bonuses you got, you can add top of that and push the number up. You have to roll under that. Yeah, you have to roll under those numbers. Uh, I think it was 50 you have to roll under. Let me just roll the D100, and then I'll just do some stacking stuff from there. Okay. How many missiles should I carry? A lot. A lot, yeah. Well, you I'll be you, adding you, well, my 30 requisition to the pool. You get two more. You got it. Okay, I'm about to say because I have even enough if, even, and I have a 65. I think was what it would be. So it'd be minus yeah. 65 for that roll. Which oh then yeah. Anyways, the pluses would add, add to the, the the difficulty modifier, which is the 30. So whatever. What would you, would you say you had plus what 65? Like, yeah, like 65. Yeah, that would turn into 95. That that roll almost succeeded the first one. Yeah, I was like, let me do math, and I was like, yeah, that almost would have made it. I knew it was going to be really, really hard for me to fail it, so. Or like, it be. He, at first, he's, uh, the watch command's like, no, those are so rare, I can't just part with them. I mean, a little coaxing, you kind of convince him to, to, like, yeah, sure, take it. We'll I be trust you. really gentle. So, All right. Sure they have that it so I'm just gonna post link uh, this the legit like um, 40k wiki, so everyone can just see these in general. 
uh, group effort, decide what you guys think. Uh, one uh, carries 20, can carry 20 Astartes. That's 10 less than a Thunderhawk. It's a little bit smaller. The other one can carry, one. the version we're going for, can carry 50 Astartes. The reason I recommended that one, though, is it has a Dreadnought Repair Bay. However, it's bigger than a Thunderhawk, so it's going to be a little bit harder to try and stealth it. Right. I can fly I both of them, though. Recommended drop pod insertion if you're going with the bigger one. Yeah. If we do the big one, we'd have it for later. Uh, drop pod in on this one. If we do the small one, we can literally just take that one in right now. Uh, but it'll be everyone's decision. I also recommend everyone taking uh, vengeance rounds to help with uh, armor piercing on chaos marine units. But you know their armor stats, too. You were given that intel. Yes. For some of them, yes. But Vengeance Rounds, basically what it does is it increases your regular Bolt of Rounds penetration to 9. And it gives it failing 1, which means we ignore their unnatural toughness. Or at least one level of it. So, you know how we get double our toughness bonus? They would also get double, but with failing 1, that gets reduced by half. So it effectively makes their pin instead of a 9, like a 13 pin. But if you roll 91 to 100 when you attack, you might uh, it'll explode in the chamber and you'll take some damage. Just don't roll 100. It's fine. Yeah, just just, just don't roll 91 to 100 and you're fine. Well, remember, I don't really have fate points anymore, so that's going to be more difficult. Yeah, okay, sorry, so, dude. That's so, yeah, fault. I heard about that and I was like, I could have given you fate points and still had a fate point. No, 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 no. They had to burn no, I know, I know. For the That's, tech what That's what I'm saying. I have four. No, no, no. He had to burn all of this other than okay. That's what I'm saying. I know I watched the episode. You uh he you had to get rid of three permanently. I still would have had one. Hey, you also missed the part where no one else could could take it. It had to be a sacrifice on the whoever I know. Nobody. That's what I was saying. Oh, I could have given up. Yeah three fate points ah, permanently, I have four, and so would have still had one I could permanently use. That's that's what I was saying. Well, it makes sense that one of us did it and not your character, considering... I don't know that well. Yeah. It, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Uh, what's, which of these dropships are you guys thinking? The Stormbird or the Storm Eagle? First one sounds like a better choice for a stealth mission. The second one is good for x -Fil. Potentially. Well, this would be like ours, ours to use until such time as the Watch Commander DMC wants it back. I prefer keep the mind. more armored one then. Keep in mind, uh, my ship has a dreadnought repair bay, so. The Stormbird? What's your ship? Uh, the Donrath. Okay. Well, I mean, I post the things. You can actually go read the. You can just look through their stats real quick if you want. I'm just saying, so don't base it solely on that decision. For this mission, think about the future mission, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, if we're going to think about future mission, then I would ha rather have Storm Eagle. That's smaller than the Walk. They're not pair base. Well, yeah, I thought the armor. Storm Eagle was the bigger the one. Big one. Uh, the Storm Bird is the bigger one. Huh. Oh, oh, I mean the bigger one. The Storm Bird. Yo, Mike, what's your recharge rate on the Infinity Gate? Uh, once every 12 hours. Once every 12 hours, okay. Yep, so I'll be using it to get us out of the facility. So, Boko, this extra requisition cost you're talking about for stuff that's higher rarity? Not extra, you get reduced. 25% <clears throat> off. Okay, I... It has no cost. It's just a rarity. Right. Right. No, so, you're, you're, so you're misunderstanding Belko because he's pulling from a different source than the I, There's no requisition for this. There's no money. Then, there's no requisition. It says you nothing. Just, that's right. Your inquisition, they would probably just give it to you. So you're, can I instead grab a near unique icon of the just that's given to demon hunters? 
usually at yeah. the Inquisition. Yeah. You guys are enough right. renown. As long as no renown requirement, it's like, yo, much side. Yeah, there's there's no renown in Dark Heresy, though. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's it's just a... Uh, I forget yeah. how their rules... If I remember right, there used to be like a roll system we did for that or something. I think so. Not remember. But um, also, it almost will give you anything you you require in a nearby sector. So, all right then. So you could probably yeah. Ah, it's a shame Colbert's character died. I could have gotten him a sentinel array. <laughs> yeah. Plus thirty to awareness tests. D- depending on. Depending on if, um, oh, yeah, <laughs> I see what you're saying now. <laughs> you're uh, throwing shade on me because I suck at awareness tests. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff. Okay. It's, it's essentially a backpack that is just super eyes. Yeah. Makes sense. It's, it's every sort of scanner combination all in one backpack. By the way, if I can get Ball of Cannon to join us, uh, he's most likely going to go with being a tech priest, because that's what he was interested in doing. Fair enough. So, that would be cool. That would be a cool addition to our team. But I, I got I to gotta see if uh, he'll actually join us first, because a lot of people express interest, and then they just never... Yeah. Right. That's, yeah. that's why I don't take him seriously Can't until I see him here. Right. That's how we lost, what, 12 people initially? No, we lost or like six people because we started with 12. Which was which still, with this system, would it still be doable? Right. Because it's all combat. Oh, I just found the Power Sphere addition to the. Uh armory and it says specifically the iron snakes donated these my poor iron snake is dead uh some were also donated by the white scars that's me specifically sticking my tongue out at the uh rest in peace iron snakes my first character was an iron snake how dare you all right and then he got talking to in the ear and then he died he shot himself (laughs) There's no chaos today. Should we all get camel cloaks? Since we're going in stealthily. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. we probably have to grab me one, then. Uh, there are 20 requisition a pop. Uh, then we just need to be good. Em. Yeah, uh, here's uh, their stats. Just gonna throw that in the chat. Ah. <sighs> Problem is, is camel cloaks don't work while we're moving. It's only when we're staying still. Then we just move really just, slowly. I just realized, does Melta need? Does Melta need any uh, ammunition, or is it it's, energy? It's, it's, believe it's they use Melta rounds. Huh? Believe they fire Melta rounds, but I could be wrong. I thought they were a recharge, which is why they take two turns. Because they're plasma. Plasma melt are kind of different in this, I think. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, the plasmas in this one take a hell of a lot longer than two rounds. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, dude, uh, uh, melt weapons deal an additional 1d10 damage at short range. Yes. Wait, so you're they? going to be dealing 6d10 close. damage at yeah. close range. One, one d- are you kidding uh, me? I've been rolling the wrong damage for my guns this entire time. Yes. Define close range. It's actually there's actually a table. I think it's uh, short range is the. Uh, I think it's like within half. It's like half range. You're saying fifty meters. Uh, let me see what the short range is uh, exactly, because there is a proper definition for it. Just don't look up the word range. There's over four hundred results in the. Or... Yeah, the half half of the weapons uh, range is a is short range. Mm, we can just ask Cole Pilot. Uh, they use Melta canisters as far as what Melta uses. 
So the weapon itself should have like uh, a clip value, and that's basically six. how much each. So you have six shots for each one of those. But okay. if you roll ninety-five, it explodes. I can take it. Yours, mate, and you mate. take the full damage. Um, <laughs> fifteen. Might be ten plus five with a fifteen pin. If you oh, uh, sorry, upgrade five D five D ten. <laughs> if you no, upgrade I'm, to I'm, master quality, uh, then I think it will not jam or like not. Oh, explode, sorry, no. If you fail firing it by five or more levels, which I don't think is possible for you. Yeah, I don't think it's possible, actually. If you fail that badly, you can just bum a fate point off of someone to re-roll the uh, two-hit roll anyway. I got yeah. you. Yeah, but you have to get five degrees of failure. Bef uh, if you do, oh, then negative five. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I don't think you can. That's not possible. Negative five yeah. with all your bonuses. So yeah, even if you rolled a hundred, I don't think you can get a negative five, unless you were doing something like shooting at uh, one kilometer away under a uh, torrential downpour through. Uh, the tiniest of holes to hit your through mark. the warp. <laughs> remember, yeah, yeah. Just, just remember, majority of my bonus is from the heavy bolter. Can't really convert yeah. that in the uh, bolter. Uh, so. mm. Okay. My hit, my heavy bolter is plus forty because all the attachments I put in the, in the mastery skills. Well, then put some uh, attachments on this thing. Uh that's a that's a very good thought. I think I am good. I'm yeah, ready. I'm ready to go. How much are I am, The only ever, other thing I could grab is a side cannon. I've stolen several vortex <laughs> grenades. No one tell the armorer or the forge master. I'm going to equip two stun grenades uh, for my rookies and two EMP grenades for them. I'm going to give them uh, both an exceptional quality combat shield. Uh, which makes their overload rows be uh, from zero to, from one to five instead of one to ten. And I'm gonna give one of them an additional salt shotgun with the slug rounds. Well, I recommend everyone take vengeance rounds if they can use bolt weapons. Uh, they are uh, solid projectile weapons; they're not bolt weapons. Okay, but everybody else who does have bolt weapons, I recommend just taking vengeance rounds. Yeah, I'm taking as much as I can. Uh, did we get uh, two rocket launchers, or are we bringing rocket launchers? Who has a good ballistic skill? That's the better question. I. It's not me, and it's not me. <laughs> I got fifty-five. Okay. Aside yeah, actually, from dude, uh, Yelnug, and myself, who ha who has the ability, who has a decent shooting skill. I've got 55 in ballistics. Sounds and like one of my, a new rocket man. And one of my I'm, rookies is a 47. I'm, That's not too bad. He can take one too. I'm, I'm 75. You already have a two. Or you, uh, you're, you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got the multi more. You've got the multi <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, they, yeah grab a. So an Astartes uh, Soundstrike missile launcher. It's got a 250 meter range. And a base pen of eight. What's so, the cost? Uh there there is no cost for it. It's it, we. No, I'm saying it's its requisition. There is thirty yard below. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it, I'm saying for us there will be none. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There, here it is. Uh, you just have to figure out what rounds you're carrying. I would say probably like five rockets each. So you said he'll give me anything I ask for, right? Loco? <laughs> right. That's, that's essentially what's happening here. Because, if it's, because not a lot of items are more than 30 yeah. requisition. On, honestly, we there's, there's, there's almost no weapons me. that are better than what I have that have just been upgraded by Culper's character, to be fair. The only mm -hmm. thing I could possibly get is an Exodus rifle. But that also requires getting an Exodus pistol because they come as a matched set. And the Exodus rifle has specialized ammunition that makes it so dodge checks have a minus 20, 
just innately. And then one of the rounds ignores all force fields, psychic fields, demon bullshit. Another one adds 2d10 and 5 penetration and ignores base toughness bonus, but not unnatural toughness, but my sanctified makes it so it ignores demonic anyway. And the other one just makes it so it crits better. I guess I gotta go with the sniper rifle. Well, that doesn't have a lot of pen, though. Mine? Oh. Wait, what's yours? It's got... It does not have a lot of pen, no. However... Um... I'm gonna guess about that for the rockets. Real quick. Uh, Nine could I... Can I get someone's help looking up uh, Vengeance Rounds in the core rulebook? Because for whatever reason, yeah, uh, my uh, PDF viewer is fucking off right now. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we pulled uh, it. It too. is page uh, 160. God, I Sam, look right next. I'm right near it. I think uh, we should get something that incapac incapacitates people because if the librarians are going to be captured or held prisoners, they're probably going to be guards and they might or might not go go after them and kill them. Aces grenades. This is extremely mm. laggy. I can't even use my PDF properly. Use use my uh, Microsoft Edge. It's it's a lot less laggy. It's still slow, but it's still better than Chrome version. Um, the problem is, I have an open. I have not opened Microsoft Edge in a long time, and I'm recording, so the last thing I want to do is open up Microsoft Edge and some degenerate shit pops up, and then it's forever immortalized on my YouTube channel. That sounds like a you problem. It is a me problem. <laughs> you could. You could. And here's just a suggestion. Uh -huh. Stop the recording. Or pause it. Uh, I could pause it. You can also, you know, you can just like hide the scene in the OBS. You can just like click Don't on the eye icon. Don't you have a second monitor? What I was hoping is maybe uh, someone already had it open and they could screenshot it and throw it in one of the Discord channels. What do you need? You're asking too much of us. Yeah. Damn. How dare you? What do you need? I wasn't paying attention to anything that you just said. Um, I need uh, I need a screenshot of Vengeance Rounds, the rules oh, pertaining to I'm them. literally... Yeah, I I'm, just on, I'm on that page. All right. Just throw in, in order the resources. For, for, in order for me to get the multi melta I need 19... 18.75. Uh, Take mine. I don't, wreck. Take okay. mine. I'm not requisitioning anything. That's stupid. I can't take a rocket launcher... I'm carrying a shield, so there's not oh, yeah. much. I'm, I'm also wise I can carry. Adding in whatever my I got my thirty in the pool. You've got Karen's thirty in the pool. I do recommend uh, that whoever takes the rocket launchers, I'd say probably two plasma, three cracks. I posted the damages in the Death Watch channel as well, so you can look at them. Crack is four D ten plus six. Uh, 10 pen, the plasma is 2d10 plus 12, but it's 12 pen. But that one's also got blast three and volatile. And then I think I'm good and ready to go. I would also say if you could, uh, Dude, the Astartes backpack ammo supply. So did we determine I'm taking one of the missile launchers then? Yep. All right, sweet. I recommend probably two plasma for uh, crack, but do with that info as you will. All right. Isn't that already... Stuff. Wait, isn't the Astartes back backpack ammo supply comes with the Devastator? I believe so, yes. So you should be including that then. Well, since I change roles, I need to update <clears throat> what my starting items are. I think that's really the big thing. Is well, Yeah, it holds 100 rounds for plasma, melta, and las weapons. 
So your reload you thing, would, your reload. Yeah, I would honestly, I'd say at that point, you could just take the plasma. Just take oh, the so I can leave the heavy bolter behind and just use the you bolter. Bring, to. bring a bolt pistol, or you Krom's probably should have access to a rapid reload talent. Probably, I think I well, should have should. access. I should probably already have it. It's like I yeah, it I have. Halves. I do have rapid reload, so that cuts in half if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, a weapon connected to a backpack supply uses it for its ammo, ignores its normal clip size, backpack ammo supplies weigh 40, and are automatically issued with any heavy weapon. You just have to actually bother to bring it with you. But yeah, it makes your, uh, you, you carry 100 rounds for the uh, Melta. So, you have 100 shots, not 6. Yeah. Uh, I'm just... Which I th- I think I'm just trying to, to currently. I'm just trying to find the devastator. There it is. Here it is. Standard issue, heavy bolter with a backpack supply. So technically, well, it, no, it says bolter, on the Stardust backpack supply that it's issued with any heavy weapon, and the one you've requisite gotten is a heavy weapon. So it would it would come with that, or should come with that, anyways? Yeah. It's gonna suck. Ah, uh-huh. uh, yeah. Here's melta canister. Oh man, Google Sheets will be better than this. I need to migrate my tools. All right, then I'm gonna bring the multi the multi melts. I will not have the heavy bolter anymore. And what's, at least what's... for this mission. What what dropship you guys going with? Uh, we're going with the big boy. Well, we're not using. I, are we doing a drop pod insert, or are we gonna, gonna have to? With that, gonna, they're gonna advise gonna drop pod insertion with that big boy. E, unless you want to land further away. I mean, if we land undetected further away, well, it's then, gonna take time to get to the uh, stronghold. We only have seven and a half hours. No, we have seven and a half hours upon first contact. As long as we don't engage anything, we have a limited amount of time. That incre- that that would mean we'll increase risk of running into a patrol. We might not want might not want to do that. Yep. So what do we do? You guys drop that drop pod is my take. Or did it, do I sorry, we did say the the big the big boy, right? I'm not I'm not mistaken. Yes. At least, at least, I at least one it. person chimed in. I don't know what everybody else is feeling there. Yeah, or I was about guys, to say. Or you guys can be bold and just like try to land in the base with that huge. <laughs> it's got two void shields. I mean, right. It's possible, it, it, but just know it, y'all could die. And it could be in the, in the party wipe before you even touch the ground. That is a possibility. Well, it's, well if we reveal the intel, there's possible AAs. There's no, there's also, there is there's AAs. No, yeah. Also, this is a stealth mission. Dropping, drop potting in seems like, uh, hey guys, we're right here. Come get do we us. Wanna, do we want to take the Storm Eagle for it now then? And just and go in quiet and then try and see if we can't or convince. We drop on it. Drop well, if you on low and slow. Well, if you drop pot in, you're, you'd be about two clicks out, Moth. You, you'll get there. Yeah, the battle will be engaged by that point, anyways, because you your forces will land to the north first. Drop pods will be inserted afterwards. Why can't we just get the um, whatever the Deathwatch uh, unique uh, gunship is? Oh, I have that. We had that pulled up somewhere. Where did, I'm pretty what? sure that one's fairly stealthy. Why this the the Storm Eagle or whatever? No, I'm gonna say it's like a no, this new one. There's another one. Yeah, I had it pulled up. It's earlier. like the Games Workshop model for Deathwatch. Okay. And just yeah, let I, me know so I know where to place. It's like their it. own. It's Death Watch's like own personal uh, dropship. It's like a air I rhino ju- with guns. I just pulled it up the other day too. God damn it! Fuck. Oh, it can hold two hundred fifty rounds for bolt weapons. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna do this. Uh... But yeah, Ma, that was the point of the distraction forces. So even though you're yes, you would be drop potting in and quote unquote alerting them to your position, 
they would be kind of busy with the big fuck off force to the north. Gotcha. Yeah, that was the Corvus Black Star. So, yeah. You just want to use one of those for right now. I mean, it's it's whole thing is getting in quick and getting out quick. Yeah, I just can't carry a lot of people. What is it like? Ten people. Yeah, so us. Right. Again, we're not going to be. We're not using it to uh, extract with. We're using it primarily <laughs> just to get in with. Uh, you're kind of extracting a couple guys, but you yeah. Be so you, bit, you're, we're there's a thunderhawk on the planet that we're extracting off on. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there is, yeah, there is that. Yeah, so this thing carries, uh, I think, ten people, and we're bringing eight. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we should fit on it just to get down there on the planet, you know, and it can just fly away again. Yep. And then we gate to our landing zone, and okay. everybody flies off in the Thunderbird or the Thunderhawk. Whatever, All right. Whatever the the super badass bird is down there. Yeah. By the way, who has low willpower? Not me. Uh, to find do. low. <laughs> Vulnerable to demons low. Okay. 55. Find low. I, got I have 55, so do okay, it. Anything under 50, then. Both of my rookies have uh, about 37, 38 willpower, and Karnov has 55. So what's, yeah, what's the name of your dropship again? And you guys are inserting it with that? Uh, Corvus Blackstar. That's just a default uh, Black Watch uh, or Death Watch thing. Corvus Blackstar. All right. Uh, yeah, question yeah. What, what are we going to be doing with the uh, two Scout Kill teams? What are they going to be doing? That's up to the Yagmogs. That's up to the Uh They're primarily just holding the, um, the landing zone and keeping it clear, keeping it hidden, kind of a thing. All right. Um, so, like, that's. Their primary purpose will just be to secure and hold that because once shit hits the fan, they may have to keep it secure for us. All right. To, to uh, in that case, it. there there is like a camo like uh, tarp thing you can get. Uh, I just linked it in the chat, which can be useful to hide uh, a Thunderbird. So your two trainees are they coming with us on this mission? Yes. Yes, I'm going to be bring them with us. Uh, they are oh, going to be survivors. staying behind. They're the survivors probably. from my kill team. Okay. Yeah, so they're, they're not they're... coming with us on the mission. They're just coming down with us. Yes, under uh, the keeper's command. Yes, train. Are they just going to be staying with my kill teams to uh, secure the landings on them? Whatever the keeper wants them to do. Oh, well, I'm sure they're just keepers. Yeah, Karnath trained them, and uh, did he train you as well there? Uh, Yes. Okay, cool. It was rigorous. <laughs> yes. It was very rigorous. I've been a busy person. All right, then. So I guess I'll buff our melee guys with a divine symbol, then. That should be two of you, right? Yes. All right. You, you will have plus 30 to all tests to resist psychic powers, and a demon or other creature of the warp has a minus 10 to hit you with natural weapons. I'm going to go write that down somewhere. Now, as far as what oath we should take, we could probably do the oath of knowledge again and get that plus 10 weapon skill, ballistic skill to uh, chaos space marines again. Right, what is that? It's what, plus 30 to hit, you said? Minus what? 10 to hit with natural weapons. Uh, and plus 30 to resist all psychic powers. Plus 30 to resist all psychic powers. We're also immune to possession, I believe, right? Or are we not? Uh, yes, to... you are immune to possession as well. I forgot about that. I suppose also if you have... 20 or more corruption points, this can't affect you. So it would fail if you have, you know, high corruption for whatever reason. So it does not fail. Have any corruption. Yes, obviously. Uh, 
I don't like the way that black shield said yes. <laughs> I don't like how the other guy is completely silent. Oh, what other guy? Sorry, I'm busy adding a bunch of stuff to my sheet, like the missile launcher. That way I don't have to do it when we get in combat. I like Oh, yeah, right. In, in that case, right, since we gave one of the rookies a rocket launcher, they should be probably coming with us then. And so should the other one. Because since we took two missile launchers, and one of them is in Tessa's character's possession, the other is in my rookie's possession. Uh, so. Is it the the chaplain or the other one? Uh, no, no, no. They are both assault marines. Uh, it's the... Uh. Yeah, they're, they were assault marines when they were presented to me, so I stack, they, stuck with that. God damn it. Um, okay. They weren't supposed to be assault marines. Like, at all. All right, I've got all my uh, gear jotted down here. So I recommend we take the, uh, the Oath of Knowledge again, giving us plus 10 weapon skill and ballistic skill versus a specific enemy, which will be, you know, Chaos Space Marines. I'm cool with that. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sweet. That'll make me the squad leader again, but that makes sense for this particular mission. Mm -hmm. okay. I think we're ready. Yeah. Yep. By the way, okay. AI is brutal. Are you guys did your roles for infiltration already? No. Not yet. Oh, Not yet. Please. Before I tell you anything, do you guys want to use the fate point on on the decision I'm about to make? Ah, uh, hold, hold, uh, one sec. Yes. So, so, so I'm grabbing an icon of the just. It's a near unique item, but it also has the ability to have craftsmanship, which affects the uh, overload roll. What what do I do for that? Do I roll to see how good it is, or yes. Alrighty, I'll there's poor, common, good, and best. So, uh, so this is pre-landing. Uh, if you guys, you guys don't have to. You guys can use a fate point or not on this decision. And those without fate points, you can borrow from another if you must. So it's up to you. I don't have fate points. I know you can borrow from others if you have to. This is pre-landing. This is the only time I'm going to tell you. What's, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, but... Well, if I don't know what they rolled, then I don't know if we need to spend fate points or not. Right, exactly. You know, I wouldn't want to spend a fate point on a, on a good roll. But if it's oh. a bad roll, then absolutely I would want to spend a fate point on it. Did your guy have, like, an ability to, for premonitions or anything like that? Or detect anything like that? No. Okay. I rolled a four for the craftsmanship test. So, but I'm just saying that now. If we get a bad you, roll. It really, only tells me you made a really bad roll, and we should I, probably use one. I did. It is extremely bad. In fact, so, yeah, my, fate point. I will use one of my fate points to re-roll that really bad roll. Yes. It's on the infiltrate. infiltrate. Just now it's on an infiltration into, into a hot zone of Various patrols and anti-air batteries and etc. 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 One guy looks up and says, "Oh, oh!" and points us out. Exactly. I I don't know how you guys how it literally rolled bad on the last set of rolls too. Every spaceship roll is always going to be bad. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, it was. Um, you guys lost by four points. Yeah, it was four, <laughs> four point difference. And then, and then he also lost some Can other I add things. Any modifiers for me being able, being able to pilot? 
Huh? Oh, you yeah. won't know what's coming. This is a surprise. This is infiltration. So, if your character oh, knew what was happening, you'd be able to do something. Yes. I was. I was okay. okay. This is this is pre-mission. We did this with we did this with the drop pod on the first mission. I was saying piloting since I can pilot spacecraft. I'm trained in them. I have a plus ten. I, your character would have no knowledge of what's about to happen. I I was saying fl- would flying in would that have made um, as a modifier to an no. infill role mm-hmm. since I was piloting it. No. This is just how events unfold. The dice gods. Dice gods are fickle. Yeah, they don't shine upon you guys. Kind of like with that ship of yours, Yelmug. You always had poor ship pilot rolls. So, to grab this force field, the the uh, craftsmanship, I rolled a four out of a hundred. Now. Hey, uh, and, Boko. And, yeah, and the spinning of the fate point changed the outcome. I actually did a separate roll for a change of outcome. Good. Mm-hmm. Because the bad thing's gonna gonna happen. Uh the just the outcome of the bad thing is changes. Hey Boko. Okay. What? Can you read Death Watch chat real quick? I'll be right back. No no, he was trained. Trained. I don't know if they're assault marines. You, you can change the name. It was just training. I think you have access to the, those those um sheets, though. You'd be able to ch- change them. Yeah, I think that would be ideal. Yeah. Tried to run and grab my coffee. What I, I just I just named them and then gave them over to whoever to train them. Got it. So So we did use a fate point on that roll? Yes, the change the the change of the outcome. Alright. Is it is it better now? Uh, do you always, you always tell you what, what what the outcome would have been? Had you not guys used fate points? Sure. sure. Well, if it's in- different. Yeah, so it would have been instant death. Ah, okay. <laughs> Pretty good. That's that's a wiry little bit out of it. <laughs> that's I was like, I was like, I really think you should, because I was going to just let it play out, but I think that would piss everyone off in this chat. Oh yes. So I was like, I was like, I really think you should spend it. Is there any way to gain fate points, or it yeah. is what it is? There's a couple ways. Which is? Uh, one, you're born under a lucky star, and you just have an extra one. Another one, you're born born a specific thing, so you have an extra one. But both of those are the same kind of thing. And another one is um, some classes in the Dark Heresy book at least get one extra, just for being... So you, I think so you can there might decrease be like a, during the run, but you not, can never increase the fate. I think there so. might be like some yeah, distinction for no re- for just a reason. Well, uh, I, I, I've I think there five. is like a thing where, like, I think there is like a in the rights of battle. I think there is like a distinction you can get, which gives you one point. I'm not sure. I need to read up. You can get it from your armor. The GM can award one. You can do heroic deeds and get a distinction. Hmm. Haven't I already done some heroic deeds? Apparently not that heroic. Okay. That or Boko just didn't know about it. Say again? The fate point thing. Getting fate point for distinctions. Because, you know, I'm kind of a little out of it. I'm trying to think of if there's any way I can get some back. I'm trying to think. Uh, so, what's the most heroic thing? I'm I'm willing to play. Uh, what's the most heroic thing that you can remember during the campaign? You you pulling off? Finding off the Tyranids <laughs> while being in the tunnel. I'm yeah, mainly the first mission. Surviving a ship crashing into the planet. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was one. Surviving in quotes. <laughs> So I will I give think you. He did uh, in when we were fighting. Everybody a burned greater, a fate point, but me on that. Yeah, when we were fighting the greater demon, and then Yilma threw a artifact at the greater demon. It was uh, dudes who dude who put the final killing blow on oh, the demon. Go. He gets a he gets he has four fate points. He burned three when he made the sacrifice, so he has one. There you go, dude. <clears throat> Congrats. You Yay, got it. I have Feel something. Good. You feel a surge of like I have something. I don't know what. But I have something. <laughs> oh, uh, the emperor grants me new luck. Okay, so if if I can butt in here real quick, um, this uh this this shield I'm getting, Boko. Just just to clarify, you told me to roll for the quality, and I rolled a four. Yeah, that's sweet. You get to get the tip of the top. All right, it only can overload on a roll of nat one then. Nice. So that's the way the dice gods roll. That's the way they roll. Good and bad. All right, so what's going to happen to us then? The, the bad outcome. Why am I shorter than everybody? Well, you guys let me know when you guys are ready. <laughs> Why is that the question? <laughs> You're a little short to be a space marine trooper. When did that happen? Uh, har, 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 har. So, what's that dropship? Glad someone in? got the reference. Uh, Corvus Black Star. Okay. One more in? Yeah. Corvus Black Star. Tiny. It's a little Death Watch infiltration vessel. Slash yep. gunship. We're landing on the beaches of D-Day in a landing craft. That's what this is. All right. You guys let me know when you guys are ready. I'm in the proper spot. Can you guys see the interior of the dropship? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. So in the shadows, uh, in the shadowed skies of the war zone, the Corvus Black Star, symbol of Death Watch, si silent and de uh, deadly approach. Cleave through the sky in smoke cleared, uh, smoke choked air. It's advanced stealth, advanced stealth systems that met a black hole, rendering a ghost amongst the chaos of battle, a wrath in the eyes of the enemy. The sleek predatory design of the craft, with its angular lines and an ominous profile, spoke of machines built for a single purpose, delivering the Emperor's judgment behind enemy lines. Within the Black Star's cramped interior, the kill team, an elite unit of the Death Watch, sat in intense anticipation. Their armor and patchwork of heraldry, heraldry from a thousand different chapters, that's funny, was a different testament to the unity and strength of the Imperial's finest. They were silent, each lost in, uh, each lost in their own minds, rituals, prayers of the Emperor, my focus on the mission ahead. The tranquility of the preparation was violently disrupted as alarms blared through the cabin. The pilot, the veteran, countless in, uh, in, insertions worked feverishly at, at the controls. Anti-aircraft fire. A storm of deadly precision of chaos whirlwind batteries had finally caught their scent of their prey. Uh, Brace for evasive maneuvers, barks the pilot as he voiced steadily despite the chaos. The Black Star danced to the sky, weaving unpredictable paths through the deadly rain of flak and shells. With a testament of the pilot's skill, the Corvus Black Star agility that evaded the worst of the barrage, but fate, it seemed, was not entirely on their side. A suddenly enduring impact a sudden jarring impact rocked the craft. The cabin light flickered as the Black Star system screamed warnings. One of the anti-aircraft shells had found its mark, rendering the advanced armor and crippling starboard engine. Smoke and sparks filled the cockpit as the pilot fought to keep the Black Star airborne. And emergency landing. Hold fast, brothers, as he calls out. The scent was rapid and a controlled crash. I saw the Black Star hurtling towards the war-ravaged landscape below. With a bone-jarring impact, the crash plowed on the ground, carving a deep, deep furrow into the earth before coming to a sudden halt. Inside the kill team, though shaken, remained unbroken. Their armor had saved them from the worst of the crash's fury. As the dust settled and the sounds damaged, uh, damaged Black Star faded, the kill team quickly regrouped. Uh, they checked the weapons, preparing to step to hostile terrain. Now on the battlefield, the mission has changed. What was meant to be a silent insertion behind enemy lines to become a fight for survival in the heart of chaos held territory with a grim determination the emperor the determination the emperor's name in their lips the space marines of death watch prepared to bring their foes undeterred by the setback resolved in their duty 
So, you see what I mean? There's not much you could have done. <laughs> New mission objective, pilot. survive. I'm the pilot. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd rather blame that on the 88 guardsmen, you know? <laughs> uh, nah, I was, I, was, I, was, I was sitting here ready to hit pilot roll. No, there's, this is like, uh, said, this is sudden and jarring. Like, your character would have no knowledge of this happening un until it happened. Let me get the site prepared for you. I think it's this one. Oh, where, where the hell did I put it? Aha! <clears throat> Who's popping out of the dropship first? I'm in the cockpit, so it's gonna take me a second. I'm gonna be the first one stepping out. Okay. Among the first ones, at least. I will be you're running just, from the cockpit just, as soon as I can. You doing stealthily, or are you just jumping out? Uh, we crash landed, yes. We crash yeah. landed, right? Oh, here we go. Yep. Okay, well then I might need help getting out of the cockpit. <laughs> uh, Boko, I'm, uh, how badly mangled is the cockpit? That's fine. He, like, your pilot was able to crash land into the ground, so it's not only the pilot. I want to, I want to do this role. Just, oh. this, this is just for, yeah. This, that's what I was saying. I'm the pilot. I have like this stuff. I'm just gonna do this to see how badly oh. I, I crashed. Okay, so we came in on a decent landing. Thank you. I did. I don't know about you. I have a chair. This is for me, mental space wise, so I can figure out where. No, no, you're. you're I you're also good. have a chair. It squeaks a lot. <laughs> the rest yeah. of us are just standing like it's a bus. Yeah, so that's. Not, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were just standing for the crash. All right, I see Karnoff's vision. However, I don't see anyone else unless he's. Uh, Hold on. I'm all alone. Well, he stepped oh, okay. out by himself. I'm, so. I can't see shit. Yeah, I don't see anything. Is my visor damaged again? No. <laughs> I I only no, see a very dark interior, so we, we need to step out now of the thing. Again. All right, who else? Who's stepping out next? I guess uh, I'll step out. I'm gonna make my way out now as soon as I can. Okay. Probably just pop the the Wait. fucking glass for the cockpit if Wait. need be. What I'll happened, Boko? Make did... sure everyone else is okay. <laughs> Boko, did right. you uh? Did you relinquish control of uh, Karnoff's token? I did. Token? Okay. I did. I did. Since I've had control of this token for a while now, I just haven't been messing with it. I'm going to open the helmet box door to the squad. Anyone injured? Are you popping out of the cockpit, you said? Uh, yeah, I'm coming straight out of the cockpit. Okay, and then... And asking for who's alive. I have light injuries, brother. I'm just Identified. Gonna say just going to say it took like five points of damage with that. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume all these blue people are hostile. I don't yes. see anything. I still <laughs> don't see anything. Really? I've reloaded. I've reloaded. And I'm going to take one thing of damage, too. Just a I so. I'm confused why your character... Oh, okay. This... Let me fix your character. He's not... Can you see now? I got to just reload it again. I think I still uh, need to restart black. my visor. Everything is black. It's black because Boko hasn't placed our tokens yet. I don't. I think. have placed his token. Oh, no, you I have? see my okay. token, you but it's all four black. tokens. Like, I see three. I will show you what I see. I see. Oh no, there's another one. He's tiny below my name tag. I see this. Oh. Yeah, there is. There is yours. Ah, oh, he's, he's there's probably Priscilla's. inside of the uh, the ship. The ship's probably. Oh, maybe. I don't even now? see my token. There, there is no token for you yet, you monk. Uh, dude. Yeah. yeah. I'm bringing him on the field. Don't worry. Well, I need a you're modified you're, character. You guys. Oh, I can see shit now. I can see. I see a negative cone of vision. That's same. interesting. That's weird. <laughs> same here. Inverted. Oh God! What just happened? Uh. Okay. I take back most of my previous statement. Yeah, what's happening? Weird. Okay, now the world just rotated. Oh, you're seeing from what? Now. Oh, wait, if I do this, am I casting a shadow on you right now? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay, I can see now. 
I didn't have day. I didn't have. I didn't. Wait, what time did you guys come in? You come at night, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so your character doesn't have a light. So let me let me fix that. I have it on daytime mode, but came actually, in at twenty-two. Your characters uh, can basically see it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You're, Okay, so I'll just keep it day. It's day still mode. evening. It's still evening, yeah. Yeah, to you it's guys. A it's a twenty-eight hour uh, t uh, planet cycle. We came in at twenty-two fifteen, so it would have been right on the dusk. Right, but you guys can uh, also see in the dark, so it probably right. doesn't even matter. Yeah. I thought we came in at zero to hundred. No, no, no. That's when we okay. expect to try and leave by, we if we immediately engage in combat. Which seems like yes. All right, start the timer. Oh, oh my god. god. No, oh, no. We've got a Titan on the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, Titan landed way the fuck off target. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm placing your your, your uh, two other Marines, or three other guys. Yeah, I'm not that's, in that's yet. The, that's actually the right size, too, for the Black Star dropship. I think. Oh, I saw a flash of something for a sec. No, it wasn't me. Never mind. People drawing arrows. Are those uh, my people? Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> How the shit did you do that? I still can't you see anything. Big... Damn! So, I want to see like a giant mech that looks like that. God damn! I think oh, you guys are gonna be rolling for initiative now because immediately as you guys pop out, you guys have landed basically on a chaos patrol on the outskirts of of okay. your death, death, uh, this, uh, intended target. Is this an ambush? Round for them. Let's just count as ambush. I uh, no, you guys are a dropship coming out of the sky. <laughs> they're on, if it's an ambush for death. All right. Right. Yeah. We they're them. <laughs> yeah. Right. Surprise, mother truckers. It. Yeah. See. See. Every other group has a group of three space marines. This one only has two. We obviously um, landed on the leader. It, it has one right. His, his toes good. are probably sticking out. All we got to do is pour water I'm, on the I'm, rest. Well, of the I'm right in front of them, so. <laughs> My token I, is I, not I, on the I board yet. The who's who's missing? Me. Oh. Virlo. Your guy is uh, slightly unconscious, and he's where the where's the initiative button again? Uh, what what? Oh, I, oh, oh. what agility? I don't think that was Colbert's guy. Let's see if you got to put the mic. It's one d ten plus your digit. Yeah, I also gotta control my trainees if those are supposed to be my trainees. Nope. You can't control them. All right. Under oh, my okay. control, NPCs. Got it. Got it. Uh, which add twice the characters of Jody. Uh, in that oh, case, let me add some stuff to their gear, just so you know what they have. Oh yeah, six. I can't roll for initiative until my tokens on the board. Your token should be on the board, is he not? I just see everything is black, eternal darkness. Virlo's on the board. Let me Do you have control. Have you assigned that token oh, to Oh 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 No, I forgot to give him actually eyes. There's a button I have to click, vision. <laughs> You're blind, bitch. There we go. So you forgot Which... to turn on the visor. <laughs> yeah. Uh brothers, visor. I forgot to turn on my night vision. Oh god, it's mission one all over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it here, Dreadnought? Um, now? It's or no, is Dreadnought not available? Dreadnought's not here yet. One D ten. By the way, uh, they the 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 group does comment box in you guys to ask your status. One second. Um. Okay. Oh, they're at spitting distance. Damn. Eight times two. It's like thirteen point six. There we go. I did that wrong. That's my initiative. Point six. Are you round? Uh, just round it. So twenty. Yeah, just round. 20. Just round. And just so you guys know, I gotta leave in about. Wait, no, I think you round down. Fifty yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. The, the point six is like a tiebreaker thing. So. Yeah, I gotta. So it's always the second digit, the tenth uh, digit. <sighs> So these guys around our ship, are they friendly or are they chaos? No. Uh, these random space marines don't have this many people. Space Considering we're on a chaos planet. 
Yeah, and we, we only had into. 12 friendlies, and I'm counting more than 12 uh, individuals there. Hmm. Do you think a melt bomb help him? Or the melt multi melt uh, will? Okay, I just them? want oh. you to see the distance here. Yeah, it's oh. half range. Okay, Hold I up. haven't recoded it, but if you can add me on the, in on the initiative. I mean, it was is fun. it under meters? Should be meters. Yeah, it's in meters. It's, it's in meters. It's just uh, real close from what we've been used to. I would not throw... Well, like, right now. We are oh, boy. Close. That's even closer. <laughs> it's six meters. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I am two They're meters. Distance. Uh, I love I this. I am two guys. fucking meters. Can you add me to the turn roll, please? We get accuracy uh, bonus for point blank range now. Yeah, one second. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't know how to change my thing. I have a... No, they're about 38. What does ping everyone? It, it pings everyone. Ping. Oh, it's just <laughs> literally this. What do, you, what do you think it means? I thought it meant that everyone would ping on their character or something. You added to the thing. Oh, okay, okay. I can see where you're coming from. No, thank you. All right, there you go. Much better, right? There are 20 you know, if, it, if it's yeah. listed as ping everyone, that means you can ping only specific people. That is true, unless... Some, some knucklehead would probably do that. Kind of like with uh, YouTube, you have to subscribe and click the notification to get notified. Wow. So what's the point of subscribing? Well, the no... What's the idea of subscribing now? No, so yeah. when you subscribe, it just puts a video like in your feed somewhere, but it's all randomized and... Mm -hmm. You still get no back to YouTube. I get it. No. It's not randomized because you can go to your subscription tab and then you can actually see. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, but come on. That. Zoomers are super lazy. They don't know what a subscription tab is. What the hell? Well, I mean, Zoomers aren't even on YouTube. I have to click a menu on, on the left side of my screen. Nah. Zoomers don't use YouTube. They use TikTok. That's true. Uh, oh gosh. <laughs> it's true though. I got Boko backing me up here. Yep. YouTube shorts. Ah. Stop. <laughs> Let's close the tab if you're in YouTube shorts. Close for the next month. Close for the next month. I'm just so uh, glad that as a millennial, our generation has aged to the point where millennials are no longer the young Why are you dumbasses. on the board twice there? That's weird. Who? Uh, I'll just delete the ones where I don't see tokens. Uh. Somebody's on the board twice. How did, uh, how did you get a 19.6? Because I took a perk which lets me double my agility bonus and double my agility be, bonus. It should be a round 19. Yeah, yeah no, round, round up. Down, round, round up. Round, okay. Round up. There. Well, hey, I figured yo. also because of the sake that I saw Brasora rolled the 20, so it made it easier in my head just to. From what I understand, why do you even have a decimal? Uh, because I'm doubling my agility bonus, which is 6.8 by default. How do you have a so point eight? That's literally what it came from, from the thing. So are these guys... Your agility has a 68. 68. Yeah, yeah, I have a 68. Okay, so. ignore so your decimal. bonus is just 6. Yeah, ignore the decimal. If it's the 10th digit, that is your bonus. Are these guys Imperial Guardsmen, or are they something else? You see uh, Chaos no Space Imperial Marine. Guard. There's no Imperial Chaos Guard Guardman. on the planet yet. Got it, There got shouldn't it. have been Imperial Guard. Yeah. Oh, the initial thing. Brothers, they are corrupt as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's so corrupt, our initiative disappeared. Oh. The, the enemy has our initiative them. now. Oh, they we were kind enough ambush. to give it back. <laughs> That's crazy you guys can see me turning it on and off. Yeah. I, mean, you can, I, I don't need to see it. I know where I'm going. Or when right. I'm going. Uh, so, Brasar, you're actually up first. So what were you saying was the, uh, the bonus for multiple weapons in close quarters again? Uh, plus 1d10 damage. Alrighty. Oh, also, looks I think like the distance mug, is normalized big, again. You know, you know, you're not Yilmug. You've got the big fox system. So we're gonna get plus five in their uh, ballistics. Also, if you're attacking any space marine, you get another plus ten. 
Is that in general or just to ballistics? To air, uh, weapon skill and ballistic skill. Okay. Well then, let's test out this new rifle. I'm gonna use four I'm, coming in. I'm so glad you guys decided to use your fate points. We're so glad we decided to use our fate points. <laughs> that, that's why I kept it ambiguous, <laughs> like... I'm not trying to be a dick. <laughs> well, yeah, you kind of gave us I, enough heads. You know, to be steak. fair, I could have used. Four, I could have technically used foresight. You have foresight. I do. I could. We could have used foresight since I was oh. piloting. That's why I was saying, hey, because I have a plus ten to piloting and I have a plus ten with foresight, so that would have well, been a plus ten. Uh, it. We'll just say that that saved you from insta dying. Yeah. Excellent. You you had the intuition like hmm, something's not right. Um. And then we uh, said, Emperor, help us, as we <laughs> offered him our fate point. Humbly. <laughs> are these rocks, or are these, like, what, what are these, by the way? Those look like rocks. Yeah, they're rocks. Oh. Various cover, debris from your ship that got splattered everywhere as well. The various I mean, things. They're very clearly recently fallen meatballs. Yeah, right. Very it, true. It, it, very very true. true. <laughs> I understand the forecast now. That's wow. why we crash landed, yeah. Stop. Uh, I mean, if it was recently, uh, if it was recently glassed, the debris from the explosion would blow terrain into the air and it's still probably fallen. Ah, uh, so oh, someone misidentified okay. those as meatballs when they just that looked like meatball rocks. Yeah. Okay, I went okay. from two meters away to twenty meters away. That's How a lot high better. are these rocks? Like oh. these ones over here. I would assume they're uh, half two meters covered. High. Yeah. Two meters high. It's. So about it's half cover. a space marine. Yeah. Enough to cover a sister of battle, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah Her full much. cover. You guys would be full cover. Well, we can crouch behind. Or yeah, half cover. I should say. Sorry. All right. I don't remember how cover off. works because we haven't used it in fucking forever. Cover works if you're hit and that location is being behind a cover. Ah. Uh, then the uh, AP of the cover is added to you. As well, for the purpose. It's a better yeah. question. Can I'll I shoot sure over hit. these? Uh, I guess if your character is a normal person, you'd have to kind of jump and shoot, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you climb so up the side check? and brace your gun on it. No, yeah, that's, yeah. that's pretty much what I'm going to have to do. No, if you... that's the case, how, how, um, what's the gravity like? Normal. <laughs> 1G. Oh. I was about to say. Uh, exactly one? one? That's crazy. Yeah. Is done. Gravity is 50 G's. Even we're well, struggling to move around. No wonder, no wonder we crashed. <laughs> 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 All right, Brasora, let me know when you're done. It's your turn. I, I'll hop on the rock and shoot one of those dudes behind it, I guess. Sweet. Character would do it effort, effortlessly. Uh, that guy. <laughs> Which guy? <laughs> the one that guy one. right there. That one. Okay, I, I, see, I see your ping. Yep, shoot that guy. <laughs> Kill it with death. Okay, do your damage. Oh, jeez. And you're able to kill two of those guys. They just die. I only have one shot, but all right. Yeah. yeah well, it looked like it was a straight line through two of them. Yep. Nice. Okay, Krom, go. All right, uh, I've already done the math for the distance. I'm closing the distance to this man, and I'm gonna swing. Don't get hit by these guys. That's the FYI. Oh, by the way, in case everybody wants to know, this rifle is using turbo penetrator. Rounds. You said we get plus ten Ooh. for these guys, or what was it? Plus yeah, five. It's so it's plus ten for our oath. And then a plus five for the uh, signum. Okay. With our O? Although the signum is only plus five ballistic skills, so but you still get the plus ten on melee for our O. Okay, that's that's what I was double checking. By by the way, it's gonna take you. Uh, if you guys want to be in squad mode, you have to. Was it spend a round to get in squad mode? Yeah, you can roll a die if it's under uh, cohesion. Right, because uh, you are not cohesion bonus. Yeah. Okay, there's... Do you want me to roll uh, for all three hits, or...? Oh, no, no, he has to be able to block That's it. Right. That's what I said, you want me to roll for three hits? For, like, the 
the Yes, go ahead, because he only he can only block one. So. If you have the talent to do charge and do lightning attack, then yes. But you can only do what? one attack I per didn't charge. charge. Hold up, it's I not didn't charge. Hold up, it's not. Or like thing. move and attack. Whatever. Yes. Weird. Oh, there's. That's why. Hold up. Ignore these other ones. The oh, UI. Please. Oh, yeah. So the first one he blocked it. The other, the successive one he did not block. The successful two. Two. Yeah, yeah. the two. Because he just has a chain sword. Okay. And then I just want to make sure I had something. <clears throat> I, find it. I don't know. Sorry, this guy has a chain axe. My apologies. Very no, no. Well. Fancy. Oh, no, no, no. Hold up. Chain okay. axes are usually unbalanced, which makes them have minus ten to pair. Uh, no, it's so chain sword. Uh, before I forget, uh, I've also got Sure Strike, so I can choose where uh, it hits, and I have the ability to ignore any penalties for uh, choose uh, attacks against specific locations, which is precise blow. So I'm going to make both of these go against his head. Okay, sweet. Since you know there's armor's weakest there. yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to do a thing after... Ba -ba -da -da. One second. There's an agility thing I have where I can move after. I was trying to fig figure out exactly where I put it. But. Yeah, just tell me the damage. I think he's dead. Okay. Yeah, there's no way he's right because he only has eight armor on the head. So 33 minus eight. Uh, there's after making a melee Actually, attack. no armor. No armor because it's 15 pen. So he's yeah. just dead. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I also had gotten assassin strike. Uh, so after a successful melee attack, I can make an acrobatic access to move. Uh, at half rate as a free actions without any uh, without receiving any uh, attacks from opponents. They don't get like Ooh, a, I love that talent. That's a good one. Yes, yeah, so I, because uh, he's dead, can move. We said half. One second. Uh, which would be 11, which I think is going to be this dude right to the... No, not wrong button. This dude, I think, is 11. I can move right here. So I'm going to move there you go. That's my action. <clears throat> Remember, don't get hit by these guys. I have the shield facing him. <laughs> Thank you with the shield. It's gonna hurt. Describe how you kill him. I'm gonna go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Describe how you kill uh, him. I run up to him with shield up, spear up, and the spear just goes straight through his head. Just. Oh. He's, he's, he's just I can run him. down the front of the of the the ship. And just shield impacts him right after the spear hits him, so it's just a. His chaos yeah, acre yeah, blood yeah. pouring down all his over face. the front of the shield. You, you practically spartan him. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Dominate his go. Uh, they also can't I'm, see anyone, so. I am debating if I just run to cover or just fire the melted bomb to the nearest infantry group. Oh, I would recommend not firing a bomb in the infantry. Yeah, there's only nine there something big. Cover. Those, those are probably last rifles. I have something in mind for these. Uh... A, a regular grenade would take them out. Yeah, like. Well, that's you, it. Well, you have those figured out. Well, I'm going to do them as well. I can deal with them. Did Bob you bring your? Did you bring your bandoliers or grenades, guys? Yes. 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 Okay. See, Moth figured Quick, out what I was going to do. Off and throw them all at once. Everyone just said yes. You, you <laughs> can... <laughs> no, the bandolier grenades, because they got that in the first mission. They just got all the bandoliers. They had bandoliers. Because they're only allowed mm, two or three grenades. I was like, you know, they had... Three crack is the normal yes. I want to yes, say you allowed us like ten grenades each. Yes, we got you can have ten grenades with the bandoliers. All right, sweet. I'm game. Ten of each grenade. Damn. Uh, well. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh yeah. So I'll do a full run and dive into cover to the west of me, east south. So, uh, Crom, Crom actually has uh, uh, what is it? Vortex grenades. <laughs> yes, I do. Which are fucking terrifying. I will not be throwing them without permission from the entire party. All right. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. And uh, give me prone since I dived into cover. Well, where is your character? Marking my character. Oh. 
Right, he actually went behind my uh, turn order. <laughs> I'm truly hiding from you. <laughs> okay, and they're going. So this berserker dude is going to come up to you, and he's going to attack you. Second, where's the stat? There's several possible responses to this. Yeah, I mean, I advise... I advise. I'm waiting to see if my weapon skill just straight up outdoes it. Otherwise, I have the shield and I have shield, dodge, and parry uh, as available to me. Because I haven't used any of those yet. And I have, I think okay. it's like three. I have two parries and three dodges, I think. Two. Uh, well, no, you have um, one reaction in general, which can be used to dodge or parry, and then one there's, extra parry and one extra dodge. There's well, at least its name is correct. Uh, do. I don't think you're gonna do weapon skill. For a bit. Uh, I'm just making sure I don't be mental fires at this one. I know told you, you don't want to be hit by this guy. Like, fuck that down, right? <laughs> yeah, so I have step aside, which is a straight up just extra dodge. So I can parry or I can dodge. Dodge yes. is. What? Uh, acrobatics? Agility. Agility? If you parry, uh, if you use weapon skill, you can parry him, or like you can attack him back if yep. you successfully parry him. Yeah, he did. The thing is, just as long as you get that, mod it's not a, it's not a competing number, right? No, yeah, it's yeah. just you just as need long to as you succeed. succeed. Right. Yeah. There you go. You can do your counter attack. So now you need to do a counter attack with a minus twenty. Uh, Boko, when did you need to leave? Say again. When do you need to leave? 30 minutes from now. We're good. Okay. I'll let you know when I have to leave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, so I heard that that you need to leave. I just didn't know when. Yeah, it should be a minus 10 because we have a plus 10 for the for melee. Man, that Four fucking chainsword does a lot of damage. 40 yep. uh, the chainsword itself doesn't. It's the plus 16 plus 12. Ah, uh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's, that's still 40 10 is a lot. 22. All right, so forty-six or uh, forty-six Point. for the, my. These are corn blessed weapons. Oh. Well, you think a corn blessed weapon would do uh, less than just win more? I don't know if I can choose where to. I'm hitting for a parry attack. Can I? No. Where okay. does that hit? Let's see, because that hits. Chest. Oh, Forty-three chest. chest. Okay, so he has. No armor in the chest. He only has ten armor. But the pen fifteen. He has no armor, so oh, wow. he he too is dead. Yeah, these are these are these are squish guys. Last time oh. you fought uh, big tanky guys, now you're fighting big uh, axi boys. Oh wow! I'm glad I brought this rifle. <laughs> axi boys, orcs. We're fighting orc boys. Yes. Orcs. Yes. Oh. They have axes too. So you can describe how you killed this guy. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be fun with this one. So he swings and I parry. And rather than killing him, per se, the spear hits him, knocks him to the ground, and the shield just comes straight down on his skull, just smashing it. Yep. Mm -hmm. he sees, this guy sees what you did to his brothers, so he's too is going to join the fray. I have one more parry. Let's see. I hope. Yeah. Wall of Steel. I think we should start calling you the Spartan. <laughs> All right, I've got a dodge that has not been used and a parry. Okay. Uh, please work. Yep, go ahead and do your counter attack. <laughs> okay, that one worked. Uh, yeah. Eight, five, cheese. And that roll, I think that chain sword. Or is it There's chainsaw? a one, a one, a six, and a four. Yikes. Yeah. I mean, minimum damage they can possibly do is 32. Right. So he too is dead. Damn. And I'm just that up to the after effects of using foresight. Let's see, one, two, yep. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> and then. Brothers, I still what? have lingering foresight. I was able to parry their attacks. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am. All I know is I must kill. 
Get back in the drop. Oh, damn it. Uh, so for the damn record, it. because I just because I just did that. Uh, can I? Uh, I can't reactivate a uh, assassin strike. Nope. Once per round. That's right. Yeah, only once per round. Very well. Anyways, uh, <laughs> someone other than me get attacked now, please. Yeah, they're working on it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. In, in the best of ways. Right. So, and the guardsmen are gonna open up on you, you guys. So let's see. All f they're gonna focus on. Valero, he's gonna be shot at. Brothers, I'm about to be shot at. Hope you got your dancing shoes on. Yeah, Mercenary Guardsman has the stats. Don't remember who had the freaking stats. Do you have a climate camo cloak on you? I don't know. Uh, we all brought on. Four. Five and six. The last one. How many hit? Um, I'm about one, to find out. Two, maybe I can two dodge one two. of them. Two hit. Only two, two possibly hit. can hit. Oh, I succeeded a dodge. So, so one of them. The hit. highest. The the highest roll is ninety two. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these, yeah, these guardsmen. Oh, they're guardsmen. Yeah. So Hold up. I see. I see why they're saying their stats are second. They only had thirty weapon skill. Like why? Are they... <laughs> Classic guardsman. Yeah. yeah, I fixed it though. Fine fix. Yeah, they should have fifty. <laughs> did uh? Did one of them blow themselves up? To see, did roll ninety two. You 92. dodged one. The other one hit you. Yeah, but I'm asking if these guardsmen are going to be like the Hermagons and self destruct. And one did roll a 92 and one rolled an 85. Yeah, true. No. No? Okay. No. Nothing happens. So, did it just impact your armor? Okay. Uh, let's it's see. A, it's, just much... deflects, it's just to flex the armor against them. Actually, some, <laughs> of the, some of that might get through. Where did it, uh, No, it won't. Never mind. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> your turn, Valero. All right, um, I'm going to very simply uh, chuck a grenade, not from the guards to me. Uh, there's a reason I'm doing it that way. I'm guessing, how how much is a regular grenade? What's its blast radius? It's like a three meter blast. Three meter. Three I'm right above it. Hang on. Uh, hang on. I thought it was five. I thought it was like five or ten. Uh, no. frag grenade, blast five. Okay, so five. Five meters. 2d10 x, uh, blast five, yeah. Yep, so, I guess... There, I'll hit these four in front. Yeah. And chuck a grenade. Uh, and I'll do the two-hit roll to see if I drop it on the ground at my feet or not. Yeah, which has happened. Yeah, I, could have, I could have just charged them multiple times. Yeah, Modifier. that happened the first encounter. Modifier on the throw. Uh, zero. Alright. Alright, looks like I made the throw. Okay, uh, do, your, do your damage. Oh boy, seven damage. They're, they're all <laughs> dead. <laughs> 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 oh, they only have five hilarious. HP. Five HP oh and like no, no armor to speak of. <laughs> That's Please fucking funny. Me not to use the melt bomb. <laughs> Yeah. There's no point in using an anti armor charge against infantry. They have five on, HP. Go. What the fuck? Yeah. That's funny. Uh, he's going to charge at this case, Space Marine, right here. And he's going to do. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong button. Uh, he's going to do. Evis. And he hits. Are you hitting the the space marine there? Yes. Okay, and he is going to parry you. Very well. Then I uh, also have the exact. Oh, actually, does the assassin streak strike happen if you successfully hit a person, or it, you can just let me just let me check. Comparatively, I think it's I think it's comparatively. So if. Uh, Assassin strike on a successful. So it's any strike. Sorry, okay, after, so after making a melee attack. Yeah. Let me just roll for acrobatics. 
yeah, move it half rate. You know, reaction. you're lucky. Uh, you 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 counted these guys because they have blinding speed. They can attack twice. Not bad. Yeah. So Karnov charges in, kind of does a kind of a basic swing and gets parried, and he steps aside in a twirling motion and ends in right in front of this another charging berserker. That's the end of his turn. Okay. He can't counterattack if that's what you're worried about. Oh, yeah, yeah, says says Assassin's go. Strike specifically says that, too. Alright. So. Uh, I think I'll just do a Psychic Bolt. Here. You okay. could probably hit four of them with that if you aim for the guy in the middle there. Forget you got the guys oh. on top right. By the way, do the NPCs get a turn? They will. All right. They did. They moved closer. No. No, no not on top of that guy. It doesn't hit all uh, anymore. So I'll That's, just put it in the center here. Yeah, right. fair enough. I say I can hit those two, or I, well, I'll get in melee range for them in a minute. Cool, I succeed, so that is 8d10. With 8 penetration. I think they're dead. <laughs> yep. They love precious Fury. <laughs> like, they have 5 health, so even if you got all 1, so there's no possible way they could survive. So just auto-dead. If I if I oh. righteous fury, can I then attack these guys? Yes. Sweet. Oh. You're gonna have a race you can now, aren't you? If you let him move it, for, yeah, he for does. small scale for small things, absolutely. Yep, yep, that hit. Mr. Queen's right, that, magic that eraser. Uh okay. unfortunately there's nothing else in line of sight within range, so I mean there's one guy. He's just behind you. Well, there's a problem with that, in that uh, there's a turn off between those two guys. Aiming at the rock right here. Delete the rock. Rock yeah, is delete right. us. Meat ball is delete us. Meat Oof. is delete us. Meat rocks. <laughs> Alright, then I'll do uh, another second bolt there. That one hits. Oh, the righteous fear. Uh, 40, it's 40 damage. damage at, it's 40 damage at 8 pin. Uh, so he's dead. Alright. And now that's all I can see. Okay, uh. Let's see, and. Yes, magic missile. <clears throat> magic missile. Magic missile. That's a heretic. Your guys' kill team is going to move now. Fix these guys to start representing. The torn order get reversed? Turn order? No, they're dead last. Ah. It just, uh, when I hit that button sword, it did something weird. Looks like it reversed the order. Yeah, I think it did reverse the order. Okay. Okay. They all went and they're about to attack. Give me one second. Just fixing their default tokens because I thought I saved it over. Green Evil Actress, Weapon, Weapons, 
and then I'll okay. So he's going to use his shot, Shotty. And oh, no, wait, where's the guy? Ready? Call. Okay, yeah, he's going to use the shotgun. they're dead kills this one this one and this one and that one boom and sergeant thalos he debating whether or not to shoot in combat second What's the modifier for shooting in combat? Minus 20? Something like that, I think. Okay. Uh, so, no, uh, they are in point blank range, which uh, they gives them plus uh, 30. And I think there's also, uh, let me check how they work. Um, so he plus 10, so he barely. And he killed the guy in front of you. Hold on. Uh, I, had a, I had a thing for that. Uh... Hang on, I thought bolters were explosive, not rending. Uh, those... Your friends on the ammo. Those are... shotguns, and uh, so they are firing in full auto, that gives them plus 20 and plus 30 if they're at point blank. Well, if they move, they would be shooting in full auto. Yeah, Sergeant Thales right. Thal has just a bolter, so... You just seem... Uh, they, uh, so, um... I saw the other guys. I saw they had shotguns and other oh, things. Okay. Okay. All right. Sergeant, all right. Sergeant Sergeant Dallas himself has a bolter. Got it. Which is the guy that just uh, shot the guy in front of you. You hover over him. That's Sergeant Dallas. Okay. And then uh, damn, turn Vasora go. Okay. Question. Standing on top of this rock, can I see? Is there like a clear line of sight to these dudes over here? Yes, you see them. Just barely. Alrighty, I guess I'm going to aim for the space marine back over here then. Okay. Straight for the head. To do the most was... autistic thing. Aiming is a plus or minus. I forget to hit for a specific body part. Aiming, if it's a half action plus 10, full action plus 20. Um, cold shot is just a minus 20. Mm -hmm. So if you do plus 10, it was just a half action to aim, you're going to hit. In total, you're going to have a minus 10 to hit if you're aiming for a specific body part. So full zero then, because within half range of the weapon. Yay. Are you targeting his head, I imagine? Yep. Oh, I missed. How badly did you miss? Uh, just a 91. Okay. So your gun doesn't explode on you. No, oh, no. It's not that kind of weapon. I don't mean like it literally explodes. Anyways, uh, Krom, go. <laughs> Krom's moved. <laughs> Krom is, ran. Yeah, it is their turn. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. How's up their turn? I thought it was my turn first, and them. Okay, so yeah, 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 sorry. The turn order, I clicked the turn order thing and it put them at, like before you. So you go, then they go. Fine. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> Crom, what yeah, do you do? Should, what... should I just do 13.1? Just yes. to make sure that I get it first before them. That's why I put the, the points in there. I was like, hmm. Okay. I. Stand up. That takes an action. Is Unless that half you have action? Catfall or whatever. I do not have that. There, what is it? Uh, leap up. That's, yeah, that's it. If you have leap up. I don't think I have that. It's only 500. Reaction, get up. Here I get up and uh, 
throw a grenade at these two guardsmen. Okay. Do your thing. Uh, modifiers. Uh, you're throwing over rocks. It's kind of indirect. You know they're there. Minus 10. And they're dead. He gone. And I stay in cover. <clears throat> the, um, uh, it's my turn. The, the, the Just... scout kill team is asking where you're at, Yelmuk, there, if you're alive and all that stuff. I forget who has the long range fox. I think it's me. Yeah, but you're not that far away from, from the. Oh, well, um, okay. I didn't know if it would be coming in on the big vox or the small or the helmet foxes. Helmets. Oh, perfect. Uh, I'd probably fly with. Crash landed, engaged in enemy patrol. And they asked, or uh, they, you guys need assistance? They'll head yeah, that yeah. way. Okay. Hold position. All right. And you get battlefield updates, just so you guys are aware of the battlefield updates. Let me get those to you. It is the initial class of Titans. Your forces are currently winning the engagement. Is what they're reporting back. Cool. And Dominic, she already went, so it's their turn. And these blob of guys go that way. Go this way. And Valero, go. Cobbler. Oh, 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 uh, you mean Virlo. All right. So I said Virlo. I said Valero, and I was like, who's Valero? All right. You. The only other person with a similar sounding name. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, of course. Um, he, he might be suffering a concussion from the impact. <laughs> yes, that is true. The impact did rattle my cage a bit. All right. Uh, Raven Guard, Rattle Cage. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? No. Line, not beam. Uh, it's just a ranging thing. So I'm going to shoot at this guy with my Stalker Bolt Gun using Vengeance Rounds. And that's within half range because I have a 200 meter range. So that's what, plus 10? Plus 10 total? Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. Um, what? Oh. Oh, nice. no. Fate point uh, that? Uh, you might want to fate point your, uh, that. Otherwise, your round's going to explode. Yes, I do want to fate point that. I'm going to do that. All Check right. out my fancy new sniper rifle, guys. Kaboom! Kaboom. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I just got this rifle. Oh, oh God, Terminator! And it's gone. Titan on sight! Titan on sight! No. Look at this dude, mode. And it's just gone. covered in mash. Because... Just blown outwards. Yeah. And that is how your rookie died. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Look at this new rifle that I had. Well, it wouldn't kill you, by the way. It just does the damage of... Well, yeah. Uh, it would do a lot of fucking damage, though, probably. I, for, I No, it listed how much it is. I'm gonna... So because I fate point that, it's yeah, an plus additional 10. plus 10. Oh. <laughs> good thing how I got that additional plus not, 10. How does your guy not shooty shoot good good? You know... You know my His luck in tabletop like RPGs. Ass. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna roll for damage. Unless he's gonna try and dodge. He's always to be gonna... fair, he rolled a 77 there and still hit. So. 
15, explosive 9, and then what does felling do? Because I have felling. So as felling well. means that he, uh, it'll ignore his first level of unnatural toughness. It just adds more okay. to your pin. It just, I, I, yeah, it already yeah, adds. Basically, it's a pin. Uh, if their toughness is like in the 40s, uh, it makes your pin uh, 13, basically. What's the number next to felling, by the way? It's 1, so it ignores the first level. Well, so there if he is has, a like, number. Just, it, it might yeah, it's be more one. than just 1. It's 1. It's going one. Just saying. All right, so yeah. the the penetration on that effectively is thirteen instead of nine. Then yeah, he's dead. That depends on their right. toughness. No, he's not dead. No, no, yeah, he uh, ignores unnatural toughness. All right. Yes. yes. Four unnatural toughness. See where that hit. Seventy-seven right, which, but, is, which is a. Which what we have. Which, he'll yeah. still have eight toughness right bonus. Leg. It's just not doubled. Like if we have his toughness bonus. Should be a right leg. Yeah, right leg. See, yeah, he's hurting. You see him limping. Karnoff, go. <laughs> he ain't dead, but he's a limping. He has he's, no leg. He's a limpy boy. What do you call uh, a uh, space marine with no leg? I hop. Oh gosh. What was your character? I was gonna say Tesseract. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, true. I got my legs blown off. Or cut off. You didn't cut him off. Turn. You cut him off yourself. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, then... I got about six minutes till I have to cut it. All right. Quick, let's kill them all. Rapid fire, everybody. Let's go. Let me rapid fire my spear. Okay. Yep. <laughs> kill them all. Like Let the chaos god sort them out. What do you mean your spear doesn't have the returning property? Actually, I <laughs> want <laughs> be a good idea. That, that's the end of my turn, Boku. I think that's a D and D thing. Here comes so, your uh, it is. Well, no, here comes so, your here, here comes your racer cannon. There are spears and hammers and stuff in 40k that like actually have the returning property. It literally warps itself back to the user. You could that's also cool. just attach All a right. chain to it and have the chain attached to your armor, and then you I'm pull do the something chain. Fun. I'm going to. Oh, um, hey. Have turn to pull it back. No, I just, hey, Boko, didn't you put something on top of my thing that you said uh, I don't control? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, right. the gun turret. Yeah, you have a gun turret. It yeah, should be you in your I... You have a gun turret. It should be in your inventory. The bolter. Yeah, I, I thought you said I couldn't. I, it was automatic. Like, I don't control you, it. You don't control it directly, but you can okay. look and it'll shoot where you want. So, uh, okay. in practice, you do control where it is. Just All right. make so sense. I'm going to push, which gives me now a plus four to my psychic rating, which gives me a psychic rating of 12. So I can shoot out to 120 meters with this uh, psychic bolt. Uh, you know what? No, I'm just going to do the concurrent. No, yeah, the psychic bolt. They can't touch it. Um, and uh, it hits at a 12 meter radius. So I hit all of them. Oh, or if, boy. I, if I hit them, I still got to roll. But that's where it's going to be. PS Marines are like, Sweet, what happened to my support? <laughs> and then... But yeah, uh... North, your uh, bolter should be added to your inventory, if not. And just give yourself plus and 40. Bolter. Yeah, and give yourself plus 40 anytime you use it. Alright, so that's 57 damage to all of them at penetration 12. Yeah, they're, they're dead. dead. <laughs> Well, that what looks if like one you of got right uh, in there. Has, and what? I do have to roll on the phenomenon table because I pushed it. Mm. How far Man, we summon a demon prince. I would throw a vortex grenade so fucking fast. Oh, good. That's just everything uh, darkness. Sweet. Yeah, so uh, darkness, and I think it was like a 3d10 radius of me. Okay, roll a 3d10. 3 to 10 meters, so in 17 meters of me, everything is shrouded in darkness. Nice. Are you done? I can't see anything. Uh, yeah. I can see everything. Okay, is Sergeant Thalos is. I can squad. see some things. So they're going to pop up over here. But only darkness before me. me. This way and this way. Mm, Sergeant Thalos. I've got an aura on, so y'all can. I don't, I don't see, see it. Aura. Yeah, the aura's hidden. Oh, that's weird. Well, this is an aura for now. Yep. 
That'll work. And it lasts until the beginning of the round, which is immediately after our NPCs go. <laughs> right. Okay, and then... Good thing you uh, load roll on your initiative. <laughs> right. He oh, failed. Geez. Okay, it's uh, Brasora's turn. Go. The other guys Ooh. don't have don't have line of sight. Wow. They, don't, they didn't even roll for. They didn't even have those to skill. They just have a zero under the. <laughs> All right, and my darkness is gone. Oh wait, Sergeant Thales has a zero. He shouldn't have a zero. It's gonna be his ballistic skill. But he still missed. Oh yeah, Jesus! I I said all this. What the frick? <laughs> it, it's weird. It kept his agility, but nothing else. Interesting. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll do that cool jetpacky thing I do, where I jetpack over here and shoot them there. Do it. You succeed. That's a verb. Now he's got the bad rule. You need a fate point? Uh, yeah, I'm fate point that. Context, Doris. Context. It's an expletive. There we go. That's much better. You're hitting one guy? Uh, or three, depending on. <laughs> one three. each. How about that? Uh, so they're all dead then. 92 hits him in the legs. Yeah, one has already limpy legs, so I imagine you shoot him first. He's dead. And I'm going to use the lowest. <laughs> uh, the next guy, he's dead. And the last guy, even with his chest plate armor, if you hit him there, he's dead. Damn. Describe how you killed him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I just shoot him. And they die. Boring. I know. Um, he's so boring. Okay, I shoot them all in the dick. Real quick. Be funny. <laughs> That's a leg. <laughs> not that kind of leg. Please look to the north. Yeah, yeah we, they still not got to, one left. Not to brag or anything, but they call me the tripod. Uh, Krom is looking around like, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Got them. Uh, well, I can't get anywhere anytime fast. So I'm just going to walk my happy self back to uh, everyone else. Hey, right. Dominagus, go. Oh, okay. I yeah. I, Why I are you looking it. at me funny, brother? I'm uh, using the scanner to detect for injuries. Oh, jeez, oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. I have a mild it? concussion. Maximum upside the head. Does this fix it? Pyrrhing. I feel better now, thank you. I use I use the uh, Astari's boulder and fire at the last infantry. Okay, do your thing. <clears throat> Any modifiers? Uh, he's in partial cover, minus 10. Okay. He still hit, so. You're like, ah, I see you. <laughs> oh, that almost didn't kill him. Uh, let's see. All right, end of the session. What do you guys think of that encounter? Did those guys felt balanced? Um, no, they felt unbalanced in the opposite direction. Exactly. I, I, do keep in mind they had their glass cannons. Yeah, yeah true. Fifty-five damage would kill, yeah, I think, yeah, the, any one of us. Yeah, the moment they touch us in melee and we can't dodge it, we're fucked. Yeah, so they feel right. Mm -hmm. Right. They've got the armor of a regular marine, which is appropriate, and these are guardsmen. They're Guardsmen, yeah, like normally. There's something to wait through. Yeah. Okay, I was not expecting them to have five HP and zero armor. 
Like that's guardsman stats are actually in the book though too. Yeah, I know, but still, like, damn. They've been fighting some chunky guys lately. Well, the oh, last yeah. last mission fighting that some squishy we one's kind of nice. Yeah, right. Could be like ogrens. We had ogrens on like our first mission, didn't we? Yep. Yeah, yeah, they were. Uh, Black we armor can, counts we as five. Yes, they were we dummies, and they ended up friendly firing each other. I mean, that, that's on par for. No, Ogrens. they were dummies <laughs> and ran up meleeing the termagants. <laughs> yeah. The exploding yeah. ones. He's very yeah. much on par for. And then they meleeed <laughs> themselves. <laughs> One of them hit nope. each other with a stick or something. I think, we're <laughs> like, what? I think three of them survived. I want to say that I, I shot it. I think we at... left him there. Yeah. I think we brought them with us. Did yeah, some Ogrins, I think, yeah. survived. I think we brought some of them with us. Well, either way, they blew up in the ship, so. Yes. <laughs> they, they yeah. are currently. Alright, you guys get 1,000 uh, XP for this? Very we cool. also had cool. to convince them that we were on the Emperor's side and not this lying scumbag who had tied up one of our operatives. Yeah. It's a good thing Amsius is there. Otherwise, we would have had to have killed all of them. <laughs> very, very true. The Vitrine needs also get that if I was XP. Alright, how much Wait. XP is that? Oh, uh, hang okay. on. Before we... Yeah, that's, what they, that's what they got there. Uh, Before we do the thing... Um, I have a, I have a helmet picter. Oh no, that's at the end of the mission. Never mind. But I did make their weapon skill a little better. These guys against you guys. Okay. So, I was thinking, guys, yeah, the armor is a five against anything with blast, specifically. Yeah. So. There we go. They do have that. And these guys don't have armor. As far as oh, you saw. Not, oh no, flak armor. It only does works. Would I didn't know if they had it or not. It's a, they don't got anything. You saw you didn't oh, see any okay. visible armor. You saw uniforms. You saw oh, them they're shirt, just shirtless, cloth, cloth uh, or shirtless or whatever. You see the 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 symbol with the blood of their enemies. Exactly, uh, corn symbol on them. Their blood. Yeah. So you haven't seen any guys overly heavy heavily armored at all. Mm. Cool. So I just realized they don't have high gothic. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, as a language. <laughs> nope, just low gothic. So you can literally talk in your high gothic, and they wouldn't understand you. That's. Uh, I, I think that might be the move. Instead of using our comms. Yep, I can just use high gothic. What are they saying, we sire? Already, well, here's the thing: we're, the yeah, mission's ready for the part. They know we're here. They know we're here. Well, yeah, and then the, your forces. Uh, they engaged as you guys were getting shot at, so and they've won the first engagement, and they they said they're pushing back to the perimeter. I real quick, I'm gonna go uh, take off the helmets of one of those uh, Astartes. Yeah, I'm it has I'm has some boxes, has horns on it and all that other stuff. Very chaosy, Marini. Oh no, I was seeing if uh, if I'm hearing any Vox traffic. Oh, you just hear point. incessant screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That sounds about right. Yeah. Ah! Yep. And you hear the, you know, skulls. Love for the blood god, skulls for so, the skull on, thrones. To yeah. confirm, to confirm, you said a global invasion is now underway, yes? Your guys' invasion, yes. Hey, plan, uh, plan hey, 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 Eric, ladies, I need to borrow that Voxcaster real quick. The planetary grade Voxcaster. All right, so since. Since we landed, how long has it been? Thirty minutes, an hour? You oh, guys I are, hope not. You guys are five seconds. You guys are about yeah. uh, five minutes into the mission. Oh, okay. But the uh, first engagement, they're already winning because they landed ahead of you guys. So, and they're just now reporting back. So they they landed about maybe an hour before you guys landed, and then attacks, maybe. 10, I like 15. how you call it landed. It's a... Well, it's kind of more like Kenobi landings. Uh, I'm not talking about you guys landing. I'm talking about your Imperial, your Imperial forces to the north. They landed. We glided in delicately like a we flower. We fell with style. Um, it's Norsk? another happy landing. <laughs> Norsk? 
Yes. Are you sure you want to do that? Because we know that the yes, dear. we know that the local guys oh. in the area spotted us, but we don't know if they reported our position or not. I'm not. No, no. I'm not blasting its loca the location. That just fills all Vox channels with it. Yeah, you but right then here? they're gonna be like, "What the fuck is this?" You want me to stay here. I guess that would be okay. Oh. Considering it is a planetary invasion on the other side of the planet. Yes. yes. I'm just more worried about them tracking it back. All, I, all this does Although. is helps interfere with their cops. Got it. So they don't know. Really that, we can just leave it. We can leave it alone. Yeah. Um, so we could just throw it somewhere and just move on. <laughs> yeah, just put it in the ship and walk away. Uh, yeah, say, so we're going to put it in the ship and it's blasting bagpipe. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh, that's so I, I, I Oddly enough, it soothes the, the range inside of all the corn marines. Oh, that's <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Inspiration? I mean, if, if you want to sue them, we can put up the sororitas. In. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, just no, throw no, some no. elevator Not music in there and call the day. That'll probably piss off the demons. Yeah, don't, don't seduce them. We're playing the bagpipes. No, right. They're corn. They would love the bagpipes. Yeah, seducing no, them would be heresy. Them, not yeah, not seducing them. Those are two different things. Nobody said seduce. Someone just said seduce, but this is sorority. Soothe. But would that really soothe them? That's what they were saying. <laughs> well, All right. So what are you guys doing at this point? I got I got a little bit more time because apparently I'm not going to the prac fighter practice. Oh, okay. Oh. So, Do we want to continue? Let's yeah, continue yes. for another hour. So right, I can help, right, and then I can help the missus. I'm gonna go grab some coffee then, real quick. Me right, too. Um, Me, let's take a quick break. Uh, I'm gonna grab some coffee. And we'll I'm gonna resume. Gonna... Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna do the same. I'll be back in about ten minutes. Then. God bless the microwave beverage button. Alrighty. In character, I'm going to be scanning everyone here with my aspects. If you guys don't mind. I'm cool with that. I'm fine. I'm just scanning anyone for any injuries, if anyone is injured. I know I took a point of damage because uh, I figured I would have been jolted around in the cockpit. Gotcha. Which, to be fair, that was a really good roll for the spacecraft. Considering what I've been. Uh, yeah, 4.3. I'm very happy with that. Anyone, uh, anyone's character, like, actually injured or anything? I don't nope. think so. Okay. Yes. Who said yes? I was actually, yeah, that's Sororitas. You're not a big, as big in armor to us. Where the fuck are you? I'm air you. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess don't come here. It's just the Dan just left. Uh, yeah. Where did Dan go? Up your button around the corner. He said he'll be back in 10 minutes. Oh. Well, is the Sorortus uh, okay in character? No injuries or anything from the crash? The Sorortus is not here. My earth. I am back. Excellent. Moth, I just realized you are a Sororitas, and that was a Death Watch ship that landed, so I'm scanning you for injuries. I'll probably be fine. Okay. Just making sure you're in character that your character is fine. Gotcha.
somebody left. Uh, Dan said he'd be right back. Ah. Apparently. I don't know if that's how you spell salvageable or materials, but it is now. Salvo Babble. <laughs> I did put Salvo Babble, didn't I? English. Excuse me. All right, quick. While he's distracted, everyone attack Dan. Or dude. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, now now Dan left the uh, thing. You were starting the computer. Oh. Well, that's just a theory. And uh, Warhammer forty K theory. Oh, jeez. Welcome back. I knew you cared. Who cared which? You. <laughs> not you. Not us. Mm -hmm. Does your uh, buddy want to, wanted to try and sit in and watch one of the sessions? or? Well, he has YouTube videos for it. That's fair. Not everyone wants to sit through a couple hours of YouTube, though. Yeah, like, I'm going to be honest. I have to sit there and go. <clears throat> and then just put it in the background. So how was everyone's weekend? All right. Finally woke up. I'm conscious. If that makes sense. No, it makes sense. I mean, the guy with the big heavy weapon did jump behind rocks in a corner, so I was wondering if you were a little asleep. I scanned you with an Auspex. Well, for that, I just wanted to take in to cover immediately, just in case uh, I was getting a in case fire the last rifles proved To be fair, you yeah. could have used the wreckage as cover. It wasn't really good cover, since we're practically surrounded on all sides. That was my thought process. Yeah, fair enough. You could have went like right here and got cover from... I was going to say right family. here, so you would have had elevation and uh, cover from the engine cabin. Right here. Yeah, yeah, dude, don't forget there were a bunch of guys to the south. There were some, there were guys in the south. I just don't. There were get... not by his turn. No, no, but well, no, I actually there were a lot. There, when there I were went. still these guys. I was the second person. The end. Oh yeah, these guys here. Yeah, but I mean, you could have just. I was thinking. I was thinking you just brace the gun up against that crouch and just yeah. fire over top. The yeah. After the after you killed the three these three guys, I'm like, oh, this is probably overkill. I should have moved it. Oh, yeah, was... we were prepared for, like, dudes with 40 armor, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, we were prepared, for, yeah, for... Deep, well, we've we got were... a lot of anti-tank and heavy stuff, so... did you? I was a... prepared for heavy resistance, so. Dude, did you bring a pistol? Yeah. Okay, so if not, uh, you could, I was going to give you my pistol that I'm not going to use or need at any point in time. I still have that ancient pistol that we found. I, yeah. We all get I pistols. Have two of those. I have issue. a pistol. No, no, I not that mother. The one we found on the ship. Yeah, yeah, the 3D10 one. I have that. Was it 3D10? I thought it was 2D10. 3D10 plus 6. Yeah. 
Very well. I typed it in. Ten of eight. So I'm like, I'm keeping that. I don't care what the Inquisitor says. I'm keeping it. (laughs) I just didn't tell him. We didn't even go back to the Inquisitor. I reported the Inquisitor. I made a formal (laughs) a formal complaint. Oh, how did that go? (laughs) Very well. Yes, I'm standing here with Vortex. As well as it could have possibly gone. He's now under investigation by the uh, Inquisition. I yeah, I reported him for. Uh, I actually wrote down what my character said. Uh, no, 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 he's boss. so he's so under investigation. If I find even one more fault with him doing something fucked up like that, <laughs> he's out, and I get I replace him. You get to be the Inquisitor. Take over. Yes. Take over their. I, their I will be given his inquis- inquisitorial uh, okay. stuff. Okay. Specifically, Damn. I said the difference between heresy and treachery is ignorance, and I cannot tell the difference with this. Movie. All right. <laughs> Which man? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're talking about the Inquisitor Blackthorn and yep. conversations that would have happened between my character and uh, the uh, watch station commander when I filed a formal complaint. <laughs> I mean, Blackthorn did come to the Watchtower to discuss with you, so more than happy to talk to him if you want. <laughs> uh, my character put in a formal complaint to the Watch Commander. Right. Oh, I mean, a bunch of people are. Um, and well, uh, Ma's character is... You wouldn't know this, but his character is actually to keep an eye on him with his throne agents. Yeah, well, well, Moss just told us that, but I don't know if that was in character or not. That was not no, that was character. not in character. In, in character, I reported this to them. The, oh, it's in roll twenty. The difference Sweet. between uh, heresy and treachery is ignorance. Yep, and there is no difference with this individual. Meaning, we can't tell if he's a heretic or just treacherous, but he is a danger. And then uh, I just listed off all you, the problems that were caused we, by him. Yeah, your watch commander. In, in, other, yeah. in other words, we can't tell if he's trolling or just stupid. A combination of all of the above, the Watch Commander would say, but he is, they said he is probably one of the best Inquisitors they got when it comes to dealing with chaotic artifacts. Oh, you need a new one. He's, <laughs> he said, oh, that's why he's probably acting like this, is because and, he has a lot of status. He has a lot of status, yes. He has a lot of connections throughout the Imperium. A uh, lot. I'm pretty sure he's acting like that because he's very under the influence of chaos. Oh, it could also be true. You may have connected to chaos, the words, too. Read me the words right now. Yep. Yeah, it's, okay, it's, here's the words. It's pretty the, unnecessary the, obsession. These words are in Death Watch. He's obsessed, yes, but uh, as far as far your your watch commander tells you, he's like, uh, they've done all the things they can do to, to see if this guy's corrupted, tainted, and he's not. Oh, Tess. I'm he's just gonna... very... Uh, Gung-ho. You what? Oh, zealous. He is super zealous. He said he's a... Overly you don't have person. to be tainted to be down the wrong path or be tricked by chaos. No, yeah, you don't. The difference, that's, that's like Zinch's forte. Yep. Is to have have make you do what Zinch off. wants without being corrupted by Zinch. Interesting. Battle horn Possible route you can, you can check. Effect. And the fact that he's super heavy on knowledge of demonic and terrible artifacts. Because that's a specialty. Zinch could just be playing the fool, uh, this guy for a fool. Possible. But that's his specialty in the Imperium. Literally, that's his specialty. And he's... Yeah, your watch commander would have told you that... This guy likes to... Burn all resources. He doesn't care. He's willing to sacrifice little worlds. He likes to, to eat babies. Goal. Right. Yeah. Whoa, whoa wait. Mm, I mean, what? Uh, the, the cybernetic cerebus, <laughs> probably. Those are uh, what are they? The cerebuses? The the Cherubs. ones that bring uh, ammunition. Cherubs. Cherubs. Yeah, the Cherubs ones bring in- Yeah, yeah, they bring ammunition to the battlefield. Uh, well, I should get a few of those. You know what? You know what's currently playing through uh, the battlefield right now? Uh, EDM. Backpipes. <laughs> Backpipes and that. <laughs> Everybody off. So. You guys were veered off course. You guys are gonna try to get your bearings now? Yes, I'm in the I'm in, I've scanned everyone with an auspex to make sure no one was injured, and I'm now no in injured. the dropship. 
uh, well, some of us quote took we took a, like a point or two just to make it immersive. I guess you can if you want to. Not necessary, but sure. You and did then roll I'm... four point six to land, so yeah. yeah, it was a pretty damn good landing. All right, uh, and then I'm inside the dropship right now. It's another happy landing. Yes. One, two, yep. three. Just so you know, just so you don't get frustrated with me, North, in the future with this insertions like this, there are dangerous. There is a possibility you'll be outright killed, even with like, because I do yeah, like a D and D. Yeah, but you you guys succeeded on the saves, so it wasn't outright death. But if you failed and then failed again and then failed a third time, like in D and D, like they do the mm. free. It would be uh, sorry, yeah. sorry, y'all. Yeah, we're real characters. <laughs> yep, you guys are just like, and I, and I would make it formal. I would show you, like, look, this is what this is the situation I I created. Here's the numbers. Your characters are dead. Shortest session ever. Yeah, uh, it wouldn't be a short session. It'd be rewriting character sessions. Mm. So yeah. I would, I would, I would behoove everyone to make um, alts, just just in case. Behoove shutters. Yeah, I still need to make my alt. That would be uh, that would be really like I don't unfortunate. Want to make a cow person. And if you're lazy, you could literally make your character just rename him, and there's your alt. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look, it's You've my character's mysterious. Have you met twin. Dom? Yep. Yes, actually. <laughs> well, right. she's uh, met a Dom. You met a Dom. Uh oh. Would... Do you know something yeah, we would... don't? But you would be penalizing experience points, like uh, back to the previous rank. You would, all the experience you gain for the previous mission would be gone. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Fair. I played See, this one as one of my last characters. Yep. See, I would create a new character, unless it was like, uh, like what my character is now, where I literally haven't even got a chance to use him yet. Then I would rename him. <laughs> I. That's fair. That that would that have been hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, first. die on the first day from a drop pod <laughs> accident. And that's why we didn't take a damn drop pod, because I we can fly this one. Uh, yeah, drop- but it's now kind of damaged. It, it 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 it'll it'll fine. Give the tech priest some oil, a little bit of lube, some duct tape. It's on a chaos I, planet. We should just blow it up. We're, we're got- going to. I'm activating the detonation charge. So once we're once we're done here. So then on t- the technology. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm in the cockpit fiddle fiddle fucking with stuff. Whenever you're ready, we're good. Cool. Right. Uh, I've uh since hooked up the bagpipes to uh this thing's uh comm so we can bring the big unit and then this thing'll detonate in uh, how long you want it until it detonates? An hour? An hour? Mm, let's go with a few hours. Here's what we'll do. Is this does this detonate detonation destroy the planet? Or no 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 it destroys the drop ship. It's just, it's just a dropship, I guess. <laughs> because we were just talking about detonating a planet, so I'm like, hold up. Exterminate us the planet. We failed the mission. Our dropship crashed. Yeah. All <laughs> lost. I'll roll a four plus an hour, so it'll be whatever this roll is plus one. Uh, four hours. This will detonate. Does that work for you? Works. Sure. Okay. All right. Well, then there you go. You guys, are- what was your name, new boy? Valero. Varo. Valerion. Virlo, Virlo, my name is Virlo. Virlo, I am shit with names, Virlo. Not a problem, Erica ladies. You could just call me Captain. Captain! <laughs> Captain Eric now. ladies. Yes, oh, you thank you. Out. Now, scouts, show us your skills. And Very find well. Us way to our landing site. Very well. What direction would you like me to take? The landing site, I just said. Ah, the landing site. And what so I'm scouting the be? landing site. You have to find us the way there. You well, we're claim here. to be great at the whole scouting thing, so lead us the way. Very well then, brother. Hang on, wait. I forgot something. This is very important. Bone Bone surface surface navigation. Max distance away from the landing site. Oh, I rolled a you, three, you, damn. Nice. Landings. <laughs> Landing. 
<laughs> yeah, because the minimum distance you could have been is five kilometers, as I was thinking. So, and then of course now you're at the maximum. Of there we go. The worst that the worst situation. No, no, no. This is a crash site. It, like I said, very different from a landing site. No, no. We clearly came in on a nice, gentle glide. Ah, uh, yes. The crater is definitely normal for a landing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only for good ones. Yeah. Any landing you can walk away from. So, uh, Valero, you're, you're able to de determine the LZs due north of your position, 14 clicks north. Oh, Jesus. Yes. All right, Just I relay like that our, information to the team. Just like our landing a few months ago. That was a soft landing, huh? We walked away from it. <laughs> you guys didn't. I had to drag you out. No, I walked away from it. <laughs> I certainly didn't jump out. That would have been suicide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Do you want the the Only other two of us had jump packs to survive a crash and fell? Right. Mm. The ship absorbing the rest of the impact. An attempt to pick you up. Go. They do have a Thunderhawk. And no, we don't want that thing flying until. Uh, it's hearing what happened we there. Leave. 14 km is the distance, though. Can How far can we move? So we have on the timer 7.5 hours from right now. How long is it going to take us to move 14 kilometers to the la actual landing site? You guys can run. How fast? Listen, we, I could probably, with our unnatural endurance and all that, we could probably make it there in less than an hour. Mine's a lot lower. So, well, that's it. it yeah, I, one of us could carry Brasora. I can run it 24. Yes, let's do the math. Can, no, no, it's actually in the book. It actually says how far you can move and you can haste and stuff. I just right. got to go find it again. Um, right. What's your maximum speed you guys can run? Look, the slowest person, what's your maximum speed? And that'll it depends do on your agility bonus. Of like Agility bonus of like six allows you to move at about nine kilometers per hour. Yeah, I'm going to go pull it up real quick. I'm going to link it's it in the I chat. Think. It's, like, it's what, Right, it's so we got to go based on the... The slowest guy on your team, that will determine the pace of the entire team. Probably me. Unless yeah. we pick the team, that person. You, not like what's the lowest uh, everyone's agility is? I guess... Uh, uh, 53. Moff, you, Moff, you need to check how, oh, 52, well, how also fast our, can, can you move. Our power armor also adds plus one to our uh, bonus for the purposes of moving. This, oh, this is for narrative time movement, though. That's like straight from the thing. That's with all your stuff. Yeah, and I think that applies to... Yeah. Yeah, so, so my, my bonus is four, but my power armor makes it a five. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to be Moff's character who's going to be... Yeah, I'm at a four. Moff, you're being carried for the sake of this argument. Yes. I could double it with a jetpack, though. Double my distance. You have a regular like, jetpack. You can just do it forever. Yeah. Mine doesn't have a limit to it. Well, well then... You guys bring Sylvester Steel with you as well? No. The medic? No. Okay, you left your mind. Cool. Wait, why did we leave her behind? Because is she maybe it's on the stealth on the mission ship? and she can't stealth? Nope. No, I mean, because I, uh, I mean, is she on the on the big ship? Yeah, she's yeah, probably in orbit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's, okay. Yeah, yeah, she'll be in orbit, but not. She's not down here with us. It's okay. I brought medical supplies. I thought this through. Good. I just don't have an Arcathium because I'm not allowed to have one of those. It's an but, apothecarium thing. Yeah, so minus, I know oh, it's sure. six, so I can move nine kilometers. It'll take you about two hours to get to the uh, roughly hour and a half. To two hour hours. and a half, so we'd have uh, six hours exactly to complete our mission. That's fine, because it'll take us about another hour to actually get to the facility. It's only five kilometers from there. Yeah, but that one's, but that'll be the slow go part. Yeah, so we'll have five hours if we if we walk there. It'll take five hours, or we'll have five hours to complete the mission. Yeah, once we get to the facility, we'll have about five, which is fine because we can gate out, so we don't have to waste another hour leaving. Well, on top of that, so that seven and a half, we factored an extra half hour. There's actually an extra half hour there. It's just in case something goes wrong, right? Because we have to get to orbit, but we we hoof it. We we uh we go as fast as we can to the landing site. 
Yep. But we will rely on our scout to well, avoid also, patrols on the way there. And this should also draw off, uh, the longer it goes, uh, the more likely it is to draw forces towards the north, like further north on the other side of the facility, which should make our side a little easier. And it will get darker. And we have camo cloaks. Yes. Oh, I meant the darker yeah. for us infiltrating. Do keep in mind, if I'm flying a jetpack around constantly, it's not going to be as stealthy as we cool. should I'm be. I'm carrying you. Problem solved. Okay. So, was it an hour and a half to get there? Yes. Okay. Give me... You guys already know where to go the nav thing. So I imagine you guys are trying to avoid patrols. So give me six rolls, Scout. As you're navigating these through. Six navigation rolls? All right, you got it. Modifier well, on the uh, uh, Not navigation. Um, it would be... I guess it could be, would be navigation. So navigation. navigation, right? Right, and you'd also have to do perception checks along the way to look for scouting parties. So you can use either one, whichever is strongest. Um, I think my navigation is stronger, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Let's see, what is... So it's 68. Yeah, my navigation is definitely stronger. Okay. Um, so you want six rolls of that? Six. What's the modifier on all those? Uh, minus 20. All right. One. Uh, two. Three. Four. Oh, that was close. Five. Uh oh. Hmm. And. You're gonna fake point it? Are you gonna keep six. it? <laughs> I'm gonna fake point the uh, minus 4.7. Right. I'm sure you don't want to do an encounter. Foresight. <laughs> oh, wait, he doesn't have that. No, he doesn't. Alright, so this would be minus 10 on the reroll. Boom. Succeed all of them. There we go. Okay, you're able to dodge, dip, and dive. Uh, any patrols, any else incoming forces. The five guys... deeds of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Right, you see you see aircraft head back to where your craft was coming from. You see these air patrols. It looks like to be a heavy loader vessel of some sort. <laughs> You're in for a rude fucking surprise. Probably. <laughs> uh... We'll know for sure if the bagpipes stop. Flips over to an unsecure channel. Okay. Yep, bagpipes are still good. Okay, and you guys make it to the LC. Let me see. Sometimes. Is all your characters all your, all your characters here? Uh, uh, it's not nope. fast. It took nope. an hour and a half. It's Ooh. all black. Oh, wait. No, nope. you have to thing. drop them on the board again. No, 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 they're there. It's oh. it's the stupid dynamic lighting, blah, blah. blah. Oh, they don't have vision, yeah. Uh, Possibly. Engages my my helmet. But, oh, uh, <clears throat> disable the glow of your visors. Right, give me a second. Why is it? Uh, Chrom's glowing yellow visors stop glowing. That's so weird, it's doing this. No, you guys have vision. I see that. Uh, lighting? Let me see if it's global lighting on this stupid thing. I can try reloading. Yeah. yeah I, I have vision. Uh, I yeah, I can't see anything including my character. We Oh. You, how about now? Uh, stand by. I got nothing. Uh, I got it. I'm good. Oh, I see the Thunderhawk. Yeah, I see it and too. 
I see pillars of fucking blackness just shooting up from every rock. That's line of sight. I see so. me, and I see a spotlight oh. coming off of Karnoff. Yeah, because they're very tall rocks. You, no, you see these towering right. rocks. And in the distance, oh, you see okay. the plateau. So this, okay. they, 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 they obscured the dropship in this, this, uh, rocky oh, area. Okay. I was like, what the shit? Uh, yeah, yeah, if I move, they these, also move. One of these is me. There we go. It's super hot. Time only moves when you move. Exactly. Oh, gosh. Okay, so this is, yeah, one and a half hours later. That's a beautiful dropship. I approve of the color, especially. Uh, it and they asked, what took you so long? They're asking your character, uh, your mug. So I think, As I said, we crashed, man. It's like, we fun man. without us, huh? I wouldn't necessarily call crashing fun, but sure. Crashing would only be fun for the dark gods. Hmm. So he says, yeah, so he says, you stirred up a lot of chaos forces to the south, but a lot of them distracted the forces of the north. And in that hour and a half, by the way, that battle, uh, they tell you it's going rough, but they're still able to breach the perimeter of the base. So they're now in the perimeter of the base. Mm. Wait, our guys are in the perimeter? Yeah. Jesus Christ, I didn't think they'd actually be able to push that fast or that hard. Well, they had a really good initial engagement, I think. Yeah. Exceptionally good. Really good, actually. They, 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 they took out good rolls. <laughs> that might make it yeah. a lot easier for us to push in on the other side. Yeah, they had a great infiltration. We had a bad infiltration. Right, and the do you guys want reports from the other team on the other side of the planet doing stuff? Uh-huh. As long as they still exist. <laughs> okay. A so AFK they... for a few minutes. I'll still hear everything, though. Yeah, they report back uh, some of the Chaos Forces were in orbit, so that they are currently dodging that stuff. There's currently uh, orbital forces in, in the area, at least on the, their, their continent area, where they're at. Are they still giving us a timeline of, well, for them, it'd be f six Maybe. and a half hours. Yeah. For us, it's six hours. Right. Is that is that still what we're getting? <laughs> Yeah, they see the fleet moving in the entire okay. the entire Black Crusade, but they said there's a second second detachment of ships that were uh, not in orbit per se. They, at least they didn't see them at first, and uh, yeah, they got stealth upon. The stealth got stealth upon, so they had to withdraw. As long they as they're being distracted, that's good anyway. Yeah, they're able to knock out two ships. They said. There's about at least another 15 vessels. Not big craft, mm -hmm. but enough to pose a threat to them. All right. Excellent. Mm. Point us the way to this facility, and we'll be on our way. All right. And on the kill team, the, yeah, they give you a, kind of a detailed uh, rundown of what they've, ex what they've encountered, where some breaks in the line are at, where they're able to get up to the moat of the centralized facility. Um... And they were actually able to find a maintenance tunnel. Apparently they had a maintenance a tunnel of something. Said a lot of skulls down there. A lot of bullshit. Uh, possibly a sewer system. They don't know what the fuck it is. They just know it's a tunnel of some sort they built. That can get you guys in past a lot of the defenses. Excellent. Then that shall be our entrance. What about right. the skulls? That it's in the tunnels. You he even, the this skulls. used to be a hive city. That would make sense for them to bury everything in one consolidated place. No, oh, he said there's mounds of skulls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a, the, the, the corn has a, like, they're taking everyone's skulls, putting in a big pile. They're bringing in drop uh, transports to pick up skulls, taking them somewhere else. <laughs> so that's what they're doing. And they have rivers of blood. Uh, oh yeah, Karnov would also would like to approach the the kill teams and give them a hand oh. them a a tarp, a communal line tarp. Basically, it's a a giant tarp which can cover vehicles and it's make, makes them hard to see, hard to spot. Right. And, and Yamak, they're also they're also um, since they since they since they know you're a librarian, they said they the corn has what appears to be uh, psychic wards all over the facility. So just be aware. 
Rom is going to give one member from each fire team a Astartes Signum, which will link with the Signum link that I think Eric Clades is holding. Yep. Oh, we we didn't give ourselves to link. But yeah, we didn't link ourselves yet. Well, we can now. All right, everybody, take one action, our one full action, and boom, we're in squad mode. We're linked. Nice. And now everyone uh, gets uh, the gang up bonus as soon as two or more of us start engaging a target. And plus five to all ballistic checks. Yes. Excellent. All right. Well, let's begin. Does, does that count for me too, or not? Mm, you. Uh, I mean, it just it. You have a visor, yeah. Then theoretically, yes, because it's it has to do with the HUD, so it's auto targeting and everything is what it is. Gotcha. So if, oh, if that's the case, I also have a muffin predictor. Will that affect that? It'll <laughs> or, just add to it. Yeah, it'll just add to. It. I was basically, thinking if it will actually add it to everybody else. So that oh, was a plus. No, your five motion predictor is just right? your thing. Okay. The system hey. is basically going, cool, this person can see that person here, so you now also know where that person is. Yeah, it forms a web of interconnected auto senses, which helps all participating mes uh, members to make a concentrated attack on the same foe. So it just helps, it, it helps coordinate stuff as opposed to you having to have the trait to do it. So, right. it, yeah, as long as you get armor, which has like a HUD or something where it can like help tell you what you're needing to do and display that, you're good. Gotcha. Uh, so yeah, as long as you're in squad mode and you're on that connected, you're good. Uh, and you may get from any, any rules for ganging up, or sorry, from the rules for ganging up on an opponent, regardless of whether or not they're engaged in melee or a ranged attack. And benefits apply to both weapon skill and ballistic skill. It's on page 175 if you want to go read it. I guess the, the question I'm asking is, do I still get that bonus because I'm not a space marine? Yes, it doesn't say you have to be a space marine. It does say you have to be in squad mode, and I can't do that. All plus yeah, it does explicit, uh, explicitly say you have to be in squad mode. Mm. So she, uh, the sister of battle, doesn't benefit from any of our squad mode bonuses. Like the plus 10 to hit space marines, or chaos marines. But I don't harm any of your Squad bonuses either, so correct. Okay, uh, yellow mug. This should pertain to you. The guy informs you kind of what they have the centralized fortification, and just to be aware, they had what? some more more information on the on the facility they gave you since you're here in person, and they're able to relay m m more information as they were scouting while you guys are doing your thing. Sure. Uh, and they would be knowledgeable of this stuff too. So they they tell you that there's um looks like skulls of the sorcerers surrounding the perimeter of the wall. Looks like they're creating a dead zone against psychic psychic bullshit. Hence why they took your guy, powerful psychers, into that facility. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. They said there's various gun turrets, it looks like, and emplacements. And the wall is covered in bullshit spikes. <clears throat> Alright. Then in order for us to get out quickly, we have to disable their anti-psychic barrier. Or I'm I back. just I could get harder than their barrier can stop. Right. And yep. We'll find and out how it works once we get in there. Yep, and they said there's various uh, looks like totem structures as well in this on the on the wall perimeter. So we're we're gonna have to find a they they're telling you we're gonna have to find a point which to break that psychic stuff for you to use your abilities. So bear that in mind. So teleporting out might be. Not impossible. You just have to clear an area. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, what other? Do you want any more information on the centralized facility before you push forward? All the pertinent information. Okay. One second. They tell you the sigils that they saw throughout the facility of the blitzers of corn, blah, blah, blah. It may, it'll make it more difficult for you to do your psychic abilities. So they're just telling you about your psychic stuff because they know you're a librarian, especially. <clears throat> and they said it'll take us about, if, if we were to go at the pace we went, it takes about an hour to get to the wall fortifications. Uh, but they dare not push out from that position because all they were doing was basically viewing it from uh, a porthole in the sewer line. They're able to see this, see this stuff, kind of scout it out. Um, and there was way too many uh, defensive installations to to dare go out. So more I than likely, say, Boko, yeah. that if there's anti psyker stuff, that does also mean that the corn demons will be very weakened mm-hmm. because they are psychic entities. I know. Okay. No, so there's only like 10 of them, if that. I'm going to say refer back to the video I just posted. Wait, so Karn apparently is just running, screaming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Um, <laughs> what I snipped it to. Time's up. Let's do this. Well, I mean, he's going to give you a basic breakdown so you guys don't go into a death trap. Yeah. So you guys no, no, want to, okay. Okay. I mean, I wasn't run... saying. I'm not saying actually. Let's run into this shouting Leroy Jenkins. That's that's you, no. You can if you want to. No, I'm good. Yes, it is yeah. a role playing game. It is optional. Uh, they said there's there's um at least two. They have a um bane blade. They said of all things, guarding the entrance. <clears throat> I literally stopped what I was doing mid like reach. I was like kind of shocked at that. Um. Yeah, it looks like they they captured it or or something like that. Their skulls perforating the entire perimeter of the damn thing. Let's say there's at least I don't know six champions on top of that thing with chain swords. Hang on, confirm Bane Blade, not a Storm yep. Lord or anything like a variant. It's a standard Bane Blade, a corn one of some sort. They modified it in some way. They're not sure how. Or what? Like meaning like main weapon system because yes. Yeah, okay. At, at the very least, assume that they tell you. Okay. There are not. There's not a twin linked Vulcan mega cannon on top of this thing. I saw one big cannon. Okay. Man, many, 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 many uh, stabby bits. And they're telling you they don't know what the hell it is that they added to this thing. Uh, a shit ton of skulls. You know, standard corn bullshit. Um, it's covered in blood. So. <clears throat> well, sounds like we're going into the sewer. Yep, that's the yeah, that's the main entrance. And they said it looks like from their their point of view, when they're looking at the wall, it has various whirlwind turrets as well. So, getting aircraft near the thing would be impossible or very difficult. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> With the Emperor, nothing is impossible. Right. So, and he asked uh, you, Yilmug, is there anything else you wish to know or your team wishes to know about what you face? Any new information on the capabilities of these champions? They uh, had more time to scout it. They hit hard, and... Uh, they're very they're exceptionally fast. Their power armor has been modified. They they are faster than they are, for sure. So they said, be careful of that. And that's all they noticed about them. They move at like uh, crazy speeds. Are you asking specifically specifically about the one you didn't get get knowledge on? Yeah. I mean, the only thing we actually got knowledge on, really, I think, was uh, was just the regular dudes. They rolled pretty bad on all the other checks. Right. Uh, so, I don't think it was the... Uh, the thing is the axe guy you didn't have knowledge on, right? The what? The, he tells you the, the axe. 
it was the champions we got basically oh, okay. shit on and the Damons, uh we rolled like a point one or something that's why we just we had the maybe whatever we had we put them as right uh so the the champion um let's see one second it's a stupid thing yeah the well, berserkers one... we knew were class cannons the Damons, we said maybe blood letters and we knew so little about the other ones we didn't even put them in We presumed that there would be some champions, right. and so we're not so, confirmed. Yeah, they're actually able to acquire one of those chain swords. And so I'll give you the stats for it. It's 40, 10, plus 16, pin 15, balance, fast, tearing, felling 4. 4D10. And they have wards on it as well. They don't know what kind. It doesn't look anti slicker It's for something. It just could be rituals, ritualistic bullshit. Heresy. So Felling 4 ignores our unnatural toughness completely. Cool. Do not get hit by it. So we only have our normal toughness bonus to soak damage with. Yep. Cool. All and right. there's the uh, machine gunner guys you had to worry about too. They had some. And they actually failed one. So... They're going to give you the stats on that guy as well. So they said they have a corn heavy bolter of some sort. It looks heavily modified. It is 3d10 plus 15, a pen of 10, uh, tearing, failing 2. And they said there's another variant they saw out there of guys with a big, big ass cannon. Of some sort. They don't know what kind. You want to roll for that? Why don't you roll for that? Okay. Nope. You don't know what it is. It's a big fuck off cannon, is all they tell you. Sweet. So when their devastators come out, take cover. Right. All right. It'll be up to our devastator slash not devastator to take their devastators out. Right. And uh, they said. Yeah, one of the one of the squad mates will lead you to the tr the tunnels, so you guys can get yeah get there undetected. Excellent. Unless there's anything more, let's be off. Mm-hmm. Give me a second, guys. Let me set up the encounter. Okay, cool. This a is new it. hand touches the beat. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what get, went through my head. Okay. And then I'm going to drop in Heraclades. You're going to pop in. Show us on the Chaos it. Space Marine where the hands touched you. <laughs> you guys, you guys are underground. So this would be you guys are underground, looking out. Can you see all right? Or is it uh, dark? Stand by. No, I can see. I can see. Yeah, I can see. No, everything is black. I cannot. No, yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm black. Black. On the board yet. turned around. We're uh. On them. It's probably a I reused can, uh, thing. I I can see the whole map. Yep, that's the point. Oh wait, whole map. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm lighting, blah, 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 explore mode, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I can see it all, too. Hold up. I think the... Yeah, the hold up. Let's see. I think it's because I, maybe I have control over the tokens, these tokens, and they have the full vision. Okay, and then... Uh, I'm missing... Where's your name? Missing me. Oh. Beer low. I'm yeah. missing me. Because I have control. Oh, I see. Yeah. And what was his name again? I, I can't. Crom? Uh, Tiberio. Crom, thank you. And C! Sorry about that. Yeah. I, I had to remember what your name was. Oh. I'm not on the battlefield. I'm missing. Oh. Uh, where the fuck am I? Yeah, I don't see. There I am. You're way oh, at the okay. bottom. Bottom left. Okay, we're going to turn <laughs> myself around now. No, that's not me. There you there are. You 
Yeah. Uh, I think I still see the whole map because I have control over the NPC tokens, and I think they provide me the vision. Mm, I see the whole map. It might be I'm... me. I think my character has just an aura of vision or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I can I can still see the whole map. By the That's time fine. we get close it's, enough, they should all be dead. We were supposed to see the entire map. Yeah, guess so. Might be oh, uh, it's a distance. daylight mode. Boop. Oh, there you go. There we go. Nice. That's better. Yeah, lights time out. Again. You should probably turn the damn light off. Um, I have I have no vision cone, but I see Crom's I... vision or not Crom's. Uh. Uh, yeah, fucking, I have... what's Karnoth. his name? Karnoth's vision cone, thank you. Yeah, I can see his vision cone. I have no vision cone. Give me one second. I have a vision bubble. To the bubble. point where I, yeah, I literally can't see anyone. Oh, things. I have a vision bubble now. Sweet. Yeah, for some reason, I, you guys didn't have night vision. Technically, we should all have bubbles and not cones. Right. Who has a cone? Well, Someone's got a light on. Uh, actually, that's dude's character that I see a cone coming from. Yeah, someone has a light on. Negative dark cone. Oh, oh, there it oh, is. Oh, there we there go. There it goes. Light Did off. It... Lights off. We all turned the uh, glow from our visors off. Yeah. Lights out, brothers. I don't want to go to bed. Too bad. <laughs> We're not going to bed. We're putting these chaos to sleep. Permanently. All right, Doom Guy. <laughs> ban it, dat. Ban it, dat. Damn, I'm hey. a space marine. Who has the BFG? Okay, you guys are still... You know, I'll, I'll write in the thing, blah, 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 not shape. Three-handed. So this is the tunnel that led up here. And this is all part of it. And then I'll show you where the vision point is at. So the vision point is this blue area here where you can see out of. Waiting for a blue area. There we go. Yeah. Ah, I can see rocks, all three of them. <laughs> those uh those are deadly rocks yes rock they and sure stone are. brother no <laughs> <laughs> no they brought you to the perimeter of the facility because they're using you know scopes aspect scopes and all that to, to look far out from that position but you guys are inside the perimeter of the facility so what happens when i use the siege auspex you're gonna use that? I, I brought it. Okay, so you use that and you see what they described. You see the facility, <laughs> you see the walls. I uh, can see through uh, uh, walls and stuff with the siege aspects. Really? Yes. Okay. So I, I'm gonna, I am gonna be using this thing as much as I can. I'm just gonna send it to you. Okay, Perfect. so that's fine. So you're looking at the facility itself, look what they have on the inside. Yes, uh, I'm using this as much as I can, however I can. Right. Uh, uh, so, yeah, okay, so anything that's within 20 meters, I can see through all of it. That includes rock, stone, 20 meters, uh, energy meter, energy fields, uh, you can bulkheads. See 20, that's your depth of vision through? Yeah. Okay. Through stuff, yeah. No, okay. ro the rock, and, rough. rock and stone has to be included together as one singular object. Does it give what you a... details on how thick walls and such are? Well, uh, you, GM should take into consideration the materials being scanned to adjust its individual range, but it doesn't give a... It says, uh, I can see uh, through uh, a fixed range of about 20 meters. So when I'm scanning stuff, 20 meters deep of whatever. Sweet. Uh, you're able to see through the, the perimeter wall of the uh, inner fortification. You see more... Um, they're not exactly titans. It looks like they're some sort of knight. In the inside the center centralized compound, mm. so, there's f at least four of them, okay. and they're guarding they're guarding something in the center. All right, so it should have a giant screen. So I'm just gonna kind of lean over to uh, Eric Clades with the screen uh, outstretched, so he can look through, and everyone should be able to kind of 
see this a little bit. And they're not dreadnoughts. They're bigger than dreadnoughts, smaller than Titan. So they're definitely knights. Well, knights are titans, but... Yeah, you, you know what I mean. They're not No, warhounds. but yes. So... Anyways, uh, Librarian Ericlades, do you see? I do indeed see them. Mm. Strange how these were missed in the intel report. They're on the inside of the facility. They yeah. can't see inside. They can't see through walls. They didn't have a siege auspex. They did not. I they brought didn't. a siege auspex. It's, yeah, not something most people bring. In. It's an old... This is something we used to bring back during the old times. If you're going to breach facility, this is what you needed to bring. Yeah, they just had yeah. aspects. They saw the outside perimeter, so you're seeing the inside of the perimeter or that centralized thing through the moat. Also, um, okay. our our briefing is the initial thing, but as conditions change, so too does the briefing. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, you guys are just finding out this information because... It yeah. would be un yeah, we, unknown. We, we just saw them. I know. Uh, so yeah. it's probably well. I guess we have the scout here. Tell your brothers that there are confirmed knights in the facility. All right, large automata. There we go. We're free. They're, they're not automata. They're piloted I... automata. Piloted they're automata. Right. Anyways, um, you're searching through anything else that's on the centralized like fortification itself because you can't see it from above can't see it below it's literally yeah in, in the thing scanning left and right with it to see if i see anything of note uh you see what looks to be a maintenance tunnel on the south eastern portion of the of the facility like over here yeah the of the wall if you look at that that picture i of the wall the fortification it's like a like it has four giant walls, the rip mode of blood, and on the southeastern wall segment, you see what looks to be some sort of tunnel that leads into the ground, and you can't it it's deeper than you can see, but you see that's a tunnel that goes somewhere. Might be where we need to go. Actually, scout, here, come look through this. See if you can't find us a good route. Yes. I'm handing him the siege aspect so he okay. can look around and try and All right, so how plan does, a route. How does this thing work again? Oh, Similar geez. to an aspect, but it's directional. Viewfinder, angle it up, point it where you need to, and then the lever on the right, push it down, it activates it. It'll, it'll go as far as you can visually see. However, it'll only scan through up to 20 meters of material. Copy. All right, so am I separating from the party to see if I can look around and then report back? Are you busting out of this tunnel? Because this, this is where the tunnel lands here. Oh, we're, in, the, to... we're in a tunnel. Okay. You're yeah, in a tunnel, tunnel, and he sees a tunnel, or a, looks like a tunnel structure on the southeastern wall, and he followed it as far as he could until it went to the ground and disappeared. It's Got a, it. deeper than 20 meters. That might be a w another way in, or we could... Scout's got it. You scout does scout things. All right, so I'm gonna look for uh, I'm gonna look for an entryway. Okay, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get out of the tunnel with that thing, more than likely. You're All at right. the dead end of this tunnel. So, so I'm going you to do silent move and get out. Yes, I'm going to leave the tunnel. Um, okay. Before he does that, before he does that, before that, right. I'm attaching a stalker flare to him. Stalker flare. It's not, Stalker you know, flare. Invisible to the naked eye. Small oh. chemical markers can only be detected through photo sensors or prey site sites or by those using Odelsense goggles. They allow space marines to mark trails and landing zones in ways very difficult or impossible to detect by enemy forces. It's just random gear that you can get from uh, rights of battle. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so um, as I leave the tunnel, I guess you I guess can, the tunnel... You should move out, so you can just the end, exit point right here through the blue. Oh, okay, here we go. As I leave the tunnel, um, I break off from the squad, and I'm going to do my solo mode ability, which is Master of the Shadows. And right now, it's at rank 4, so I only get the effects of rank 1 and 3. 
And rank one is re-roll failed concealment, shadowing, and silent move checks. Right. Uh, and I'll tell you where you go where you have to start investigating. So you're going to have to get right. to this point here. You see me uh, pinging it? Uh, yes, I see that. Okay, you have Obstacle. to get there to then make your observation. Okay, I'm just going to start inching my way up then. Uh, oh, yeah, and what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll for... I'm going to roll for silent move, I guess, because I am moving. Yeah. Yep, just keep doing that. Um, anytime you make a full move. All and then what's the rest of the team doing? I am observing the path that he makes. Okay. All right. Uh, Yelmug, what you doing? I'm going to wait for him to report back. Uh, right. Boko, how many silent move checks do I have to do to make it over there? Every time you move. All right. Every time you move full movement. All right. So anytime move. you run, silent move. Okay. So it's yeah, not my, a... my run is uh, my run is forty two meters. So so every forty two meters. So about, silent yeah, move. about to the edge of my vision there. Uh. So you can you can plot your course you want to. I can't see where I drew anymore. <laughs> okay, right. so if I plot my course. Well, he can draw for you, so he can draw, like, Valero, you can draw for him yeah. if you want. That way they can follow your path and silently move along that path. So, yeah, because realistically, right. you, can just, you can drop the signal, uh, stalker flares as you go. I should have just given you a bundle. So how do I, I... I keep forgetting how to do this. How do I um, do waypoints with the arrow tool? Right, right click. Right click? Yeah. All right. Uh, like with this. I believe hold shift down will keep it. When you finish. You just hold left click, and then while you're holding left click, you right click. You can just boop. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. And then if you hold down shift, it'll keep the entire path. Right. Uh, you can... It's just a flare, right? Uh... So it's an invis it's a flare invisible to naked eye. Like it doesn't emit light. You have to actually like activate a. a we'll scanner. say you got a bundle of them. We'll say you have thirty. I yeah, we I have listed CSI a bunch of Miami them. orange glasses. <laughs> uh, I get it. So you can give him as many as you want when he, before he left. Yeah, I, I oh, brought illuminator your... uh, signal flare, like a capsule of them, and then I brought some signal flares. I was just like lights and marking things. I I thought about that. All right, so yeah, yeah. So, uh, however far you want to drop it, um, I say every waypoint of his will be one. Yeah, yeah he could do that if he wants to. So, yeah, I'm you just do, I'm right. mapping the uh, thing now, and then I'll start going. Okay. Uh, God damn it! Whatever. Right, that's that what was I think. About... You should just draw it, man. Yeah, just but if I draw it, I, all right. Draw where your flares are going to go. Ever, just distance, flare, drop it. You can okay. also set the line to linger now. Yeah, I, I thought I did that. Yeah, it's on linger. But I, I clicked a button and then it did something. Ah. Right, so just draw it so it's All permanent. Right. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, so just... Do, 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 do. It lingers if you select the cursor after... You can, just draw, you can just draw where you drop it. Yeah. If they oh, just God, use... I can't see my drawing in the dark now. <laughs> That's why you're going to have to move your character. Move your character right. to your silent moves. So I just draw Okay, you okay. Here Each we go. Each time you move, draw. Yeah, draw the circle every time so you move. do that. I'll draw where you came from. And silent move. Good. Oops. Keep grabbing the no, wrong thing. There we go. I don't want to hear oops. <laughs> Not oops. He gets, you just see, you just hear him that you don't hear any more about him. <laughs> I just hear through the comms. Oops. All right. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, what do you mean oops? I don't want to hear oops. What do you mean, what do you mean? Oops, bad. None of it. Hmm. 
Giggity. Holy free holy. I did build my character for this shit. Uh, Damn. Yeah, I, I built mine for something that's not important. Yet. Yeah. And However, as soon as we come up to a command test or fellowship, I got you. Okay, so... Um, so speeches? Yeah, no, like, yeah, Krom is... I have, like, a... I think the lowest I could get naturally would be like 105 or a negative five. Jeez. Like. Cool. So I, yeah. I'm seeing uh, what looks like corrupted guardsmen here. So ah, I'm here. I'm yes. calling I'm calling out their location quietly to the team right here. You have a Voxcom. You can literally yeah, just do what, that. They, they, they can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I mean by calling out quietly. I just didn't know how to word that. Quietly yeets a rocket at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, must be the, it, mu it, must be, it must be the wind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then this is Speaking be... of Skyrim. <laughs> it was November 11th yesterday. So it was. What's so important? Skyrim uh, Day. The day Skyrim came World out. World Trade Center 11. Day. Oh. Whoa. No. 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 no, no, no. no. Bad. It's <laughs> two months later. And yeah. Two months. <laughs> Here we go. No. Uh, yeah, this month is great because you've got In Seven Day and the Skyrim anniversary. I'm just so glad they didn't release another patch. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. What? Code remasters? Okay, <laughs> no, you can literally last, play it on a fridge. Last year, during the anniversary, they decided to patch the game. On the anniversary, and, which pissed off a lot of people. And it broke just half the lot. Yeah, every time they patch it, because they don't talk to the mod people ahead of time, it just breaks it all. Breaks all the mods. Yeah. Brothers, I've made it. I'm in position. Okay. Do we want to start moving out? And we'll just be really quiet. By the way, I'm calling out, uh, Boko, I'm calling out all the enemies that I'm seeing mm -hmm. along the way. Oh, I only saw the one group. So there's one, there was one group of uh, guardsmen, and there's a mix of guardsmen and uh, space marines up where I'm at. Which is... Yes. <laughs> Somewhere out here. Yep. Or maybe here. Or possibly here. But also possibly here. Oh. I'll, I'll ping. So there's there's a group here where I'm pinging. Oh. There's, also, there's also a group here. I can only put down one marker. I, I think do, there might have been a guy or two here. Uh, measure, go to circle, set it to linger. Yeah. There you go. Okay. How long does it linger? Until you hit the trash can. Or until oh, nice. you uh or until you put a new add one. a new one down. Yeah, if you draw a new one or if you hit that thing. Alright, where's the third group you said, Tess? Uh I two? believe the third group is somewhere somewhere around here. Okay. So that's about where the enemies are at. So they're all in a line. You sure you didn't just mark their patrol path? No, they're not lines. They're groupings that are holding still, I think. He's talking to you there. Yeah. Wait, who's talking to who? Uh, You don't know. You just hear a voice in your box. Oh, no. This always ends well. No, not again. Uh, I, listen, a voice. I listen intently without uh, reciprocating. If I hear a voice Quick, in my box. Shoot yourself in the head. It's the only solution. <laughs> God damn it, Antius. No, no, no. no. Before. <laughs> we know the solution. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh. His name is Torian, uh. <laughs> Kalex. He's right. a Imperial. I, I, I feel like this is the best optimal path. Yep. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Unknown voice. 
Hang on. The one who shot himself in the head was in at uh, and Calix yes. from the Irish. Reporting Calix, reporting yep. in <laughs> special forces. Hold up. I can't oh. see. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. And he gives you the proper credentials. Transmitting credentials now. All right. Yep. So, uh... He can validate the credentials. Yeah, uh, I can. Okay. Strom can validate right, it. Name? I Foreign just... Payments. I have a fuck ton of... <laughs> Go for what it. What do you want for that? Uh, let's try... Would it be scrutiny? Or would that be something else? No, well, scrutiny it depends. is the shelter line or not. So yeah, it'd be scrutiny. Got it. Oh, I was going to try just using Imperial military lore. That could work. Well, scrutiny would be different if he's lying, and Imperial lore probably are for the code itself. Yeah. So you pass the lore check. So you would want to do scrutiny to see if... Not... Not if his credentials are valid, but how he's saying it. Yeah, who's yeah, who's got a really good scrutiny? I can confirm the codes. I've got buffs out the ass on that. Who's got? I'm a gonna good I'm gonna roll scrutiny. Uh, I've got perception. trained. Yeah, who's got a good perception? Like, I really? I'm and trained. trained in scrutiny. I very much do. So the one trained in it should do it, regardless of his perception score. Actually, Moth, you have master of observation, so that oh, would yes. be that would be you. No, oh, you're asking. You're like checking his credentials. I've checked the credentials. Okay, uh, so this is what good. this is what pulls up what he is. Origin. Xarkin oh, are the first... elite of the Cadian shock troops originating from Cadia, a planet that was at the forefront of the battle against chaos forces near the Eye of Terror until its destruction in the lore. Okay, no chat GPT. <laughs> However, yeah, of course I use that. <laughs> I can get it. I know. Man. A little un a bit of unnecessary information every time. <laughs> yeah, but you, you could have told me he was a car skin. Like, okay. I'm giving you a full breakdown right. what he is. This is what comes no, with the So, so right. Boko, do his credentials check out? Yes. yes. All right. So now we're seeing if he's lying or not. That would be, I think, Moth. Scrutiny? Moth is going to do a roll for that. Yes. Uh, so I get a... No, he's not, he's not lying. But uh, basically, he he t gives you a rundown that he's been like in the sub network of this area. This was once a um, city before they blasted it. So. So Boko, am I talking to this guy right here? Is that him? Yeah, yeah. He's right. he's just he's just giving you a rundown. He's the the, the it's just uh, him. Um, but he's been getting gathering intel on the facility. So uh, I I look in his direction. Well met, Torian. Uh, we are... I am scouting ahead, but we have a small attack party of space marines that are going to follow my lead. Wait here. Or maybe, you know, see if you can't help guide us to that spot. Jesus. <laughs> or help guide us. <laughs> right, I there, saw you guys coming in. Party. Full glory. Emperor sends his best angels. Okay, I think when angels dealing with this dude, them. I would have a plus 100. I'd have 100, minimum. Glad you survived that hellish barrage. I thought no one could survive such things. We are the <laughs> Emperor's yeah. finest. Right. We are Death Watch. We handled worse. The people next to me just just quietly <laughs> here. If I survived Isfahan, I can survive that. Apparently the rest of these silent. knuckleheads crashed into a moon and lived. Right. You guys are going to have to make um, silent move checks along those waypoints. You guys see the, the waypoints, obviously. Yeah. All right, okay. brother, guide us in to make our path easier. Well, I dropped the flares. 
But do you want me to do yeah. extra stuff? You know, like, 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 hey, stop. You know, like, they're looking your way. Everyone stop moving kind of a thing. It, yeah, okay. it tells you the only way into that centralized facility, though, is we're going to descend down and then come back up. Uh, way down, he tells you. <laughs> okay. And the underbelly is, what was once this, this city here? Um, I'm guessing we're going under the moat, then. He way he tells you way under the moat. Right. Um, there's mutants down there, various other scum, and there's they haven't even noticed that shit's happened, <laughs> or at least they're too dumb or fixated on what they're doing. Right. Uh, being heretics, to worry about that. Um, but he, he tells you they were sitting here as the invasion was starting to to investigate this. They said there's still a detachment of guardsmen on the planet side. Resisting these guys. Alright. So, um... With, uh... Virlo guiding us, can we get a bonus on these self-checks? Okay. Mm, That's a good question. If he, if he comes back to guide you, uh, you guys get a plus 20. I mean, like, you know, like, you know, spotting all the other guys and stuff. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Plus 20 on that. If he, but, yeah, yeah but if he's I'm... not aiding you, yeah, that's plus 20. I'll call out their positions. I'm going to need it because Sororitas yeah. can't trade in silent move. I can't either. Right. And uh, the guardsman basically alludes to you it's going to take you at least an hour or two to go through the network system into the facility itself. Otherwise, it's impossible to get to that, that bunker. Five hours. Okay. So we still said it was going to take five hours. So that's. Or we'd have five hours. So. Don't right. forget that our camo cloaks provide an additional plus 20 to concealment. Yep. Well, yeah, concealment, silent not move, silent move. Yeah, well, sure. Alright, who's going first? I'm gonna take up the rear. Because I can go first. I have to find... What, yeah, what uh... Where's silent move? There it is. Right, uh... Eric Clay's... Yeah, Eric the the battle, the, the commander reports back to you that the, the battle has basically come stalled at a standstill, but they've definitely breached the outermost perimeter of this of the base, and they're at least holding that position. Yeah, sure. And they are able to down at least two of their titans already. But a great sacrifice, they lost the majority of theirs, so... How far, or what, or what movement type were you using? Were you using just a full move? Uh, run. You're doing a run. Oh, we're doing a run. I was okay, doing a run is, with silent That move. is a much different thing. Yeah, okay, I was going to say. So the first one is here. Yeah, I'm sure you don't want to sit there and... You no, get a bonus. yeah, I was like, I don't want to have to do 22 meters every single time. But... You get a bonus if you want slower. Like, plus 50 if you want... That slow. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could do a, ch I'm gonna <laughs> a charge. That'd be a plus. Should we, should we take turn doing silent moves then? Yes, we'll just leapfrog up. You know, let's, let's bring up that initiative thing to put that, use that as a list to know who to, I who mean, goes next. If you guys don't want me failing, I'll need to move super slow, but otherwise. <clears throat> yeah, you're going to take. Uh, yeah. probably two or three times as long as these guys. So they're gonna be waiting a good while for you. I'll like I'll go back, with back uh. Else. I'll go. Wait, what? He, he's small. He can literally hug you guys. Just hold on to the front of my shield. Fuck it. I'll do that. Might as well. <laughs> I'll just I'll angle the shield slightly so it's like I don't know, like a thirty degrees, and I'm just gonna kind of walk with <laughs> I it. I know. So you can just lay on top of it with the guns I'll out. I'll put the concealment tarp over me in the shield so he's perfect. like a moving rock. That's perfect. <laughs> Puts the shield in the left hand and the spear in the right. All right, let's do this. Uh, <laughs> We're Looney Tunes in this. Right. What? Gun turrets can talk? This was talking to, to him. Oh, shit. 
It's in his mind. He, you guys are in here. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, no. Crom, <laughs> Crom looks at the Sororitas and Triple Blinks, confirming a negative target. And then he's gonna. I'm I'm going through like the HUD mark, uh, marking her as uh, friendly. Oh my God, negative. Friendly, mark target friendly. Negative. Adeptus Sororitas. You know, we were just hear gunfire in the distance. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's shut down. <laughs> Me and the machines sometimes get along. Sometimes we, sometimes we have arguments. It'll be fine. This is all in my head. Yep. You guys wouldn't notice anything. You just saw the gun turret, like charge up its little chain thing. <laughs> aiming yeah. at something and then it shut down. Krom is just mentally having an argument with the machines. <laughs> I'm not losing my mind. I'm just going senile. And wouldn't Moth's character be able to see this uh, flare thing? He'd have to be carried by someone, right? Are we, are we silently moving in order or are we just doing whatever? Silently moving in order, yes. In order? Okay. Yeah, well, I'm not sure what order we're doing this then. You move your uh, character and then you make. I'm not even role. sure who's who. I'm yeah, just following I'm, people. Like I've the only people that are left are the three uh, miscreants. So yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. They. I, I would rather have an initiative list up, and so we can actually see what order we're at. Yeah, Sergeant Talos says tells you he's not really good at moving, but they'll try the stealth move with you guys. So Remember, they're getting that plus twenty bonus. So okay, I'm here. Uh, and yes, I guess the the Adeptus Aurora just saw the turret and then went ink. Or no, you asked about can you see the uh, the glow things? Yeah. Uh, I was Boko asked if I could. Uh, theoretically, yeah. I mean, what vision modes does your visor have? I don't know. I see some contact. I hide behind the rock. Where's uh? Now. Where's this guardsman? So I should probably wait for him to get here. Yeah, he's at the pipe. Oh, this one I'm standing next to? Very yeah, the well. black guy in black. Yeah. Okay. And you see he has a he has a sniper rifle and he's just kind of scanning. He has like a night has a night display. Kinda looks like the guy from um Chaos Theory. Kinda looks like that. Mm. The server turning turns to the silent move. Oh, did I talk against him? Nice. Derp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I> hey. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I missed it. What was so funny? Uh, <laughs> my gun turret was making silent moves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh Brasora, wherever you are, we are right here. Uh All on right. the, the white ping, by the way. Yeah. Sorry. We made it. I don't know if you want to stay under the camo cloak or not and scare the fuck out of this guardsman, but that you do you. Let me make his character to Victorian. One second. I believe I'm not the one who made a felt check. Right. I think we rolled it. Don't. Oh, I think okay. we rolled it. Say, don't jinx it. All right. Everyone in the pipes. Let's go. Okay, one second. Oh, it's Torian, right? That's his name. Yeah, there he is. Mm 
That tanks one. Who's next? Beggars, right? Who's next to Who's next to him right now? The guardsman. Yeah, you. Prom. Yeah, me and Brasora. Yeah. Uh, Krom kind of bows his head to the side and down at the same time. I appreciate it. I'm going to then link theirs to ours. Uh, That's how he's able to stay undetected as long as he has. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I am going to give him the code for our tertiary comms. Uh, that's partially directed towards Ericlades, if you don't mind. Right. I confirm. Very well. Uh, I'm gonna reach over and uh, tap his helmet, uh, com piece, and then I'm gonna flash the uh, sig signals for the code so he can put it in and join our communications. <clears throat> Eric Lady is patching this, this, enemy communications on. Yeah, that's the first net. thing you hear when you're in the comms. That watcher on the king confirmed on site. Is it the ones we seek? I didn't know we're speaking works. Did uh when the <laughs> fuck did Kermit that's, get here? It's clearly what he sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's what he hey, sounds Chaos like. does horrible things to people, man. It corn does. it's not Kermit the Frog, it's Corn the Frog. <laughs> exactly. Uh Jesus. Uh he's, yeah, he's not Green Affinity, he's red with fury. Corn met the frog. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm also going to take this time to take one of my glowy sticks and just stick it on this guardsman because I'm not going to be bothered to hunt hunt them around trying to figure out where he's hiding. Right. I'm just right on top of his head. I show it to him, of course, first, and then I just stick it on him. Okay. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, I'm going to ask him, any others with you? Uh, not on site. He said he's he's the one that's scouting ahead and giving intel to the re to the resistance group. How many forces are still remain on this planet? Uh, he tells you there's a there's there's a sizable force, at least a division of men. Are they spread have very out or, <laughs> spread out or consolidated? Uh, all consolidated will remain to the defense forces. I'm going to tell them I would recommend trying to make contact with the invasion force to the north. Oh, they, they already, they already knew you're okay. uh, doing that. So they're already on, they're already at that planet fighting the forces there. So I they were able to patch together what you guys were doing. Okay. So he tells you it's, the, it's his job to be knowledgeable of uh, all Imperial Bef things. Right before we go in the tunnel, I'm going to ask for uh, access to his command net. Sure. And I'm going to link it to our orbital ships, uh, the Navis, to give them access to the Remnant's command net so they can actually coordinate battle plan between them, our forces that we brought, the remaining forces, and try and patch everyone in on the same battle net. Right. Yeah, uh, And just making aware to them, like, hey, Warmaster... Yeah, Warmaster Makrov is not currently joining us here. This is a small strike force. Right. So uh, he tells you that all available uh, guardsmen forces are at that city in the other continent engaging that. Mm. So they know they're going to possibly die, but they're going to try to get as many civilians off world as they can. Very well. And that's the only intact ship area they can do it from. So there's, there's a blessing you guys came and struck that specific. Uh, hive, hive city there. Hmm. For anyone who doesn't know, we confirmed the year. By the way, it's uh, we were occurring during the Sabbath World's Crusade. Or and what year is that? Uh, so well, we're currently it should be seven uh, four two. I want to say. Let me go double check that. I M forty one or M forty two. M forty one. No, no, not we're not forty two. Or not M42, M41. Uh, hang on. M41, find it. Uh, it is currently 
Should be like 2514 local time, 772 M41. Got it. So 41st millennia. Which is 40,000, even though it's 41st for the uninitiated. Yes. Uh, so this is actually, should be occurring during like an actual, or right around when a Black Crusade was going on, all that fun stuff. So perfect timing, fits in with, the, with our lore. So, yep. Cool. Yeah. If you read the uh, Gaunt's Ghosts novels, we're like right in the middle of that. Ah. The siege. Uh, so yeah, a lot of hive cities are currently being corrupted by chaos in this region. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out why I couldn't see again, and then I discovered we're in the top left. Yep. These corridors look very similar. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's there's there, three or four. It's more other like attacks. Imperium We've uses STCs before. to build stuff. All right. I yeah. am gonna put put down a luminator signal flare here. The demon that prince has informed us that our glory is soon at hand. They come to us. Stupid. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Miss <the> Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Hang on, look, uh, how do I draw a circle? Uh, eclipse. Okay. Nope, not that. There you go. There is a giant glowing thing here for us. This is where we came in at. Sweet. Oh. Uh, is the guardsman joining us? Yeah, he's right he's there. Right. Ah. Perfect. That's a giant oh, guardsman. <laughs> David Dominguez, you not moving? I'm moving. <clears throat> okay. So, oh. what can you tell me about this passage we're in? There we go. Yeah, he's never been here with this planet before. He's never been in here before? Then not do this not planet. Leave. No, wait. No, no, no. The sergeant? That's... Okay. He came you're... from our invasion force, or he's part of the resistance? You're talking about the... The... Talking about the Calyx. Calyx. Oh! Yeah, no, no. He's a, he's exclusively knowledgeable about this underworld here. Yeah, that's that's why I was asking said, him. I was going to tell sergeant. him, like... He's not a sergeant, though. He said he was a sergeant. Is he? You Hang on, say gonna, special forces. I will settle special. this. I'm gonna scroll up. I'm scrolling. Is he up. also a captain? No. Uh, hey, another special, He's special forces. forces, not a sergeant. Not explicitly okay, well, a sergeant. This? Sergeant is Sergeant Telos. Okay. Well, what what is he then? I'm just gonna call him Corporal. Fuck it. He doesn't give you a rank. He just says classified. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm gonna <laughs> use that plus sixty five to my roll for command, and I want his rank. <laughs> <laughs> Give me his goddamn rank. All right. Rank roll for sir. uh, roll for command. <laughs> you want to see a command roll? Yes. Uh, How? What would I do for opposing? Because he would not doesn't want to give it up. Okay, so command probably and then fellowship I get, to a, oppose. There's a plus fellowship oppose. Maybe okay. I don't know. Maybe it's willpower. Uh, seven point five. <laughs> yeah, okay. I want to do willpower, and then I want to like. Yeah, it would be willpower because you're being barked at by a space marine. What your rank is? That would be not pretty just scary. any space marine. A space marine a keeper. keeper. Which is, yeah, which is little. They I literally have a chosen representative. Is, I'm a chosen Minus. representative of the Black of the Death uh, Watch. Okay, so so Boko, he's gonna uh, he's gonna roll willpower, and it'll be minus a hundred. How long is rank in his unit? Uh, well, it's gonna be minus minus sixty hellish, if I remember correctly. Not yeah. Hellish. Well, we're also talking about talking to an ancient too. <laughs> So it's gonna be a little bit more than hellish. Well, minus sixty is the max you can have. Yeah, it is. Gotcha. Uh, For a second, I thought unit mess hall. It's the idiot guardsman. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Unit to mess hall, sire. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a play on words from a while ago. I mean, that or I could just look at his uniform and try and read the damn rank off of it. No, you stupid guardsman. I said Maws of Hell. And that wasn't a rank. <laughs> rank is peasant. You missed the first part. Oh. 
My rank is peasants. What, <laughs> unit, <laughs> what unit is you come from, <laughs> Lieutenant? <laughs> Lieutenant First Class. Anything else? What? What was that? I asked him what unit he came from. I'm I'm trying to like actually figure out if I've served with any of the units that he's been a part of. That is classified. I'll give you that, Karskin. I am Praetor Krom Tiver. Well, yeah, Krom Tiver Ilkairn of the Death Watch. A pleasure. I'm aware of who you are. I have your files. Hmm. I doubt they are complete. Oh. Tell me, what do you know of these sewers? Uh, no, I do not have access to your sheet, Karnoff. Boko took it away from me this session. All right. Dan's going to be AFK for 10 minutes. Mm. So he wanted me to control his character, but I can't. That's all right. So stick with the uh, stick with the group, Lieutenant. That guide here is invaluable, but I would much rather have one of the my Astartes brethren up front just in case. Uh, where's the scouty boy? He went down this way. I meant oh, I was refer well, I was referring to you, but well, I'm like. I guess I'm taking point right in front of him then, in case we get ambushed. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was going to say, we should have you and him in a, as a pair. I am going to physically hold my whole shield up to this uh, entryway and just block it with the entire shield. Brothers, I have good line of sight on this hallway in front of me. Something isn't right. My path was altered ahead. What do you mean, altered? Uh, he tells you he, he dropped uh, basically a breadcrumb of, for his trails. Like, oh. you wouldn't, he, he describes it to you, but you haven't heard of this. But he doesn't say much past that, so he's going to say, like, he tells you just wait here. He's going to scout he ahead. He dropped purple rocks. I say, he, Nobody would find we those. should probably <laughs> send, uh, send our scout with him. Yeah, I'm moving. I'm moving up. Oh, who left? Uh, he Dan he popped off. Okay. He said he'd be okay. back in okay. ten. Okay. Okay. Uh, I say, Lieutenant, uh, our brother here is going to go with you. Yeah, I'm. I'm going ahead right now. So, Boko, do you want to give my token? shared vision for everyone else so they can kind of see what I see? No. No? Okay. Actually, you should, because we have the signal link. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's uh, yeah, see. That's, that's, yeah. That is what? literally what it's oh. doing. Oh, 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 wait. Did you give me the siege aspects back? Or do you still have yes. it? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm scanning that siege aspects around in a 360 pattern. Yeah, what do I, I see? Uh, you don't see anything of note. Oh. Uh, just corridors, more doors, and then like certain things you can't pierce. So the law that the walls are very thick. And down, yeah, down yeah. See, I hear. I think in most directions, I'd only be able to see about twenty meters. So you see the realm of Mordor. I think we're in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, <right yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I caught that too. So I was the only one who thought, heard that. So I think I'd be able to see like as far as this circle is right now, outside of like the main passages. So, a little bit more unlimited, but it this is, like, specifically what a Siege Aspects is built for. So, Boko, did you give uh, shared vision? He you just did, yes. vision now. Yeah. Okay. I had, to, guys... I had to make everyone, you could trouble by everyone. Can you guys see my position Not here? I can, I can see everything yes. you can see. All right, sweet. Uh, and I I'm... see the thingy in front of you. Just I'm don't fuck with my finger. token. <laughs> there is a thing here. I don't know what that is. Do I see that, Boko? It's... Probably yeah, if, if, do you see it? If you see it, you see it. 
Um, looks like a giant monkey man. <laughs> uh, uh, he kind of tells you, yes, uh, it is a mutant, a uh, very dangerous mutant. Um, they roam down here. They've been, like, devouring on chaos forces, imperial forces, since the, uh, normally these things are under control by the local uh, defense group, right, and handled and squashed and pushed down to the lower levels. But since most of those people are dead now, they've, they've gone up to the higher levels. So do I have relevant lore where I can check to see what kind of mutant that is? Sure. I have Adeptus Astartes, Death Watch, Imperium, War, and uh, Forbidden Xenos. Archaic lore? Yeah, you could share your lore. If we're... Uh, I can relay description, then you can re do a lore. Can you relay a description to me, and I would see if I know anything from Archaic or yes. uh, Legendary lore? And I will make Rather a roll it Both. appears to be a giant monkey man wielding a sword. <laughs> That's just the token, brother. Uh, I know. <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> but sort of resembles that. All right. <laughs> well, that was easy. Uh, <laughs> so, what did you get? Uh, thirty for. Three. Or sorry, uh, a three for both. For both, I rolled both archaic and legend scholastic. Uh, Gloom. Yeah, gloom stalker. So you know, as a gloom stalker, it's a horrific amalgamation of human, something otherworldly. It stands taller than a man, elongated limbs, razor sharp claws. Its skin is pale, translucent, almost ghastly. A result of generations living from any natural light. Uh, it's hunchback, and it's, uh, it's permanently in a stooped posture. Moves with disturbing, skittering grace, capable of navigating the, the cramped and treacherous terrain of the underhive. So, it has toxic Underhive. blood. Yeah, you know it has toxic blood. Blah, blah, blah. You don't want to be hit by this thing. It'll poison you. Uh, it's able to regenerate. You, you know it's very hard to kill. All right, it's really hard to kill. I'm going to relay back scouts. That okay. sounds like a gloom stalker. Understood, brother. Miles for pertinent information. Understood. I'm aware of gloom stalkers. And you just see it devouring on people. And you see a pile of, like, chaos guys, a pile of other mutants. And it's just having a good time eating. So it doesn't see me yet. Nope. All right. Um, do you want to go through it, or do you want to go around it? What do you want to do? I want to go through it, and, well, um. first of all, let me ask the rest of you. What do you think I should do? Should I try and find a different path around? Divert. We're on a time. Right. Divert. Divert. We, we, sh we should divert. One, takes time to fight. Two, it's hard to fight. We don't have time to fight everything. So, Boko, is this right here? Is that a door? Or is that... Yep. It's a door. All right. We got a door right here, too. Uh, I'm going to roll surface navigation to see which way I should go. Do you want me to? Do you want to just come get the siege aspects? I mean, it. It's, should I? I, I mean, it lets you see through walls. I'm um, thinking if I get a good navigation roll, it shouldn't matter, and then you can hang on to it because you're trying to prevent your team from being ambushed, whereas I'm just scouting. You yeah, you're you're going to be able to discern kind of where to where to navigate. That's okay. What you're trying to do okay. right. Yeah. What's the modifier in the navigation check? Minus 60, you haven't been here. But if you're using oh, help shit. of that other guy, uh, you can negate that 60. Completely? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay. Holy shit, that's a critical success. So he tells you, with the, with the help of the other guy, and I'm going to freehand this, uh, probably best to go this way. All right. Do you want the rest of the team to move? He up tells you, you that's. He tells you that way leads to basically a sewer pit and more of those beasts. More because he's avoided that area for a very long time because of that 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 reasoning. So he's killed up so many down that that way. Brothers, I recommend you follow me, but stay behind me a few paces. Does right, this big door right here come through the same path? Yeah, we could just go up and then through. Yeah, but the same. I think I'm just gonna go up and out. Debris here. Oh, there. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, sorry. There's debris here. Uh, it would be loud. You can go through it. It'd just be loud. 
It's look definitely the map. we proceed. All right, silent move. When you make that movement from that corner up to here. Okay, from the corner. Yeah. Which I can't see specifically where my move? token is. Uh, Brasor, are you jumping on the shield again? Uh, I should. Uh, oh, I don't no. think it matter. Uh, Ericlades, you might want to re-roll that. Uh, Please re-roll that. Oh, nope, boy. Still up, and I am out of fate points. Okay, I'll spend my point? last fate point to help you no, re-roll that. No, borrow a fate oh. point from me. I okay. have the most. I have one more, too. I'll throw my last fate <laughs> there's, point. There's no modifier for this uh, fate roll, yeah? Or for the, not for this, for the stealth move. It's just normal. Or are we using his... Well. Where the fuck did I just go? Oh, okay. Uh, Brusora, we're up uh, here. We Anybody made. got another one for her, ladies? You need one? That's it. I got you. I use, use mine. Okay. But if I'm... But I'm gonna stay behind with the uh, other folks. Right. Oh my god. Is this another hey, Doom I, I Stalker? I did give Torian a fate point to reroll. I am the most unstealthiest Holy of all shit. space sharks. <laughs> he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't accept it. Oh, Wait, okay. where's uh, where's <laughs> Torian at? He he ran at the mutant because he got discovered. Yeah, he got discovered, and he figured it's best that you guys move ahead because it's like he gave you the pathway where to go. So, all right. I really, really want to say I just grab him as he starts trying to run off. Well, he's providing a distraction, so let's take it and move. Well, uh, Karen, you can do a willpower Eric check. Ladies can't seem to pass his check. You can, yeah. Karen, you can yeah, do. I'm, I, I'm about to just command him to stay with us. You could, you could do a you willpower could. check to resist the urge to grab him and bring him with. Can I do a command check to tell him to come with us? Uh... Sure. Okay. He he just popped one off though. It went down. You saw it go down. Oh, I see this thing down here. But he tells you it won't stay down for long. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell him I, that I he needs to come with us. A, we're going to need additional navigation. B, the intelligence he has is now basically vital. And then hey. C, he's also a direct line of communication I, for the surviving forces. I think, I think Minus 60, because... Go ahead, okay. Because he's, he's determined to see this through. Oh, great success. A critical success. <laughs> that is an 8.9. Oh, okay, God. so he hears you, so... Uh... I am speaking from the heart and telling him that he that he is needed with us to help guide us and to pass on intelligence. And that, uh, although it is noble to die for the Emperor rather than live for yourself, discretion is the better part of valor. Sweet. But he did still shoot one, so he is going to now back off. They don't see you guys, though. They only know of him. So this, this got a stalker so guy, this, he doesn't see me yet, right? So I can try my mighty uh, Malta gun. Oh, I mean, at this point, if we're going to get in combat, we're now set up to flank. Combat, you say? It looks like we're set to flank if we're if it's yep. going to go, quote, loud. And so, if we have to go loud, we could probably neutralize it kind of quickly. Yeah, Hold I'm guessing my, now. On the roll, yeah, let me reinitiate roll 20. It did some weird stuff. I can't. Click things, it's really weird. If it makes you feel better, my the, some of the stuff's acting a little weird on my end too. Right, I was like, what the? I couldn't click or move anything. I, I for whatever I have reason have to control over me. whoever this is. I that's a uh, Valor. I gave access to everyone so you could see his vision. Ah. Oh, but you, I forgot. Yeah. I have a <laughs> plus thirty to security tests, and I can unlock nearly any Imperial lock, seal, or automated defense system. Right, so go ahead and... I forgot I have that on me. <laughs> I guess roll for for your guys' initiative. Uh, should we do a uh, surprise round on it first? Or... Yeah, we should get a surprise round. Uh... 
It is no, 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 no. seven, seven plus twelve. Last. So nineteen. Initiative only matters after the surprise round, anyway. So we get to basically pick. Oh, wrong one. Where's me? What is it? Is it? Oh no. That, okay, it didn't put me in there. You have did to uh, select your character and then roll the initiative. I did. Oh. I mean, I did the math on it anyways. It'd be the... What did I roll the first time I rolled? There we go. Eight. Eight plus twelve. Twenty. Where the f... I'm just not Oops. showing up. Unless it's... Is this me? This... Oh, no. This is me. Okay. How did I just get teleported back here? I'm confused. Oh, why it just teleported me back here? That's weird. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was up at the front, and then suddenly I'm back here. I was like, what? Uh, I mean, I guess they would be rookies when compared to you, but yes, Karnoff, they'll do that. What? They wouldn't have as much battle battlefield experience as you, but they are pretty... Uh, the top-notch guys so boko do we have any stats on the gloom stalker do we know what its armor is or anything like that you're gonna sit here and analyze it or you're gonna fight it um i mean we're gonna fight it okay you can, you but, can take some time to analyze it spend your turn doing like lore checks and see what you know about it well we did do a lore check and we succeeded that's why i'm asking yeah, yeah. additional lore ah There, no more confusion for you. It is, because every mutant variant is different. Got it. So you know generally that you do not want to be hit by these things. Uh, and they're... Whose model is this up here? Because I have the ability they're... to move four models right now. That is sure. a trainee. That is another trainee. Okay, who's the blue one then? I made one blue. To Derek, blue is me. I am blue. Okay. Oh, I thought we were engaging everybody. No, no, yeah, I we mean, are. you, him distracting allowed you to move over there without failing. Okay. There you okay. go. Okay, so that now the trainees are green and blue. Which makes it a little bit easier to fucking see shit. Who's got the big heavy cannon? I got the uh, multi multa. You said you wanted to try it out on... A big boy. Yeah. Well, if we're going, going to combat, might as well I can give it a first shot and see how much damage it really takes for them to go down since I'm 5D 10 plus 5. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, nasty weapon you got there. Nasty oh, for it's them. Nasty if it's, it's nasty for them. Great for us. Yeah. I got a pretty high damage silent pistol. Three shot burst. Well, so far the theme of this mission seems to be glass cannon enemies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want me to take a shot with a silenced pistol, see if it kills it immediately? Sure. Oh, oh, so, yeah, we are trying to stealth here. Pew pew. Exodus. A really good roll. What's the damage total? All aiming at the head, by the way. Got 14 it. 14 pen, damn. Uh, 40, 50, it's, 60, 70. It looks pissed off. Uh-oh. Oh. Off. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Minus 26. That's... Minus another 26. And minus 33. Yeah, it looks... 
I guess you think it looks hurt? You You what? You cut out. I think Boko's internet is shitting the bed again. It shouldn't be shit. Oh, it's the Alabama no. internet. Now we hear. Uh, can you hear of... me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, it looks pissed off. Let's do it. What? Looks it's pissed just... off, and then. It looks pissed off. You can tell you did damage to it, Moth. Right, big no. holes, big holes in it, but it's looking glaring at you. So oh, that uh, was a silent pistol, by the way. Right. It's still glaring at you. Oof. Hey, yeah. Uh, also, a Bloom Stalker, they should have the ability to, like, they don't need sight or sound. Like, they can just detect stuff. Yep. Oh, true sight bullshit. Um, Boom. it's it lives in the underdark it? of the underhive. Right. To it, you were extremely I loud know. with that pistol. It's like, you sack of shit. I'll also start using the multi multa. Right. And you no. see it in its hands. It has like a, it looks like a Chaos Marines just chowing down on it. Or the was gloom. chowing down on it until you shot it. Ooh. The Gloom Stalker is a translucent sack of shit. So, yeah. So, what are you shooting at? What's this one? Okay. Oh, oh, it also has additional 1d10 disclose. close. Jerome. Okay. You see it go down, blow up or whatever. Start melted. melted. Yeah. That's what you see. Boom. I have the universal solution if we need it. It's just, do you want me to use it? Well, there's two dead ones What's the down solution? there. Use that, it's a void grenade. That would make it. That would erase it from existence. I imagine. Yes. Yes, it does. But as soon as I throw that, it's a. We're running now. What's yeah. the radius on that what's, thing? What's the radius? Um. No. 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 It's not because of the radius. It's because it moves. Oh. Yeah. Vortex no, grenades. They're, they're... When you throw them, they create a bubble of warp. You get one chance to dodge if you if you're on the edge. If you fail, you're gone. But Over every dead. turn, let's not use those. Yeah, but if you, but every turn, I think it's a one d ten meters or some shit. I'll, I'll pull it up again in a second. It literally like, doing 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 goes moving around. Uh, yeah. Vortex grenade has a radius of three meters. Anyone within the rate, anyone within this area can spend his reaction to attempt a dodge out of it before the rift forms. Those who fail, along with everything else in the area, are dragged into the warp, never to be seen again. Each round, the vortex swings in and out of existence as a 50% chance of closing permanently. Otherwise, it reappears 2d10 meters in a random direction from its last manifestation. <laughs> and it just dong, 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 bounces so around. Who feels lucky by playing pinball? Basically, no. it's uh, I, I, I love these things. Because when shit gets real, just yeet it down a hallway and run like fuck. Those are vortex, right? That vortex is a vortex. Grenade. Specifically, I'm uh, I brought a couple nihilus pattern vortex grenades. Nihilus. <laughs> it yeah, literally like nihilus. Hey. All right, who's up next to to do stuff? Uh, who needs to do stuff? So we killed the one gloom stalker. Is there still the other one down there? Uh, the other one yeah. appears dead, but there might be more. Well, there's three that are down there, so there should oh, be more. Uh, he did inform me these things regenerate, and you don't really kill kill them. He says he doesn't know where, where these things came from, but uh, other than they come from deep down dodge. below. Okay, hang on. Which way do we need to go? Right. We need, to go he we need to go here, or we need to go here? I think he was saying oh. up somewhere. There. Oh, oh. oh there you go. That way. Okay. And just press forward. Yeah. Alternatively, <laughs> I can yeet a grenade down there. Let's move on, and then yeet the grenade after <laughs> yeah. clear. Two, okay, because 2d10, the most it could go in one turn is... Uh, I don't know if you can see this. So, you see. Engaging, are you engaging the other one? The other one seems to not even care that his two guys oh, died and it's just no. munching on stuff. 
not nope. even gonna worry about it then. If yeah, it do, if it comes down to it, it, yeah. If it comes to it, I can eat a grenade. <laughs> right. <laughs> it will eat the passage behind us. There will not be a path out. Huh. I see it's all so... your mines from the last game. Oh, oh no. the mines? There shouldn't be any mines. Do you mean that X? All of those scribbles. Why'd you? Go oh. Out? There we go. And I didn't. I can just see through the wall, apparently. Oh, uh, that's that the that is that That used that to is be Ancius. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ancius is dead body. <laughs> He's here again, guys. Guys, I found them. Scout, what do you see? Bad things happen in threes. Uh. Scout. No. Not All right. again. Go forth with the lieutenant. Lieutenant, right. stick with. Uh... Is that the barricade from last time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, there is a the guy there, and there is a barricade Shit, right there. Guys, three void cannons. Grab them. No. So there's a Which barricading guy, but no void cannons. Said it. No, no, no. You just the cannons see a are there. They're just these you ones just... are actually real. Right. You just see a bunch of normal-looking guys coming out with like, looks like shotguns, primitive weapons. Um, I see a bunch of normal-looking guys. Looks like shotguns with primitive weapons. Are they, are they God, friendly? Void grenade, void grenade, quick. Lieutenant, stick with Brother Rookateel. You two will be their scouts. Right. You do not have permission to die. The Emperor has need of you. That's what I was saying earlier. <laughs> that was the actual sentence. It is Rookateel, yeah? Yes. Okay. Or Virlo. Virlo's the uh, given name and Rookateel's the surname. Okay. I got a little bit creative with the naming convention because he's a Raven Guard. You can attempt to deceive them. Alt, who goes there? Low Gothic. Uh, we can can normal, I respond in high normal Gothic? Normal human beings, just like any other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I respond in high gothic? Actually, fuck it. I'm responding in high gothic. Give me a second. I have prepared quotes. Uh, in nomine vestaris, in nomen patris. <laughs> Grand flame. <laughs> uh, we understand what he's saying. You guys right. understand what I said. I don't know if they do or not. Oh, well, they did. Clearly they didn't. This one seems retarded. Clearly they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't understand, but we understand what they're saying. I mutter under my breath, silly, silly humans. Identify yourselves. Are you speaking a little gothic? This one yeah, seems so retarded, gothic, just like the other guys in that gothic. fancy metal stuff. <laughs> What's it too, retard? <laughs> That's how he says it too. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like, are these gangers? I I feel like these are gangers. Scrutiny. Do a scrutiny check. <laughs> I did not grow up on a hive. What's uh? You want to see how shitty my scrutiny is? <laughs> you discern <laughs> that they are. You discern that these are just lost children, and they have fancy little toys. <laughs> Nothing more. You can't discern normal human, child, so you're like, ah, oh, they just must kids. be Odrin children if how tall they are. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I didn't eat a grenade at them. <laughs> um, okay. Um, you mean you don't like eating grenades at children? Whoa. Oh my god. They're pretty short people. They're about like if you had to esti estimate them, they're under five foot five. So Prasora, <laughs> having understood what hive worlds are, you know these are these are uh, um, just poor people. Okay. Uh, guys, they're poor. They're <laughs> <laughs> oh, not yeah, children. What is, what is okay. Poor. They're, un they're well, un I'm just gonna. Okay, go ahead. What yeah, they just poor. live in underbelly. They're they're the they're the rags of society. They um, do the, all the menial tasks to keep the city, you know, 
going. So they I don't know what the communism, is. All the things are given to us by the emperor. I don't understand this poor. Right, They're right. given exactly <laughs> what they need. Kneel down, down with, with their height. Their, you know the uh, how the rich not talk to short people. Servitors. You know how the quote uh, how not to talk to short people meme where they like you li you can lift up the person and talk to them, kneel down to them, all that shit. <laughs> That's what's going through my head right now. I'm gonna kind of kneel down You're... to look them in the face. Oh my god. No! Not yet! <laughs> Stand by! Stand by! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> is this... <laughs> this is going through my head! It's an argument with a servant's <laughs> arm! Whoever <laughs> <laughs> made her servitor uh, did a really bad job. Uh, yeah, that's a dead guy now, but you can't see it. But I'm rolling my eyes like behind my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't even know the. the None of you know happening. that this is going on back oh, in. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just see the turret like whir back up to life, start scanning back and forth, and then it goes. Mm. Oh, man, that, that would have... He just created a threat to them. Do you have food? You know, food retarded it! <laughs> uh, oh, like what are you still doing here? <laughs> I think you're the only one who's retarded it. <laughs> Makes food motion to mouth. <laughs> uh. No, we do not have food. We shit in our suits and it gets recycled into nutrients. Oh, good thing I did not eat. <laughs> did I bring food? I don't remember if I brought food. We should all have just some. basic yeah. rations and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out a I'm baby one of my rations. just pull a pin on a grenade and go, here, eat this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I can just light up like on. a beacon. I'm going to hand them a food, uh, a ration. Or do we have the other metal man spank to you? Spank. Oh, no. he's, he's, oh, he's, gone. Gone. he's gone. Sorry, Freudian I slips. I obsession there with uh, spanking. But... Freudian I'm slip. Very, <laughs> I'm very interested here. <laughs> Who is this metal man you speak of? I say after I gave them a uh, full ration. Uh, okay. Or I can just say, Lieutenant, do you know anything about... Well, that's going to be on the Vox comms to him. Lieutenant, what do you know about these people? Uh, let's see. Oh. Hey, they're with me. I had no idea you captured someone. Low-level scrugs of society. He's telling you, he's telling you what they are. They're low-level scrugs of society. Uh... I said mm. that already. They're poor. Yeah, yeah but no, we didn't I know what poor meant. Him. So I now they're. I explained that to you. They're they're essentially <laughs> servitors to rich people. <laughs> okay, some of us. Are poor. Some of us. <laughs> what uh, is rich? What, what is, is rich? capitalism? <laughs> rich would essentially be what you are. Hey, uh, can whoever's back there seal that door? Then why are they calling us retarded, asking for whoever, food? They should be a, serving us. Over this, seal that door, please. Thank you. Should we get the people in the room out of the room before we close them off? Right. No, 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 no. Because back behind you is where the thing we just pissed off is. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, there's three people right here that are on our team, and if we oh. shut the door right here, they're stuck. I can't, I can't see back that far. Then yeah, shut. We ah. can shut that door back there. Then I'll go over and shut the door back there. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just kind of randomly just turning and say we should seal that door. Before we right. get into it, uh, uh, like that. do not understand and anticipate. They're no real threats, but do not underestimate them. They've been acquiring things from what I gather. They got me a lot of my intel. So hmm. don't feed them with grenades. No, that means. So I'm going to turn back. Not to yet. The, I, hear, <laughs> I, I hear. He's speaking. He's speaking to you in high man. gothic, by the way. This is our only way through uh, as well. They Excellent. saved a lot okay. of people as well from the surface. 
I'm going to turn back to the uh, Scregs, as you called them, and in low gothic. My friend tells me I owe you thanks. I'm going to pull out another nutrition packet and some water. I sealed in my suit. I don't need it right now. Someone, someone, someone else, give me some other Thank water. Thank you, retard. If we need it, we're, we have bigger problems. I pull up and I uh, give them my rations of water. There we go. Uh, let's see. So the lieutenant's probably going to have really good relations with them. Um, lieutenants, I don't know if you're been made aware of the entire reason we're here. Anyways, are you speaking about the 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 Katie and the um? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured. Uh, Eric, ladies, do you want to tell? the lieutenants why we're here private box not not the open box uh, yeah yeah they they let you through by the way so. okay cool. uh so i'm going to open up the vox a vox channel to the lieutenant i'm going to talk while we move if i can find my damn character did you guys want to investigate the metal man they spoke of Yes, I was. I, I, I think I'm not. I don't remember if I asked that. He, or not. he did ask. Yes. Okay. Who yeah, they didn't say. They didn't say anything. Um, right, but then he turned the cherry on and said, "Do you know what he's talking about?" No, he didn't know what they're talking about. All right. So well, we might need to proceed with caution. Then this metal yeah, man could let's be ask chaos. him about this metal man, and then someone fill in the Cadian about the the reason we're here. I tell him enough to know that we're looking for people and we need to be to go to the, uh, right. the center of that. Yeah, they're going to take you to the metal man. They said, yeah, they chained him up good. They got him. So, and hmm. then they disappeared through the fucking wall. <laughs> Shouldn't be the, the wall. The door's closed. Oh. I hit the button to open it. Yeah. <laughs> Door, doors I got, hang on, hang on. Seal, those, seal those other doors behind us, too. No, this, no this they, actually... they were... They refuse to sh sh shut these areas. It's a, it's an open way. It's a barricade. They open up the barricade to let you in. They open the door. They take you to the metal man. They captured. Uh, okay. Uh, and I'm you see, pursue. you see, definitely a chaos guy. Uh, he is in obviously not. He is in a big f off battle suit. I know nothing about what chat, what legion he was very well. Uh, so you see him, you see that battle suit's chained up and pierced into the, the pillar there. It is, what, it's, it's what you guys would jump in. It's not quite a dreadnought, but it's a big ass battle suit. Is what you guys are seeing. You mean like Terminator armor? Not Terminator armor. Cause that'd be like the only real thing with, between a dreadnought and a normal space marine. There is a there is a battle suit that Space Marines apparently that's, can get into. That's in forty second millennium. Yeah, that's oh oh. The, I understand. Yeah, that, that's but that's what you 10. see. That's what you oh, see. I'm it's similar to it. that. Right. Got it. He's heresy within heresy. Right. Exactly. Remember the warp does funny workshop. things. He is Games Workshop incarnate. Right. Yes. He's from the future. Possibly. Does he have any obvious weapons that they forgot to remove? You don't see anything. Is there someone in the suit? Yeah, he's looking right at you. He didn't say anything yet. Quick, take his helmet off. All right, well, the only good uh, Chaos Marine is a dead Chaos Marine. Oh, let's see what he knows. I've been waiting for you. Um... No, he doesn't sound like that. I was about to say, why the fuck are we dealing with Kermit the Frog? He looks, he, looks, he looks directly at you, you know, like he said, I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting, I've been waiting for, for you. you. Yeah. This is not the, the, the so sister that you ordered. <clears throat> and he tells you he is comes from... Right? Yeah, he tells you he comes from the, uh, comes from the warp itself, distant future, uh... 
his chaos gods brought him here, and he just, yeah, and he's happy you came. Okay, you just see a, kill him. You just see a smile on his face as like I'm happy you came. <laughs> From the distant future, which even if it was in the distant future, Chaos Marines still wouldn't have the Battle Arms Space Marines had. You don't know He's where he came the 43rd from. Forty third millennium, right? Very distant. You don't. You've never seen. But anyways, um... is that right? From the future. Well, time for you to go back to the future. <laughs> oh God, he's Anseus Four. Anseus Four. That's hilarious. No. <laughs> uh... I'm back. Uh, Tell uh, me, why are you so Mark's future target to see me? Oh, they've been wanting to collect your guys' uh, skulls, and you're very worthy opponents. They heard of your uh, renown through the ages, even in their century. And they said. They've been setting up this trap for quite some time. Ah, I see. Ah, so now that we know that the trap that we knew that was a trap is a trap. Not a trap. It's to lure you guys in. It wasn't a trap trap. They don't know. I mean, they wanted to kill you guys. The only way to bring you there is to, once they realized, you guys are able to discern, once they realized who they're dealing with, they didn't outright kill your librarians. So... And he's sent as a vanguard of what's to come. So he let himself be taken by these fools. Interesting. Why tell us this at all? Because he's a defector. Oh. A defector of the chaos? Hmm? He wishes defector to make... The chaos? No. He, w he wants to make things right. Essentially, what he's telling you, but he's glad you came. So, make what right? Yeah, that's all he tells you. I say we shoot him. Scrutiny check. Yeah, for sure. Scrutinizing. <laughs> all right. Yeah, the scrutinizer. Do the inquisitorial scrutinizing things. Inquisitor, inquisitorize him. Inquisitorate. All right, why kill him. him. <laughs> All right, that was terrible. Uh, so you gonna better. shoot him in the head? You gonna shoot him in the head? Uh, uh yeah. Pull, double he has, double like, the pistol blast straight to the face. You don't need. You don't need to do anything. I mean, he has no helmet on, but he isn't as. Say, can one not use foresight to try and like glean information behind the scenes? Oh wait, I have a thing that might help with this. Yeah, um, it's almost like we have a librarian. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I took any of the powers that do help any of this shit. But no. I did, though. I have the reading ability. Yeah, I'm about to say, I know you have that because you've used it. So I'm going to use reading on him. Quick, quick, look into his mind and read it. That, that's... it that's not what that ability does. Yeah, that's no. Um, it's, it's a joke. What are the modifiers, Boko? Minus 40. Okay, so just a minus 20. Got it. All of a sudden, Boko just sounded really depressed. No. I succeeded. So what does this do again? I you're trying to do? Again. Yeah, yeah. Just let me know and I'll give you all the information you need. I'm trying to find my goddamn foresight, too. I, the book only shows one thing, but I know I found I pulled it from here earlier. Actually, wait. There. By the way, just a heads up, we have been going for four and a half hours at this point. And? Yeah. I, I, I'm going to be stopping soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Same. We can, stop. We can probably right, stop. So, we can probably stop after you talk to this guy. My psychic rating is now 8+, plus, so I get everything on this table. Okay. I gain superficial impressions about the person. Uh, this includes the three strongest emotion that the subject is currently experiencing, his race, whether or not he has any psychic powers, and a rough idea of his mental state and physical well-being. Lastly, I can determine whether he is an untouchable or not. Then, not as above, plus, the psychic gets a deeper insight into all the target's feelings and gains a plus 10 to all fellowship tests. He makes it against the target while reading is active. The psychic also gets a better idea about the target's physical, or, yeah, physical state, including his current wounds and fatigue levels. Finally, if the target has psychic abilities, I can know his power and his psychic rating. 
Okay. Um, also, as all of that, plus I can determine how many insanity points he has, as well as which addictions or madness he might be suffering from. If the target oh. has psychic abilities, I can determine which disciplines they're from. And then, because I'm super amazing, all of that, plus the psyker determines how many corruption points the target has. Also, the psyker can determine if the aura is genuine or has been produced by some other means. Damn. Got it. Sweet. Uh, so his first and foremost emotion is rage. Biggest emotion you get from him. Second one is rage? happiness. So you said rage? rage? Yeah. He's rage full and happiness. Of it is okay. corn. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rage and happiness. Uh, <laughs> well, what else do you get? Do you get to like, get an idea of like... Well, what's, what's his third greatest emotion? Uh, let's see. Rage, horny. happiness. No, not horny. Uh, <laughs> That's projection. No. Well, I mean, if he's if he no. truly felt that he wanted mournful. to correct his sins, yeah, 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 yeah. So mournful. Yeah. Mournful. Mournful. Okay. And then, what else do you get? Can you dive deeper? Uh. Well, basically, I just have a strong understanding of his feelings. Uh, also, I get to know how corrupted he is and how insane he is, and specifically what corruptions and or uh, insanities and madness is and afflictions he's suffering from. As you can tell, none. He has Is corruption, it? though. He has a bit of corruption. How much corruption? Uh, Enough that he's a heretic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's one. That's one. But I want to know how corrupted this guy is. Uh, one point in. It's a heretic. Only one point. That's not. That's not very corrupt at all. One no, point it's not. isn't even enough to be a fucking chaos marine. Yeah. So he only that's has one has. point. Mm-hmm. Okay. That explains why I rolled so shitty on the heresy. Hmm. What else, you just, what else can you decipher from that? Uh, if he has any insanity points, but he said he didn't. Uh, nope, no insanity. And if he's a psyker at all. Not a psyker. Okay. That's it. Okay. Uh, Does his armor look super corrupted? Yes. He definitely looks chaotic, chaotic forces. Very large. Towers over you guys with that battle suit on. You guys have never seen it, but... Before. So. But that's what I'm describing to you. That's what you see. And he's chained to that thing. And very spears and other implements. Uh, you know there's no wounds on him at all. He looks to be in perfect health. Well, in that case... Why don't you help us... By giving us as much information as you can about what we are about to face. Why would I disrupt your destiny? Because you said you wanted to fix things, didn't you? I did, and I am doing it now. Well, you're already disrupting it. As, as much as he needs to, is what he tells you. Mm-hmm. I try and fellowship him to convince him to tell us more. That okay. doesn't work, I'll try. Uh, and I get a plus 10 on this. Minus 40 on this one. I get a minus 30 on this. <laughs> <laughs> I would get a... <clears throat> well, you can try after this. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, hang on. Let me Damn. let me see what would be... I need a 17 or less. Applicable. Give me a second. All right, so that's plus 20. Uh, that's... That'd be a plus 10. Alright, I'm just gonna straight up use this. And you said it's a minus 40? Mm hmm. Try this one. Very well. Anything else? You guys gonna fate point or use anything else? Uh, you might if I try to do the fellowship. Uh, so I can go yeah, for I it. Use it. I could also use a fate point as well. I can intimidate him into giving us information. Hey, it probably I won't work. Else to mess with uh, well, well, I can try a command. It'll be a straight. Boom. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Nice. He kind of looks at you, and he thinks, and he gleans. And what are you trying to do again with him? What are we trying to convince him of? To just take information or to work yeah, with him? Yeah, you? tell us everything that we're about to encounter. I mean, <laughs> oh, he said he, he just he just says uh, your doom, and then uh, and he's trying to correct that. 
Well, if you're trying to correct my doom, then tell us anything worth you staying alive for three seconds longer. He's just buying time. Kill him now. He's buying Welcome time to? for the chaos, or he's buying time for us? Are you gonna ask that? Yeah. No, he's he's buying time for the chaos. And he says for you. Okay, but from what? He doesn't. He doesn't say anything else. <laughs> I can't tell you. Is what he tells you. You guys gonna try to get out of him? You gonna kill him? What are you guys gonna do? We gotta get out of him. Waiting, waiting for some ticket taffy typing. We'll get out of him, and if he refuses to tell us, we're probably gonna kill him. He's already refused to tell us. I say, don't, don't tell him. Granted, that. we're not telling him that. Oh, we're just killing him now. All right. It, he's, right. He's not telling us shit, so. Right. Ah, he told you. He told you enough. Um, enough to kill him. Right. So while you're granting him the uh, emperor's mercy. Yep. Yep. Sweet. He's dead. Ah, uh, I want to use the Malta. <laughs> well, can I with... use the Malta? The Invictor. That's that's what I'm. No, as soon as well, yeah, as soon as you do that, right? That you see that suit <laughs> open up and hit that Space Marine fall out of that suit. Dibs. Is the Space Marine dead? Dibs. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, oh, that is okay. like heavily corrupted armor, though. You sure you want to just hop in it without... I didn't yeah. say I'm hopping in it. I'm just calling dips. It. I'm not getting in it. I'm just calling dips. Oh, so are you going to put it in your mobile pocket, are you? It's going to yes. be a trophy. <laughs> Some, I mean, if it's... you want that thing, somebody's going to need to get in it. He, he's going to put it in his bag of holding. Also, with the two multi belts burning into it to kill him, I'm pretty sure it's unusable. You shot him in the head, right? Yeah, they shot him in the head. So. Right. So the the suit just you just see it kind of open up like a shell. The suit's untouched and hit the space head. The space marine falls out. That's what you see. By the way, dude, I believe your damage type is incorrect on the multi melt. It should be an energy weapon. Oh yes. Not explosive. And in it, and in it, you see kind of like uh, symbols and engravings and uh, various things inside that suit. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's super fucking corrupt. Got it. Yeah. Well, no, no. no. Uh, this this, this, should so be this energy. Window, I'm claiming this to go within a Death Watch vault, uh, to be researched and dissected, and then on it can be resanctified. Carry this shit out. <laughs> no, no, no. If we get a chance, that's what I'm claiming this for for later. All right. Keeper duties. Sure. Actual. Say, no, no, no. That's actually a thing that they do. They watch over the vaults. Like, mm -hmm. So there's a subsection of the uh, tech priest, the Mechanicus, that actually takes like Alien and Xenos stuff and re-sanctifies it and then like tries to break it down to make new stuff. That's how if they the got Death the, uh, the assassin to, place. If they wish to send another team out there to collect this one suit, then they absolutely can. Uh, okay, oh. cool. Yeah, all right, so I don't... I don't recognize anything nope. uh, that's happening there. Sweet. So, um, you say real quick, energy? Real quick, before we do anything else, I'm going to carve a divine symbol into the armor. Okay. What does that do? It makes it immune to possession. Okay. And then I'm, one more thing. One yeah. more thing. Energy is a type energy or plasma. Or the multimoto. Type energy. It, Type its energy. Yeah, and I'm going to use the clavis to actually, like, put a lock on the suit, too. So, are you investigating the suit at all? Uh, we're going to, but... I, I, I had done a, a warp check on it to see if... Yeah, he's doing a warp check, and I was going to lock but it. But I failed. Drastically. Uh, oh, you, you want needed... a modifier on that? <laughs> you want a fate point? No, I can uh, give you a modifier on that, plus... Plus 30, because you're, you're a little reading on that guy. Alright, so plus 30, and anyone want to give me a fate point to reroll uh, this? you got one. Sweet. Uh, plus your fate point gives you another plus 10, yay. Yep. Okay. Hey, nice. uh, so are you using your psychic ability in this thing and scanning it and all that stuff? Yeah, the whole shebang. 
Okay, so you're able to glean a little bit that somehow the Emperor has touched this. Blessed it. What? At some point. Mm. I just did that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know. Okay. I, 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 I Emperor has touched. Oh, but yeah, yeah, you just blessed it. All right. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Before, <laughs> you, <laughs> Before you even touch it, right, you could tell that it's, <laughs> that this guy was telling the truth. It comes from somewhere in the distant future. And that at some point, the Emperor has touched this armor. So, why the fuck he did just, we kill him again? Because he's chaos, and he's just delaying. Yeah, he's still chaos. Out. You can tell he's definitely corrupt. Uh, okay. This suit, well, he, it definitely... He was corrupted. Do you not see the chaos sigils adorning this armor? Brothers, yeah. he had one point of corruption. You don't... Yeah. What does one point mean, and how... Where did you hear one point of corruption from? I don't well, know. I don't know it's just an idea that I've had. Right. Uh, so you can definitely tell this was used for chaotic, chaotic shit. Um, it's also been touched by the Emperor at some point. Damn. Can it be, with my check, can it be purified? As far as you know, it is not that corrupt. So it that could been, be. That's been, been blessed before by something. So what you're saying is... One of us before can say were blessed by the emperor before they turned to corruption. Right. So what you're saying but is this after suit... the heresy, you can tell it was corrupt, and that something sanctified it. And okay, so Boko, just to be oh, clear, wait. what you're saying right. is, if someone wanted to occupy this armor, we wouldn't get corrupted by chaos, right? Since it's I blessed. didn't say that. Okay. <sighs> it's not. Well, there are right, two right, right. of you that are immune huh. to demonic possession and yeah. have heavy resistance right now. Uh, for, so first, I can so easily. I want to clarify something Boko said. All right. You said that it was seemed to be have been blessed after corruption. Yeah. Correct. So something okay. has touched it, but it, you're, you have mixed. And it's not for Sora. <laughs> it's not <Double> for Sora. <laughs> right. So you have you have uh, you're getting mixed signals from this thing. It's very confusing to your guy. It's, right. Is, is so it, it one of these seems things that's supposed to for everyone else that this armor here has at one point absolutely been corrupted to hell. Then, some point after it was corrupted, and before this one touched it, it seems to have been blessed by the Emperor. <gasps> and then this one touched it, adding further blessings of the Emperor. So he may not have been entirely lying, but <laughs> his unforthcoming led to his own demise. That he was absolutely corrupted as well. And if he was from the future, then he obviously knew it was happening anyway. So that's yeah, he could have told us and actually, you know, helped in some kind of a way. He just decided not to. So he, he and it could that. be perhaps he wanted us to put it out of his misery, or it's just stalling for more time and we're wasting time. So what but I'm, I'm putting it out here. I believe the suit could be useful for us. Right. And you want me to tell you, since you killed him, you kind of killed that pathway anyways, but I can tell you kind of like what was going to go down. Sure. Sure. Okay. But we'll get into here. Um. But I'll tell you after you make your guys' decision. Time cops what to do. part one. And now. So, oh, what decision dead. are we making? He's already dead. If we're going to use the suit or not. Uh, I mean, okay. I have the clavis. Oh yeah, the clavis. If you anyone's going to use it, it's probably going to be Krom because uh, his house gotta... has been is immune to possession at the moment thanks to Prisora. You and are he's also Karnoff. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, no, but Karnoff would not touch that. Yeah, right. I'm immune to possession. I have pl like pluses to mind control as well. I have a clavis which like which gives me like like a plus thirty to tech use. Like, <laughs> if, uh, yeah, it's. Do I try and get in the suit? I'm presuming, is it one of those two suits I just put in the chat? Victor right. Tech, a war suit, or a centurion suit. Is it one of those? So you're going to do scrutiny, or are you guys going to investigate it before you do the anything? The one who's got the good, the good, good roll. <laughs> I got oh, really bad scrutiny. Well, well, you, get a tech you could do a lore roll on that. Uh, that's right. Uh, well, what? No, it's from the future. It's from the future. Oh. No one's going to know what it oh, is. Oh, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I, I can't do a tech really roll. closely. Uh, what the fuck is, Wait, can, is there can, a manual on the inside somewhere? Can't the true sight <laughs> see that this came from the future and see somewhat what happened to it? 
That's a good what question. What is True Sight? True Sight. Can True Sight figure out what happened to this armor? Who has True Sight? That's a good question. Or Foresight, you mean? Or Foresight? Foresight. No, that's telling the future. I don't see how that would help you tell you what it well, is. Well, it's from the future. Can we it's... look far enough into the future to see it no. in action? No. <laughs> oh, we're looking. How are you rolling what? against a zero? <laughs> did you Wait, roll? What? Did you roll for Ben Lore again, or? Oh, uh, because no, he's not trained. I know. I, no, I well, am. Is just, I just half of your score, though. No, no, no I, I know why. I fucking. Because I never put the fucking thing for me wearing the clavis. I just hit the roll as if I was wearing it. Oh. Because I'm a fucking idiot. Don't Ooh. mind me. I'm just being stupid. I'm going to try. I'm going to actually do this again. So I'm not rolling against the zero if you don't mind. Yep, that's fine. Brothers, we have company to the south. Again. There you go. It's like they're backing up. Not that's that's with the clavis. No, no, no. I, it's well, you, hard rolled to, a, you rolled a 31 the first so, time. So looking oh, at you guys, it's hard to rotate. Oh, actually, what, wait, what's the button to rotate? Uh, hold E and then scroll wheel. Okay. Yeah, well, either way, you would have succeeded. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You just see a gaggle of uh, people coming in. Are they good people or bad people? He That's said gaggle, so. You see <laughs> the same people. You, you get, yeah, whatever. You see the same people, more people of that. I said, oh, I guess what the guy said was true. That's what, uh, what you hear from the group of people what do you say hmm. huh oh that uh that Bingo, some Bingo. yeah some dude's gonna blow his head off something like some that effect what no he didn't he didn't have a head when we got here <laughs> right. he didn't have a helmet <laughs> right yeah, 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 yeah. Where is oh, or a head yeah yeah he didn't uh, have yeah, a helmet totally don't worry guys we totally didn't blow his head off find the said... helmet save the future no i said you no, know, they told you that there'd be some metal men coming, and we didn't believe them. Guess the guess what he said was true. All right, if do we do we see anything wrong with trying to me get inside the suit? Has anyone got any good rolls, tech rolls, fails? Keepers are uh, I, I, gotta, I, can, I can do a tech roll. Yeah. Oh, I have a four point six for Karen observation. On look at it. Yeah, yeah. Ken succeeded. Okay. He has the clavis. Uh, so you don't even recognize what the technology is per se. You know it is definitely Space Marine origin of some sort because it's built for a suit. Uh, and then Brasora, what's that? Four six four point six four observation. Yeah, just looking at it. I guess. Holy fucking Dominego! God uh, damn! Uh, like, this suit is for me. It is mine. And <laughs> Man, it's right. a fucking so, tech marine. I never got rolls that high. Jesus. So, <laughs> Brasora, you see a, a mix you did. of. Of symbols, both <laughs> chaos and uh, imperial markings as well in there. They've they, some you've never even seen before. You can even fathom what they are, but you recognize that they're uh, imperial inspired of some sort. And then Dominagus, you have no clue what this thing is, and it's a big battle suit. I am trained in tech use. I understand. Okay. Your character doesn't know what it is. Yeah, tech right, use. Whoop that 8.4, would he know how to use it? He would understand that you can jump. He, seeing what the other guy did, he'd understand if you were to jump into it that it so it has some mechanism to, you know, pilot it. Like, kind of like a mech. So, he imagines um, it's similar to that, but you're unsure of the technology behind it. You've never seen it before. Well, the Death Watch don't shy away from using unfamiliar technology. Right. So what I'm hearing is group consensus. I get in the suit. Yes, yeah. I agree. Alternatively, we could do something crazy, and I can get in the suit. Yeah, because Moth is immune to fucking it's built for a space, space marine. marine. Yeah, you have to be a space marine. I'm immune I did to possession. Say crazy. I'm immune to possession. I've got massive resistances to mind control, as it is, anyways. And you're uh, positive. You're, you're positive. You're going to do this, right? Uh, I'm conf I'm conferring with the people around me. If yeah, Boko's but... asking, that means there might be some unforeseen consequences. Yeah, I know. Okay. If you, well, you basically, he would it. never. He would well, never. Is it? <laughs> do we take the weapon Boko just gave us, or do we leave it behind? Yeah, that's up to you. Yeah. yeah he, I say we take it. I say we yeah, take, take it. it. Worst Ever. thing that happens, he gets zapped into the future, and we never see him again. Yeah. 
Okay. How many people say uh, leave it? Nay. I think that settles that. Damn. Oh, okay. So <laughs> up to you. <laughs> It's really up to you, man. Brother, I get in the suit. What are character. you waiting for? We're taking for? ten minutes to uh, fully get the entire bonus actually. of uh, foresight. Yep. Because I'm already anticipating you're going to make me roll something. What would Karnoff I mean, you're not going to roll anything. You don't know if you're going to roll anything. would say nay. Just okay. in case. Oh, Karnoff. Karnoff. Okay, so one person says no. Yeah. But, like, his opinion just doesn't even matter. That's why you're listening. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Damn. who... Who's jumping? <laughs> Who's jumping in the thing? <laughs> Who's Scared jumping me. in? I thought Scared we me. determined it go. was Trom. Yeah. Yeah, let me know what? when someone jumps in it. Ah, oh, boy. What am I rolling? Are you jumping in it? All signs currently point to yes. Trying so, to recover this suit. So it's up to you. You can do an uh, agility check to jump out of it as soon as this thing starts closing on you. Is that what it's supposed to do? Right, but that's what it's supposed to do. Right, Right. so it's up to you. So you have that opportunity. This is your last chance to say no. <laughs> right. Because your character has now jumped into the thing, right? I imagine. In your suit. I'm, yeah, now you've got me fucking sitting here... Yeah, nah. you make me paranoid. Right, exactly. He does this all the time. He does this for good things, too. Right. So. It's really, really good things. He does this, too. He did this to Parker to get those ancient mech suits. Yeah. It mech almost. Suits. Boko's just <laughs> getting us to second guess ourselves, or it's going to be really horrible. One of the two. One of the two. <sighs> I guess at this point we're committed to trying to recover the suit, both for the Death Watch and for the advanced technology. Hey, okay. that's that's kind of a, a could be a game changer. So for I mean, for the Imperium, yeah, all right. I so called dibs for the Death Watch because the like, Emperor protects. You see this thing, the last vestige of escape seal behind, and you hear just audibly click and lock into place, and you see down that seam just like it welds itself shut. Ooh. Just and then what happens? It just welded itself shut. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, when in doubt, there for now. If I get corrupted. I'm pulling the pin on this vortex grenade. I want you to know this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a solid choice, Anzius. Well, I mean, your, your, your arms are in, your arms are in the suit itself, so no. you have to use the bigger arms. So you right. actually feel the entire suit as though as oh, your shit, skin. Wait, nice. wait, did you uh, put all your weapons on the ground first? Because otherwise, yeah, I can't you. get in with a shield and a spear and all that stuff on me. Right. All right. So you have your weapons in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the vortex grenade. The servants right are done. With... Turret is stopping. I'll be back. <laughs> Pick me up. <laughs> Uh, I right. guess I'm going to try and pick up the shield. You try to move your arms, and you hear audible clank, clank of the chains. Chains? Ah. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Right. The 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 okay, we wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Librarian, do the reading. Do do that shit. Let's make sure that nothing fucked up's going to happen. You've arrived. Perfect. Cool. I read Cairn. <laughs> Tell me. Well, what are the three strongest emotions you're experiencing right now? <laughs> fear. <laughs> Apprehension, uh, fear, and uh, un un. You're not Cairn. Cairn, what are you experiencing? <laughs> uh, apprehension. Uh, I guess honored. So joy, pride, uh, okay. and just tired. Got it. Right. Also, is he corrupted? Yeah, it's uh, true. He got the point of corruption on him now. One point of corruption. All right. Yes. Yeah. Oh. oh my God! It's the suit that has the one point of corruption. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the guy. No, but anyways, no, I don't Karen know if you now has a point of corruption. Yeah, I don't know if you know exactly how old Krom is. He's he's seen some her heretical shit. Right. Oh, I'm not surprised. Huh? And how insane is he? I mean, Krom was there for the Istvan massacre. 
How many points. sanity points do you have? Can you put a number on it? Uh, if Boko tells me to put an insanity point on right. it. Right. No. Okay. But there is one well, point the, of corruption. Yeah, we but, just killed this guy with one point of corruption. But he's... But Yomug is reading you specifically, so he would be able to see your insanity and corruption carried over and from Yomug your entire character's history. I, I know, Yomug has a picture. Okay. That Wait, is, okay. Yeah. Why is the gun responding to the unknown voice? Are you going to ask it? in my head. It's in the cyber. Well, you can't hear the head. gun. The gun's in my head. Yeah, yeah. No, there's, there's an argument meta. going on in my head between a servitor and an unknowing voice and me. God, this Ooh, entire right. scenario is so confusing. <laughs> As the <laughs> emperor has travel. foreseen. Okay, one of you be the servitor, one of you be the unknown voice, and I'll play me, and we'll let the gooks play the Indians. Right. right I'll, you will ride. I'll, I'll do the unknown Who voice. Who are you talking to, Emperor? Target acquired. No. No, bad. Target no. targets. Negative. <laughs> Disengage. Humanoid. <laughs> Go to standby. Shutting down. Uh, good turn. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Well, actually, I guess you would know uh, this as well. Uh, why this won't affect you, but if it comes up, it does. Don't say that. Oh, okay. Out loud. Yeah, yeah, whatever you do, do not say that out loud. Gotcha. Uh, I can send you the page later. All right. So what all is uh, happening now? The unknown voice is typing. That's, that's nothing compared to what I have to go through. <laughs> of, of of multiple unknown voices? No, no, no. The, the what you sent. Oh, okay. As, no, as, no, no. As what I'm, chapter I'm from, that's like... Oh, no. If someone else, like, looks at, like, figures that out, it causes, like, an actual permanent problem for the party. Oh, okay. All right, yo, Mug, you're up. Unknown voice. You are the Emperor's chosen. You have. Th you will correct the mistakes of the past. We shall be watching. So is this only the Krom, or can we all hear this? No. Who is this Emperor? The Omni Sire. Target. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the Saya, not target. I'm the Saya God. <laughs> target. But no, you don't hear any of this, guys. You just see him kind of like in his head, like. Obviously, this is Right, it's all in his head. Are you sure those insanity points are still zero? Nope, they're going up. I, uh, I'm, I'm self adding. Give me a sure. second. Well, I mean, this is this is just as in the cybernetics, so. But yeah, yeah you can at any point if you want to. This whole situation is driving Krom insane. It, I, it might drop to it the might point where it's adding down, but... insanity points. I just I just see his insanity numbers go higher. <laughs> 30, suddenly, thirty-seven insanity. <laughs> I see it happening in front of me. <laughs> You're in my. You, yeah, I don't know if you can hear what's going on in my head right now. But... No, I don't have uh, mind reading or anything like that. Oh, okay. No, I don't have telepathy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very so, well. You see the, the, the people kind of like ooh and ah at you, and they're discussing among each other. You see one of them like pull a lever, and those chains come loose. Oh, the chains uh, restraining the armor? Yeah. Ah. He said, ah, the big metal man was telling the truth after all. Okay, I'm going to attempt oh. to uh, kind of rock back and like left and right a little bit, side to side. Can I get hips. your bearings? Yes. And learn how the mechanics of the suit works. Yep. Right. And let me update your your uh, token now. Oh. Brother Crumb, oh. do you feel any stronger? The cybernetics of this suit and its machine spirits are 
Interesting. There you so go. Would say old, but yes, not anything you have in re uh, records. What this is, so we're gonna take a step forward. Oh, yeah. So plus right, thirty right, on on your that. strength, by the way. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> uh, personal and oh, your the... armor now uh, add an additional. Uh, tan across everything. All right, Boko. Here's here's my question, Boko. Um, Except would, for the head, would he get additional unnatural strength and unnatural toughness? No. Okay. I just... What did you say the armor is? Ten x additional to what you have on you, across everything but the head. Got so it. increased strength, increased armor is what you're getting. Um. And Does you're this also lower my agility. I'm presuming. No, you seem as nimble as before. Huh. I'm rocking back and forth. I'm just going through basic maneuvers. Pick up one leg. Pick up another. Flex hips. I'm gonna try and pick up. Just moving of each of your muscles one by one to see your range of motion and all that. Right. Yep. yep. And you hold up. I'm get holding. Flash, you get a flash of something in your mind as you're doing this. A brief flash of uh, wars and battles you've never seen before. Ooh. That's what you see. All right. Uh, I guess More we can end you ensues. Yeah. So <laughs> we get in the What's session the here. What's the insanity you can get? What, 10? 20, something like that? I forget what it was. I think it's 10. It's yeah, probably so. a max that you can get before bad things start happening, and then yeah, as you yeah, go beyond that. 30. 30. 30 is max? Or oh, 30 is so, max starts happening. So, yes. Yeah, so, you have, uh, upon reaching 10 sanity points, you gain a random uh, insane effect that can go away, but upon reaching 30, you get a level of a primary curse, which cannot be removed at all. Uh... uh and the max yeah, is 100. Hit, yeah, if you hit 100, you're out of the campaign. You're in the psych road. It's psych ward. <laughs> yeah. I mean, depending on when you hit 100. After that you hit flash. Mission, and if you're American and you hit 100 in Sandy, you go shoot up at school. Yep. Yeah, uh, and... No, uh, oh, if, that's 5 in Sandy. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. no 5.56 to... in Sanity. There yeah. you go. If you're able to spend XP to upgrade yourself, you can spend 100 XP to remove one insanity point. So, okay. yeah. Well, someone insanity. here knows where I'm at for insanity. Is there any? Was there any corruption that uh, felt like it fl uh, flowed through the warp at all, or no? You did say one point. Yeah, one, one point, point to corruption. you. I'm, I'm. I meant from uh, when I initially got into now. No. Okay. These guys. One. one corruption point. Putting donning the armor. And you self added an insanity point, but you're also getting one insanity point as you're moving around. So. I would guess that as a keeper who's seen some shit, you wouldn't get too much insanity from this. No, not not too, too much. But it's that brief flash plus one. It is still weird. Yes. Very. Well, well, I'm gonna pick up my shield. Fifteen hundred XP, by the way, for all this. Fifteen hundred. Okay. Is yeah, that an addition to the one thousand that you gave us before you were about to leave, and then decided you were gonna keep going with the session? Yes, I added more. Okay, so it should be two point five k total for this. Oh session. no no no! Fifteen hundred total. Oh, fifteen hundred total. I added five hundred right, right. more on top of the thousand. Sorry. Got it. Hopefully that's a good total. session. So I yeah, almost was. hit our yeah. year in XP. Nice. Our year twenty twenty three. Uh no, the millennium year. Oh. So yeah, forty thousand five hundred and fifty. So since you yeah you're permanently sealed in that for now, as I'm sure you yeah. aware that <laughs> it's tempor All it's right, a so temporarily a temporarily permanent seal. Here we go. Yeah, out of, out of the game, since you already closed that, that pathway, uh, in the future, 
And he was going to divulge this information. I was hoping you guys glean the information out. Um, but uh. you did it, so it's fine. But it's impossible to get it now. Uh, he was going to tell you that Chaos overcame uh, the Imperium. It's conquered everything, and Ooh. they got essentially bored, bored after conquering everything, and the Emperor had a resurgence. He was born anew into a Chaos body and oh, was able God. to... Right. Ugh. And, he, and they're That's wanting... That's super heresy. He's, he wasn't heretical, though. He was pure. He was as pure as he always has been. So he had a new crusade, and now he's well, trying to... Well, the last book that just came out, that's debatable. <laughs> so basically, this one is, Terminator... This is alternate timeline. The alternate timeline we're playing with here. He went Skynet and sent Terminator back in time to save uh, himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that was the plot of movie four that nobody liked? Oh, right. I don't know. Sure. Anyways... So, but that's what you would have gleaned from from him if, if you had your pride that the chaos reigns supreme and emperor sent him back. Oh God, I just had a terrible idea for something Krom would do. But they're still very. Yeah, Corn is the ultimate ruler of all. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> <He's> <laughs> I really <laughs> want to do one thing in character before we leave. What's that? This comes from Krom being an old, old, old Astartes, because I, I know that they would do this for corn. I'm kidding. <laughs> ah, I see. I see. <laughs> He's no, gone the, uh, heretical. The old Astartes are, are <laughs> typically like to play practical jokes on people, which I discovered from reading all the lore. Yep. Really? Yes, they find that like so the old like uh, uh, chaos space marines that were around for during the heresy, they don't like fighting the newer Astartes because quote there's no personality. Like yeah, because after the heresy, they basically ingrained the codex and uh, every and yeah. all the indoctrination that's been that you have to go through to become a space marine was only introduced after the heresy. Right. Yes. So before that, they had quote like a lot of personality uh, as the chaos marines called it and so like you'll get completely different personalities whereas like if you've like watched like the read the books or the movies and all that stuff like how they kind of seem cold and dark it's because they're literally indoctrinated right. whereas the older ones would like from the horse heresy were much more Expressive. there's literally a chaos Normal. dreadnought there is a death watch dreadnought that killed a bunch of gene stealers and then hid underneath all of their bodies to ambush more people just giggling the whole time and his <laughs> kill team showed up and they're like what the fuck are you doing and he was like i'm bored i was bored uh there was another <laughs> one that played literal peekaboo with the dark eldar and said he walked into a courtyard they tried to ambush him and then hide again and he said ready or not here i come <laughs> and he started running around finding them and killing them <laughs> that's what like the old astartes used to do for their personalities so i was like Crom's gonna have fun doing stupid shit with this. Make makes sense. Nice. So I was like, the first thing Crom would do as soon as he knows he's not gonna be corrupted is he's probably gonna be like, I'm being corrupted. <laughs> and all right, Mel just gun him down. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of Crom. I'm already on his back <laughs> in his head. Oh, I see that. Uh, you you just sent me that. Very well. All right. See you next week, gentlemen. Hope you guys had a blast. Right. Oh, that was a great yeah, sure. session. That totally makes up for the last two sessions that were incredibly boring. <laughs> <laughs> the last no two sessions is. were boring because the last one only had me, uh, Norsk, and Yilmug, and then the one before that did not have Norsk, but we were just fucking around yep. getting shit ship. ready. Yeah. Uh, real quick, what color is yeah, this suit? It looks orange. to be orange. Well, they're all orange, so that's why I was just double checking. Yeah. Well, the other ones are black and yellow. It's okay. bright red. I mean, the, I only have to. I, I can only do so much with these tokens. No, I know. So it, right. You, yeah, but say so ten feature. See ya. I'm not Later. With all that. Anyways, uh, it's it's red, adorned with skulls and other effigies from corn. Ah, can someone and remove I'm, the skulls, please? Right. And, I remove the skulls. Right. It also, it also has. Um, various imperial markings as well, so it's like a mixed bag of things. Excellent. 
but it's been touched by the literal fucking emperor. That's impressive. Of the future, but as far well, as yeah. you're concerned, you guys know uh, the emperor touched it. I yep. have two things that I need to do, one of which I can do here. Someone needs to take my kilt off and attach it to this armor. It's too late. It's already inside the suit. Yeah. Yeah. It'll buff. Okay. <laughs> and then I need to paint a Rex Imperialis on it. I paint the Rex Imperialis on the outside. Should we do it in the style of the armor and paint it in blood? No. no. That would be heresy. Well, that armor is heresy did... by that logic. We're going to repaint it, but I wanted people to know don't shoot me. I take. I don't, uh, I don't need a. I don't need a come. Well, big yeah, I don't red want target on the back. Got it. <sighs> I uh, take some of the. <laughs> I take some of the imperial uh, wax seals off of my armor and uh, put it on yours. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, ow! I just cracked my neck. I think the stats that that it looks like it stands somewhere between ten to twenty. 10 to 12 feet tall. This is pretty huge. Plus, the, yeah, which was it the Inv Inv Invictor or was it the Kentarian suit? Uh, was that right? I put him in the like chat. That. I, I kinda Yeah, I have to look at it way. again. But it looks literally looks like the thing from Iron Man. That's, that's, that's like I saw that. I was like, ooh, I'm going to introduce that into the campaign. I was like, Very well. Yeah, also, since, um,. Even if people don't insane. recognize you as being a space marine and I think mean, you're chaos, help. yeah, we're and on top of that, you're also being escorted by a cadre of Death Watch. So that's fair. And that should be a giveaway. And one Inquisitor. Member. Inquisition Are member. You? Yeah, yeah. Also Moth it's for reasons. Definitely the other one, the Centurion. Moth, Moth. I def it, oh, it's the Centurion? Ooh. Nice. I've, that's uh <laughs> Magnifique. So uh, I actually Moth. do like the Kentarians. Moth, real quick. Um, for reasons that you do not understand, that only I understand, um, I do not trust you. My character does not trust you, particularly because you are with the Inquisition. Ah, okay. About that. My character now has an excellent reputation with every single Astartes member. Oh, okay. Well, then I am you... well known among the Astartes now. Oh, well, I then... have excellent, great reputation. Ah, so okay. I... Say, well, so if fair, that helps you. To be fair, I have the Inquisition as an enemy of my character's chapter. So, so like a negative forty to fair dispositions, enough. and my character likes. You ah, now it's a minus twenty. It, right. it, I have a plus well, twenty to all Astartes' reputation. Yeah, so. I'll still give you a sideways glance once in a while, Moth, but other than that, I trust you. Oh, oh I mean, I just realized how tall this character is. But I have, I, I have your my own character trust them with absolute. I imagine. I your well, old, yeah, your main, my old main did trust him, but there's there's a particular and very personal reason why my character does not normally like. Uh, Inquisition or Inquisition members. Fair enough. Is it the same reason my character doesn't like Inquisition members? No. Outside of outside of the uh, Ordo Cronus. Nope. It is. Okay. Uh, it's not the same reason. It's different. And maybe uh, if uh, if you guys get in my good graces and we end up sitting down and sharing stories, you'll figure out why. Um. Real quick. Yeah. So. I was just googling Kenturians. I genuinely found what I would look like in this armor with my helmet. Like, really? No shit. That's cool. Oh, that's literally what my helmet did. looks like. Okay. I just did. That's literally what Krom's helmet looks like. Krom's been walking around with the fucking helmet crest and everything. So I was like, holy shit! There you go. That is literally nice. yeah. This. <laughs> I'm throw it up on the stream real quick, so everyone can see that. That's that's perfect. That's actually perfect. And he's about perfect. to have a sword or a, a spear and a shield too. So that's just wow. Yeah, yeah, just excellent. Well, a short spear and a buckle are now. Yeah, now it's well. This shield I think would come up to like my hips now. I think ish. 
Oh, yeah. okay, then just a regular shield instead of a tower shield. Then. Yeah, I mean, the tower shield was already big, but now it'll just be like a, uh, a storm shield, not the small buckler one. Or storm shield? Whatever. I'd have to go look it up. All right, well, this has been our longest session yet, so uh, that was fucking awesome. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the recording here. See you all next week. See ya. <coughs> See I ya. think that was goodbye to the people on the stream. Yep. Oh, well, I it's goodbye to you now. Bye. No. <laughs>